Hello, everybody, and welcome to Shipwrecked. Oh, man. Okay, so I, I forgot to actually start the stream when I started streaming. <laughs> but now we're in. Now we're in. My bad. My apologies, everybody. My sincere apologies. I truly messed that up. That was a severe mess up on my end but we're here now i hope everybody's having a good day whatever time of day it is for you for me it's morning it is 9 30 in the morning eastern standard time and that's fun i've got a very long day ahead of me because i'm going to be doing this for an entire year so well not real life year that'd be crazy uh don't starve year that's what i'm doing so first off, we're just going to start gathering some resources. If you guys don't know, this is going to be part of my How to Survive Shipwrecked series. I've already gotten all the footage for my Reign of Giants series, but now I'm working on my How to Survive Shipwreck series. So, yeah, that should be fun. Oh boy, this is going to be long. This is going to be very long. I like to generally spend the first day collecting things. You know, all those fun little doodads. But, yeah, that's that's about what we're going to be doing today. Let's see if I can actually... I'm going to turn the audio up just a little bit. I feel like you can't hear it that well on the stream. Now, there is only one setting that I changed. I did change how often Seal Nato spawns, and that's because I want to fight Seal Nato. Seal Nato is the only boss in this game, in this DLC, that has like a percentage chance to spawn, and I wanted to make sure that Seal Nato would spawn. Hello, I see you in chat there, uh, still trying to find who asked. Again, funny name. I remember you from the last stream. This one's going to be just as long, so... <laughs> Actually, it's probably going to be longer, because a, a, a day in this game is 8 minutes. A year in this game is about 72 to 74 days. It depends on when dry season decides to end. So, with that math, that's about like 9.2 hours. That's... This is going to be a long stream, guys. Unless I decide to sleep, but I don't really want to sleep. This is supposed to be a survival guide, so I'd prefer not to sleep. I am also recording on the same... I'm recording as well. So if any glitches or anything happen on the stream, let me know. I'll figure it out pretty quickly. So yeah, I think we've gathered enough supplies here. Although, I'm, I'm a little worried about our flint situation. I, I haven't seen any more flint. Did I pass any flint? Ah, uh, it's all good, man. Don't worry. The stream will be here for you if you ever decide to stop in and say hi again. I understand real life does tend to get in the way sometimes. I've just been murdering butterflies, though. Woohoo! Give me all this butterfly food. I really would like to get another piece of flint before I... Oh, yes, perfect. Okay, good. We're in business now, guys. We're in business. So let's go ahead and make a pickaxe. And we'll get that awesome shipwrecked music. All right. Yeah, I think the stream is pretty high quality so far. I can't really see it myself, though, unfortunately. I'm only able to preview on OBS. Can be a little bit of a hassle. Oh, I just ran into. I'm, I can't. I can't look at chat while I'm. <laughs> I need to get like one of those monitors that go in my face so I can just constantly look at chat. Is that the only normal boulder? No, there's one up here. My goodness. Oh. 
Oh, yeah. All right. Let's go ahead and make a, a axe real quick. And we'll start chopping down these jungle trees. Oh, no, hold on. We want to chop down the coconut trees because we want those palm leaves. Let's chop down these palm leaves. And yeah, that, that can happen. That's okay. It's getting late. Ooh. Very spooky indeed. Very spooky indeed. Let's just keep chopping down these palm trees. Because not only do they give us coconuts, which we can cut open with a machete, they also give us some palm leaves, which are nice, because we can use that to make a very essential hurricane season item. And yes, you heard that right. There's going to be a hurricane season. The seasons in Shipwrecked are way different than... Yeah, I, I get it. Uh, the seasons in Shipwrecked are way different than Reign of Giants. You have a mild season, which is what we are in right now. You have hurricane season, which is up next. You have monsoon season, which is going to cause a lot of flooding and annoyingness. And then finally dry season, which is much more deadly than you would think. You guys will see. Not shortly, but at some point what that means. Let's go to make a torch so we can continue being mobile throughout the night. We'll just run around and then be super mobile. Yep, here comes the darkness. Let's see, we've got a rock up there. Let's go ahead and head towards it. And... Alright. Yeah, you're not getting me, buddy. You're not getting me. We might have to break one of these limpet rocks. I hate doing it, but I want a machete. And let's be honest, this world's probably not going to be super long term. And I don't think I'm going to live on this island, so. I just need a machete. I just need a machete. We have 6% left on this axe. I think we can break a small tree with that. Let's go ahead and test that out. Here's a small tree. Oh, okay, whatever. Crap. <laughs> I forgot the the kiting pattern for these guys. Um, Let's not deal with them. Welcome to day two. Already. We're off to a great start. Let me put this torch away so we're not wasting it. Okay. Well, now I'm actually... Okay. Uh, let's use this machete to get some bamboo. Our goal is to make a raft. Yes. We don't want to make a log raft because they're slow and boring. We want a bamboo raft because we're cool. We're cool and unique. So we're just going to go ahead and chop up some bamboo... Kill these butterflies because butterfly wings are the best food source early game, in my opinion. I'm sure some of you guys may have your own own opinions on what food is the best early game, but in my opinion, it's butterfly wings. Those things are great. I mean, look at how many we have already. Eleven. Oh, yeah. All right, we've got enough vines. We just need one more bamboo. And then we can finally set sail we can also make a palm sack i think yeah thatch pack let's go to make one just for the extra inventory room just for the extra inventory room and then i think we're good to go oh no way what are the odds <laughs> thanks for the butter dude here let's go ahead and all right, I think there are one, two. Yeah, whatever. He's gone. No way. He just got us a stick of butter. That is awesome. All right, let's make this raft and let's get going. So, welcome to Shipwrecked. There's multiple different islands. We're going to try to find an island 
We're going to explore a lot for this mild season. We've got plenty of food. I'm I'm happy. Okay, the waves are going this way. Let's ride the waves up. These jellyfish are also a really good food source once we get a certain umbrella. But until then, unfortunately, they're inedible to us. Whoa, look at this. Another raft and a spear gun. Not the best thing we could have ever found, but it's cool. It's a cool little find. Let's keep trying to ride the waves here. We're just going to let the waves take us to wherever we want to go. Oh, message in a bottle. These are useful. Let's figure out where this treasure is. Oh, that hit me? Whatever. Oh, of course it's down south. Okay, those are pretty useful. Mm, but I don't want to go against the waves. It's not It's not that helpful this early on to go against the waves. Maybe we could switch our camera around like this so we have a better view. Let's go for it. Let's go for it. It has to be good. Those treasures, and we'll just drop the bottle. I really don't like care about the bottles. We'll litter the ocean. We're evil like that. We're super evil like that. Oh, tar. That's useful. We'll have to remember where that is. Although once we beat a sur Ugh. I'm, my goodness. I just choked on my own words. That was crazy. Once we beat a certain boss, we'll be able to make our own tar areas, so... And we kind of need to beat that boss to actually get the tar. So. Alright. Let's just keep heading this way. Let's just keep heading this way. Seaweed's another good food source. Very easy to collect. It regrows really fast, and yeah, it's it's overall pretty good. I like seaweed as a food source. But the problem is you have to cook it. If you eat it raw, it will make you go insane. Which is fair. I feel like if I just went out into the ocean and bit some seaweed, I probably wouldn't feel too sane myself. I just gotta be totally honest. Oh, here we go. We're at the island. Look at that. Alright, let's, let's make landfall. Welcome to island number two. This island has a very special secret surprise. Oh, I need a, <laughs> I need a sign in. Okay. Let's get a science machine set up then. Oh, we need gold for that. Ooh, yuck. Hey, there's some cool things here though. I'm so stupid. How could I not know that? You need a science machine to make a... We got a captain's hat though. That'll help our raft last longer, I believe. I believe that'll help our raft to last a little longer. So it doesn't hurt to use. Alright. So unfortunately, we need to go get some gold. There has to be a gold island around here somewhere. Let's just head this way. Now you may think, why are you heading out into the depths of the ocean in the middle of night. Well, it's not actually that dangerous. It's not actually that dangerous to be out in the ocean at night. And I'll show you guys why, if we can find any of them. But we might not find any, and that will cause some danger. Now I'm actually getting a little worried. 
the things in question that we are trying to find are bioluminescence. However, I'm not seeing any, and it is about to be very dark and spooky. And the problem is we can't really hold a torch. Okay, yep. All right, well, here, here comes a fun time. All right, let's stop completely. Now we can hold the torch. The problem is we can't move. I... Oh, this sucks. I hate wasting time like this, but... We can't move, or... The torch will go out. Oh, great. And there's a wave coming straight for us. Yeah, yeah, I, I hear you. Oh, this sucks. We gotta, like, baby foot our way back to the coast. <laughs> All right, can we... Come on. Come on. Off to a terrible start, but that's fine. Oh, we might take it. Okay, no, we're fine. Woo! <laughs> yeah, we're gonna get soaked. Oh my goodness, dude. I suck at fighting these waves. Let's just... Let's not fight them. Let's go this way. Off to a tremendously terrible start. You know what? That's fine. Adds more to the fun challenge. Yeah, we're gonna get soaked. And we're gonna start losing sanity here in a second. Ooh, gross. Let's eat some of our butterfly wings. Wow, those... Oh, yeah. Let's also put our food down here, because it's going to get soaked, and that will cause it to spoil faster. So let's put it in the backpack. Oh, row. That stuff's useful. All right, we're refilled on hunger here. Okay. Okay. So if you're watching this, do not go out into the middle of the ocean if your only light source is a torch. <laughs> that was a big oopsie by me. Whoopsie daisies. Alright, do we have gold on this island perchance? I'm noticing now that the seaweed is not getting soggy. Oh, let's also take this out of our hand. That's causing us to go insane a little faster. I may actually go ahead and build a small campfire here just to dry off. Just so we can dry off a little faster. And then I'm just going to drop our stuff here. Although that, that makes me nervous. Oh, no. It shouldn't catch on fire from this range. Alright. Let's just dry off a little bit here. Okay, we're no longer losing sanity. Let's go ahead and gather some resources while those guys dry off. Yeah, that's my bad. I made a massive oopsie, but it's okay. Just cost me a bit of sanity. Other than that, we're fine. Now, I would like to find some gold, however. Here we go. Alright, we're nice and dry now. I really would like to find some gold. We can also refill our sanity by collecting seashells, so... Sanity is not that bad of a problem in Shipwrecked. You can actually fix it very easily. So, I'm not worried about that at all. Really. What I am worried about is gold. We need to find gold. And I'd like to do as much exploring as possible while we have the... Ooh, let's take this off so we're saving it. My goodness. I'm supposed to be making a tutorial, man. I'm not... I'm not being the brightest when it comes to making a tutorial. Okay, we have plenty of grass. We need more twigs. Can't carry any more seashells. That's fine. 
we have enough for what we need anyway. Yeah, we need to find like a jungle island. Those are the ones that have the gold rocks that we are after. And we are after gold rocks. We can drop this niter here. It's not too useful. Useful, sure, but not too useful. Not too useful. All right, let's get moving. Oh, nice jungle island. Let's go. Jungle island. All right, we should find a gold rock here somewhere. We can also go ahead and make a new raft, which probably is going to be advised. Another machete and almost an entire raft kit. That's pretty good. Oh, this is the Doi Doi Island. What's up, buddy? Let's go say hi to the Doi Doi. Look at him. He's eating flint. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we don't want to be around this guy, though, because we want to keep him alive. This isn't a long-term world, obviously, but we still want to keep him alive just because, I mean... And yes, I know I'm wearing the captain's hat, and I shouldn't be, but... I just... Uh, I, I, I don't know. I don't know. I don't have enough inventory room for all this. Let's go ahead and cut this. There we go. We can make another raft real quick. And now we can put the captain's hat away. It's going to break, but that's okay. Oh, perfect. Two gold from one rock. All right, now we can get the science machine going. Our row is going to spoil. That's okay. It's only really useful later on when we get a dedicated base set up. We have some spiders on this island. That's great. Ooh, another captain's hat. What's up? Okay. Yeah, go away, dude. You're being very annoying. You're being very rude. Alright, what do we do here? Well, we have two machetes. Let's drop one. No point in having... Oh, this one's even worse. Yuck. Okay. Really, this one rock is protected by the spider nest of death? <laughs> Give me this gold. Yeah, I don't care about you, spider. Alright, well, we're stuck on this island until... We're stuck on this island until tomorrow, so... Might as well make the best of it. Let's get an axe built. Let's get some wood. Actually, no. I don't like cutting down these jungle trees. They scare me. I want to stay away from the doi doi, too. Just because... Uh, I... Mmm, I hate being inefficient. I hate being inefficient. But, what are you gonna do, huh? What are you gonna do? Come on. Give me daytime. Give me daytime. Here, we'll collect berries. That's that's a useful way to spend our time. I would collect twigs and stuff, but we don't have twigs on this island. Alright. Let's let this torch run. Actually, just leave it on the ground. We might need it one day for coal. So.
All right. Let's head off. And let's wear our captain's hat. Because our other one just broke. Now, I think personally the captain's hat isn't as good as the pirate hat. But we haven't found that guy yet. Okay, let's go ahead and head back down to the treasure island. That will be fun. What is this island? This is an island out of nowhere. Let's check it out. Now, what you're seeing here is the tide. The tides actually creep up whenever it gets to nighttime, which is kind of cool. I like that, but... Oh, it's a swamp. This can be deadly because of the flups. The flups are very, very deadly. I hate dealing with flups. But other than that, the swamp's actually... Yeah, see right there? That bubbling right there? That's a flup. Hate them. Hate flups. Why am I collecting <laughs> grass? I have so much grass. I need... I need twigs. I need more twigs. Doubloons! Might as well start our collection now. Gambling is a very big part of this game. Here we go. Let's get some wood. Real quick. I also need more palm leaves. I think I need four to make the thatch hut. So... I'm going to just go ahead and collect these. It's either four or three. I know that. Ooh, this one dropped two coconuts. What a great drop. Okay. Anything useful in that swamp, I can't tell. Generally, there's not many useful things there. And those those venomous holes, or poisonous holes. Venomous holes. Well, they call the debuff venom in this game, so... <laughs> that would make no sense, a venomous hole. I guess if it had teeth. If it had teeth, it could be a venomous hole, but it does not have teeth. It shoots out a poisonous gas. Alright. Let's go ahead and head over to the Treasure Island. That's where we'll get a science machine set up and do all of our basics. Although, that island is pretty small. I don't know if we'll be able to do all of our basics there. That's the problem. That is that is a problem. You know what? Let's do our basics here then. All right. Let's go to make science machine real quick. And now, before we do anything, we want to go ahead and make a spear. Get us a spear. That's a great starter weapon. Let's get some boards. Yeah, see, we would need... We need to cut down a lot more trees, so let's go do that. Where's where's some mature palm trees? Here we go. And I do not mind collecting more palm fronds. What what are they called? Palm leaves? Yeah. Palm fronds, palm leaves, same thing. Same thing. Ow, my head. That was gross and rude. I also would like to collect enough monster meat to kill our first were pig. If we can find one, that is. The pigs are a lot harder to find on this DLC than Reign of Giants. Because Reign of Giants, you just head over to the pig city and then you're all good. But here, it's a lot different. Alright. There's not enough palm trees either, man. I mean, there's undergrown ones, but... I don't want to cut down baby ones, because then we get no coconuts. And coconuts are fun. Then we can rehouse the palm trees. I can't carry those. Yuck. Alright, let's stay away from the poison. Poison is a nasty debuff in this game. Like, really nasty. It causes you to have no fun. I'll just say that much. No fun at all. 
it will kill you very quickly as well. This isn't Minecraft. It's not going to... I should have looked at the durability of my axe. Whoopsies. Let's eat this row before it goes bad. Okay. I think we have enough logs. I think. I would definitely like more twigs, though. I like to get a full stack. All right. Let's do this. We need four. Yeah, we have enough. Now cut stone. We should have enough of this as well. Two, three, four. Mmm. Yeah, that's that's our bottleneck there. Electrical doodads. Okay. That's fine, though. Let's go ahead and eat this butter. I know it's, it's super rare, and that just feels bad, but we'll be fine. I promise. Um, let's do a little bit of inventory management here. I don't want it to be too boring, though. Let's get our grass here. We've got extra grass here that we can go ahead and throw in there. And then can we just make, like, a, a small fire to get rid of some of the grass? We just need to get rid of one more grass. You know what? Just drop it on the floor. All right. Let's make the electrical doodad. Perfect. And then let's make a shovel. And I think that's everything we're going to need. Because, oh no, but we'll need to come back here to make the alchemy engine. That sucks, dude. Oh, okay. Well, then we'll just make a hammer and get our refund. There we go. Alright. Let's head back off. Oh no, it's almost night time though. Ugh. Yuck. Not a fan of that. Are we going to be able to make it before night time? I don't think so. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. I don't think so. Well, we can make a torch. Although, it's probably a smart idea to just go ahead and plop down a fire for the night. Just so we can cook. Oh, I, I didn't realize I have two stacks of limpets. Why do I have two stacks of limpets? That's stupid. My apologies, everybody. I am stupid. Unfortunately. Let's get some coffee. Oh, that's good coffee. I'm going to need it for today. This is going to be one long stream. I'm in it for the long haul. All right, let's eat these limpets. Can we fit one more? Yeah, we can. Perfect. We are maxed up on food now. And I also, I, I hate sitting still next to a fire, especially this early on, but like, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? This is just the way the shipwrecked flow works. We could dig up these sandy piles in an attempt to get like gears, but eh, nah. We need our shovel for a certain island that we should find at some point. Our beard's growing. Now, unlike Reign of Giants, this beard is actually nothing but a nuisance on Shipwrecked. So, unfortunately, Wilson is at a disadvantage. That's right. Wilson is at a disadvantage. I know. Doesn't it just suck? Let's drop this seashell into the ocean. Alright, so we've got cooked seaweed. We're still doing fine on food. Shipwrecked is a DLC that y you do fine on food later in the game, but early game it's actually harder to find food than Reign of Giants. Because Reign of Giants you just find a pig village, get some monster meat, and you're good. You're set. You are 100% set. But in Shipwrecked things are a little more inconvenient, I guess I should say. Oh, speak of inconvenient. Of course the waves are going against us. Don't worry, guys. I'm not going to get a hit like I did last time. That was so stupid. I'm so stupid. 
Oh, you see that? That was nice. Oh, this is risky business. Risky biscuits. Biscuits? Biscuits. If I stutter at any point, it's probably because of my mic monitoring. It's very high for some reason, so I'm like hearing myself scream into my own ears. I'm not sure why, but... Uh, it doesn't bother me too much. Alright, we're almost to the treasure. This could give us a huge jump start, or it could just be stupid and useless. Who knows? Who knows? Alright. Let's do this. Give me luck. Ah! I mean... An anti-venom this early on is pretty great. Now, here's the problem, though. I didn't really anticipate having room for any of this. <laughs> we'll be back for it. We'll, we know where it is, so it's not like it's going anywhere. Alright. Let's follow the waves and try to find... a good, good gold spot. That's what we need right now. Alright, unfortunately the waves are going not in the way we want, but we can kind of game them. This is how you do it, guys. You just go boom. You just go boom, boom. Boom. Biden or Trump? Um... That feels a little too political for Don't Starve. Teehee. Alright, let's get some... Ooh, there's a living tree here. Alright, we can get some more butterflies. I can't carry them though, I'm so stupid. I'm just gonna leave it there. We'll be back. Is there any more gold here? There is. Perfect. Let's get it. Let's get this gold. I'm just chasing around a butterfly. There we go. <laughs> Is that another gold rock? Perfect. That should be enough gold. We can finally clear up our inventory a little bit. Alright, let's go to make another science machine. No, we're not going to make another science machine because we need more wood. So let's make an axe. And let's drop these seashells here for a second. And let's cut down some giant jungle trees. Oh, I, I can't carry none of this. Why didn't I make a backpack? I'm so stupid. <laughs> I should have made a backpack when I made the uh, first science machine. What's up, snake? All right, let's deal with this guy. All right, there we go. Let's throw this down. And then we just need to make a another electrical doodad. Now we can make the alchemy engine. And let's go to make a backpack. Just dropped on the floor. There we go. Now we can carry things. So let's start carrying things. <laughs> Can 
can grab some green mushrooms here. Though we have to be careful. Flups are in this territory. And I'm not trying to get flupped on. That scares me. I don't want to be too close to that. Oh, there's a flup. Oh, we are in enemy territory. Ter <laughs> enemy territory right now. Let's get out of here. Let's get out of here, man. Alright. Make a torch for the night. Let's get some more gold. Now we should definitely start thinking about where we want our home base to be. Hmm. Oh, gold rock. We want that. No, you don't. No, you don't, spooky night monster. What's up, spider? Can I have these rocks, please? Thank you. Thank you. I will be leaving now. I will be leaving now. What? No, I don't want a blue mushroom. This suck. What was that noise? Oh, it's the monkeys. Oh, no. Oh, no. Those guys are the same as the uh, Spla monkeys from regular Don't Starve. Yep, there they are. Right there. Oh, no. The prime apes. They're scary. Though they're not too bad to deal with. Oop, little lag spike there. Come here, butterfly. Gotcha. Alright, let's eat a little bit here. Now let's start thinking about where we want our home base to be. I generally like picking an island that's decently large. Hmm. But I also like islands with crissures on them. Let's see. We have another raft. Let's throw another raft down because our raft is almost dead anyway, so. There we go. Let's head off. We've got a backpack. We've got everything we need. We've got our alchemy engine in our pocket. That is great. That is great. Wee. Alright. This island could be promising. Sometimes there's an island with, like, all of the biomes connected, and it's a great time. So, let's go ahead and check this island out. Ooh, it's a... It's a primate. That's a funny, uh, twist on words. I like that. Prime ape. That's funny. Uh, no, this is a very boring island with nothing on it. Come on, game. Give me a decent island before hurricane season sets in. We also need to find a coral reef to destroy. Like, true. <laughs> oh. No. 
that wave was in my way. All right, let's keep heading north or whatever direction this is. I've kind of lost my sense of direction. Oh, it's north to me because I have my camera turned this way, but. Ooh, deep ocean biome. A swordfish would be cool, but we could not fight one right now. We would not be able to fight one right now. Just a long stretch of ocean. Yeah, we do got to get a base set down so we can get a real boat, though. With a real sail and everything. Oh, that's the dream. That is the dream. In fact, it may be worth it to just stop at an island and just make a temporary base. Even if it's not going to be our long-term base. This isn't going to be a long-term run. This is just surviving a year, so... Really, I should just stop at the nearest island and do it. I'm also releasing my How to Survive Spring. Oh, this is the edge of the map. Okay, that's annoying. That's not where we want to be. Hmm, great. And the waves are against us. Can we kind of turn them in a way we want them to go, maybe? No. The waves are just purely against us. Oh, guys, we might have troubles. We might be in trouble. We very well might be in trouble. We are deep out in the ocean. And we have no land or anything, really, of that matter. And if we somehow die before the year's over, that will extend how long I have to stream because I have to survive a full year, so. <laughs> uh, I might have made a mistake coming out this far. I really should have just made a regular boat. Yes, 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 it will be getting dark soon. Should have just made a regular boat. Why did I not make a regular boat? Why did I not make a regular boat? Oh no, can we make it to land? Please? Uh, is that the nearest land? Okay. We'll survive, we'll survive. But uh, the question is, will we be able to make it to land to maximize our survival? Or will we be doomed to rot in the middle of the ocean? Like peasants. Probably the latter. Not even any bioluminescence, dude. Oh, yes! Okay. I can survive on this. I can survive on this. I can totally survive on this. Okay, we've got bioluminescence here. We can wait the night out here. This is good anyway, because I want to make sure that people know they can survive the night in the ocean if they manage to find a patch like this. Yes, it's going to cause the screen to get very weird, but you can survive on this easily. Just watch the water and make sure you don't hit any ocean waves. I'm going to get a drink of coffee real quick. Mmm, it looks like I'm hungry. Speaking of hunger, I'm not going to be able to eat until this stream's over. <laughs> Oh, man. Guess I'm starting a diet today for no reason. 
other than I want to stream Don't Starve for an entire in-game year. We are also going to have a crocodog attack at some point. I know that, but... Also, the waves are going stupid right now. Alright, welcome to day seven. Oh, that was clutch. I don't know how I did that, but I'm very happy about it. Yeah, there's no way we can angle these waves to be on our side. I know Roe is very useful once you get a fish farm set up, but we don't have a fish farm, so. And Roe goes bad very fast. Yeah, guys, I think I'm just going to have to sit down on the nearest island. Like, I... I... Okay, here we go. Here's an island. Perhaps it is big enough for me to want to live on it. Day 7 and we don't have a base. That is not great. But maybe we found our home right now. Perchance, I guess. Alright, we're actually way faster on foot, so let's go ahead and go on foot. Um, mm. Mm? maybe there's a gold rock. I don't have a pickaxe on me and I don't feel like making one. I really wish you could turn gold. Okay, no, this is just a jungle island. All right. Mm. So we have a few choices, none of which are actually decent. I'm just getting terrible luck with the islands, man. Terrible luck with the islands. Let's head south. And let's also turn our camera so we can watch the waves because that is smart and we're smart people. At least you guys may be smart people. I'm not. Unfortunately. Oh, oh, see, just like that. I think I sprung a leak. I think I sprung a leak. Oh, dear. Okay, this is just heading back up to that jungle island. That's annoying. No good islands. Might have to settle for jungle, I mean. Although, I like having some beach because sand is actually very useful. So, I don't know, man. I don't know. Luckily, we still have 10 days until mild season. We can get a lot, or until hurricane season. We can get a lot done in those days. That is not an island we want to live on. <laughs> those are wasp nests. We do not want to live on this island. Yeah, no, this is just straight up a dangerous and spooky island. We will not be living in this island. No, thank you. No, thank you. There's the croco dogs. Okay, you know, we could use this island to get rid of the croco dogs, although it's very dangerous. It's only going to be like one guy, I think. Um we should be able to handle it. I think they're actually weaker than hounds, if I remember correctly. But they can swim, and they swim very fast. So let's go ahead and head over to this island here. I don't know how I hit that wave correctly, but... Uh, actually, this is the first uh, crocodog attack, so... Should be able to actually just go to any island here in the near vicinity. So let's just head to this one. Yeah, I hear you. You're very mad, I know. 
I know. Give me that. I think they should attack around afternoon. Or now, maybe? I don't hear them anymore. Oh, there they are. Okay. Come on. Come get me. Come get me. Let's just eat this. Come on. Dude. These guys are being annoying. Just attack me. Just attack me. Come on, man. It's not that hard. There he is. Okay. Oh no, they have more health than regular hounds. Okay. One, two, three. So it's five hits with the spear. That's not bad. That's not actually that bad. Still haven't taken a hit though, that's great. We need two more monster meat to actually farm pigs, but I have not found a single wild boar house. So, it may be time to just... No, because I hate the idea of putting my alchemy engine down where my base isn't. You know what I mean? You know what I mean? I'm sure you guys know what I mean. So, let's just... Let's just go. Why did it not collect the seaweed? I don't know what that was all about. We've already been on this island. Unfortunately, there's nothing great here, but we need to survive the night. Could definitely make a boat lamp, but then we need to make a regular boat too, so that's like a contradictory thing. Let's just throw a fire down. We're gonna cook stuff anyway. So, yeah, let's drop this. Let's cook the seaweed. We'll just do some cooking tonight. Why not? A very relaxing cooking ASMR day. I think we need to eat the roasted berries first, because the seaweed goes bad a little slower. Potentially, I think. And then we'll keep this for sanity management. In fact, let's go ahead and top off real quick. There we go. Perfect. We are now at 200 sanity. I hate standing still at a fire. I hate it. Hate it. Hate it so much. What are you going to do, huh? Welcome to day eight. Where we will be heading out to hopefully find home base. I really want to find home before day 10. I, I really, really would like to. I don't need these hound's teeth, really. Don't really need them. I seem to be sinking. Yeah, that's right. Let's stop by this island and make a new ref. Oh, great. The waves are against us. But they're actually going with us in our exploration wants, so. That's all good. Alright. 
Let's make another raft real quick and get some butterfly wings because those are useful. Chop up some bamboo. Believe it or not, actually, getting food is not that hard in hurricane season. As long as we can get a crock pot. The reason being is this game just hands you ice during hurricane season. So it, it's quite literally just running around collecting ice. And then, yeah, like that's that's about all you have to do during hurricane season to survive. Very, very simple. Should I also get some monster meat from these spiders? I think so. Because if I can find a pig, then I can get some pig skin, and that's great. That's a great use of my time. Oh, I didn't even realize I broke this. Where'd the vine go? There it is. Let's make a raft. Then let's go ahead and make some traps. Or just a trap should work. I don't see why not. Come on, guys. Okay, here's why a trap is not a good idea. No, I just dropped the silk. I'm so dumb. There we go. Is that all you got? No, you got more. You got more. Although we got the four monster meat we need. So, like, this is all just extras. Alright, that should be all they got. Let's head out now, then. If you guys didn't know, that's how you deal with spiders super easily. Just make some traps. It works against spiders. It's great. It's a great time. Alright, let's head north. Try to stay in the deep ocean so we can keep using these waves as speed boosts. Yeah, my How to Survive Spring video should be out tomorrow at 3 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, that is. Let's hope that does well. Let's hope it. It's uh, popular with you guys. I know a lot of you guys watch the Don't Starve content. That actually was my first big video was Don't Starve. It was the 100 Days Reign of Giants one. That was my first big video. And then after that, everything seemed to trickle up a little bit. Potential home, question mark? Potential. Ooh, yes, I like this biome. I like it a lot. And you guys want to see why? Watch this. Yeah, look at that. That's practically free light. And lots of gold on this island. Oh my goodness. Okay. Yeah, I should have seen that coming. But look at all this gold. Yeah. Now, they don't stay active forever, obviously. That would be OP, but... They still are active most of the time. Okay, we've got a jungle, too. If we can get a beach, this is home. Even if we don't get a beach. You know what? I'm fine with it. Oh, blue gem, too. That's cool. Unfortunately, Snowchester isn't a thing in this one. It's actually Packham. Packham Baggins. Tall birds. Ooh. Great food source. Really good food source. Holy moly. Tall bird. Crazy over here, man. Whoa. <laughs> An insane amount of tall birds over here.
This is actually rather crazy. Okay, unfortunately, I don't see any beaches. But you know what? You know what? We've got to settle down. We've got to. It's just imperative that we settle down at some point and make a decent boat. So, let's do this. I like settling near these critters. I, I very much enjoy it because they're free light for pretty much the entirety of every season, except for monsoon season. Monsoon season, they suck. But here we go. Now we can start making the good boats, like this armored boat. In fact, we'll have to go chop down some trees if we can. Now we can actually start being useful. There is one good thing about these jungle trees here, and that is there is no tree guard for them. The only downside, however, is these jungle trees sometimes spawn poison or venomous snakes, not poisonous snakes. That would be stupid. Although I think in the game they're called poison snakes, which makes no sense at all, but yeah, yeah, you're very mad. Oh, he's got that reach. See that Krizzer providing light for me? Oh, it's dropping, though. All right. Ugh, snakeskin. We're going to need some of that if we want to make a snakeskin sail. Nope. Where did my torch go? Oh, my goodness. That scared me. It went into a different slot. It looks like the snakes are also fighting the... Tall birds. That's interesting. If you guys hear that in the background there, that's the snakes fighting the tall birds. We can also get some bamboo to make cloth, because cloth sails are also pretty good. I think snakeskin sails have the best durability, but cloth sails give you the most speed. Besides the iron wind, but the iron wind, you need to fight a certain boss to get those. So, yeah, and I would like to set up a fish farm as soon as possible as well. Our beard is growing. What did I just make? I almost made an axe. That would have been a stupid idea. We don't need an axe. We do need to chop down these trees, but we don't need an axe. Because we already got one. Alright, let's chop down some big trees. Now, I think I have the stream latency set to low. I thought I did. Oops. Ran it on my axe. I thought I did, but it might be on medium. So, unfortunately, I won't be able to, like, respond to you guys as fast as possible. But if you, if you do comment, I will respond. When I get the chance to, when it shows up on my screen. But because of the latency, that might be... A while, unfortunately. What really sucks is my screen is actually on the other side of my desk, so... <laughs> yeah, it's, it's unfortunate. Very inconvenient. I have to, like, turn my head a full 180 to actually see chat. There's a poisonous snake. Venomous snake, by the way, but it says poison snake, see? Now, I really don't want to get hit by this guy, but... Ooh, he dropped a Venom Gland. That's helpful. Alright, let's just keep chopping down trees. We need a lot of wood. We need a lot of wood. Go ahead and chop down some more trees. There we go. Let's get some more bamboo. Today is just going to be a resource gathering day, really. I want to try to get the best boat possible so we can actually start moving around at a much faster speed. The question is, what do we need for a sail? For a good sail, not... Okay, I don't know. 
We'll figure it out when we get back to the alchemy engine. We'll figure it out. Let's eat some butterfly wings. Those are very helpful. Get some more bamboo. Not only is bamboo helpful for sails, but it's also helpful for, well, much more than sails. That I know. All right. Now let's get let's get to work. Let's get some boards. I think we need six. Yeah, look at how much wood that used, man. That's crazy. All right. Armored boat here. So we just need some rope, which is fine. We have tons of grass. Armored boat. We now have a real boat, guys. Look at that. Absolutely wonderful. Now we can make some cloth. make a cloth sail. All we gotta do is make some rope. And make a cloth sail. Throw the cloth sail on. And look at that. How beautiful is that? Unfortunately, I have to go to the restroom real quick. So, I'll be right back. However, I do have a new new pause screen. We'll, we'll just throw that up real quick. Look at that. We'll be back, guys. I'm back. Ugh. I tried my best to be as quick as possible, but my bladder can only empty as, as a human. <laughs> Alright, so we got our boat with a sail now. That's great. But... Um... Let's see. Is there anything else we can make here? An opulent machete might be a good idea. I don't know. But now we have the freedom to just go around. We can also make a boat lantern. How do I make that again? I don't remember. Boat lantern, boat lantern, boat lantern. Where? Where's the boat lantern? Oh, duh, it's probably in light. Yeah, boat torch. There we go. Because that we can turn on and off. We can also make boat lantern right here. But boat torch, we can just throw onto the boat. Which actually gives us light no matter what. So that's cool. That's very cool. Let's just go ahead and make a... I don't know, man. Let's just go ahead and start dropping some stuff at home. Yeah, that's cool. Now I want to go find a pig house. I need pig skin. Look at how fast we move now, guys. Oh, this is so much better. This is the shipwreck I'm used to. Ooh, full moon tonight. Full moon tonight. 
Okay, this is great. If we can find a pig hut, then not only will we get to save... Oh, coral reef! Okay, that's great. That's super close to our house, too. So that... That's actually kind of great. I'm happy with that discovery. I'm very happy with that discovery. Let's keep going deeper. We don't have to worry about being in the middle of the ocean anymore because, well, one, it's a full moon. And two, we have a boat torch now. And we know how to make more boat torches. So we are just straight up going to have a great time. It has that wet dog smell. Hmm. Very interesting. Very interesting. Oh, rainbow jelly. Those guys lead you to the volcano. Or, yeah, the volcano. I think they, they head towards the volcano. So that means the volcano is right over there, I think. Let's actually see. Let's see if it, if it is this way. Dude, look at how fast we move. It's so nice. It's so nice. Unfortunately, these large waves we can't use for speed boosts. There's only one character who can use the large waves for speed boosts. And that is Walani. But... We're not playing as Walani. We are playing as Wilson. So, unfortunately, there will be no Walani shenanigans. Oh, you see all that speed we got there? Oh, here we go. We're coming up on an island. Oh, nice. There's water beefalo. Look at these guys. These creatures seem reasonable. Yeah. Yeah, these creatures seem reasonable. Oh. Look at that. There's a base already made for us. <laughs> it's a it's a set piece. This is actually kind of cool. But we're not looking for that. We're looking for a pig hut. I'd really like to find a pig hut. I also would like to gather as much resources as possible. I think that's a great use of our time. Because hurricane season, much like winter, is going to cause it so we cannot actually gather that many resources. Not because they don't regrow, but because hurricanes are going to pretty much lock us at our house. Which, yeah. Oh no, my coffee's gone cold. That's not good. And we're only in day 10. We are not even halfway done with this stream, guys. And we are already at an hour and 21 minutes. This is going to be a long stream. <laughs> oh, this might have been a mistake. This is going to be a very long stream. Appreciate those of you who are sticking around, though. very helpful to my channel. Hello, water beefalo. Yeah, I agree. He does seem very reasonable. Ooh, I don't like that noise, though. Oh, look at that bee. He's just chilling. I, I really think I'm just having the worst luck possible. I feel like I should have found a pig hut by now. I would really prefer to not go through the entirety of Shipwrecked without a football helmet. There is another option, but it's one that is magnitudes more dangerous. Let's explore for today, 
if if we can't find one by tonight, then we'll do the other option. But I'll just give you guys a hint now. It's a boss fight. <laughs> but it's one of the easiest bosses in this game to beat. Oh, great. That's the edge of the world. Yeah, I don't think we're going to find one. Oh, and we're going against the waves. I don't like that, especially on a full moon. We could use the edge of the world, but that'll just take us back down there. We've already been down there. So we don't really want to go back down there. Ah! Oh, God. That was terrifying. I wasn't even looking at my screen. I really need to get another monitor. Oh, what am I doing? I should be facing this way so I can see better. All right, we need to get all the way back north. Yeah, we're going to do it, guys. We're going to fight the Quacken. We're going to fight the Quacken. Why not? The Quacken is actually a super easy boss to kill. In fact, if we can get a fish farm set up... Although, I don't know how fast we could get a fish farm set up. We can find a... Uh, Swordfish, that'd be great. Because now we can actually fight one. Hello. I haven't been to this island yet. Looks like it's just prime apes. But other than that, it looks pretty boring. Boring little island. Let's head back to home. We are getting a tad bit hungry. Let's go ahead and... Oh, message in a bottle. Yes, please. After I'm done stuffing my face with seaweed. All right. This could be useful. Oh, yeah, that's pretty far. Oh, actually, we can keep this bottle. Make a boat lantern at some point. All right, welcome back home, everybody. Let's drop this bottle here. And then let's go ahead and make an opulent pickaxe. Let's see. We've got plenty of thingamabobs here. We've got plenty. All right, what do we need for trawl nets? That's right, we're fighting the quacken. Trawl net. We need lots of rope. It's a good thing we have lots of grass. So let's go ahead and make one, two, three, four, five, six. And then, yeah, we could just make two trawl nets. That seems good to me. That seems great to me, actually. You know what's cool about these critters, too? We can actually cook on them. How cool is that? So we don't need to waste fuel for a fire. We can just come over here and cook our stuff real quick. Okay. Oh, I can't. Why do you say it's so sad? Oh, I can't. Alright, is this still full moon tonight? I think it is. So to summon the Quacken... To summon the... Yes, it is a full moon tonight. That's good, but also not too great. It's best to fight the Quacken as early as you possibly can. Oh, it's a mangrove.
I wonder if it's getting enough water. Dude, why would you ever ask that? That's just silly. Wilson's a little silly Billy, isn't he? I don't want to troll too much during the full moon just because of the large waves. But tomorrow we can definitely troll. But we need to head over to the deep ocean. Like, I think where the where the water's darker, that's that's where you want to trawl. You want to go to where the water's darkest. In order to fight the quacken. There's a rainbow jelly. We also could get some coral. Ooh, brain coral. Hmm. Ah. The rainbow jellies are all around here. Hello, what is this? Oh, whoa, wait. That's useful stuff. Snakeskin hat, I'm pretty sure that's like... It's like a, a version of an umbrella. It's actually decent. And it'll allow us to kill jellyfish. Alright, let's throw some stuff in here that we're not going to use anymore. Because we're going to want to... Yeah, let's just throw some, some wacky doodads. Actually, we'll eat this. There we go. Alright. Should we take that life vest? Okay. If things get bad during the fight, we can use the life vest. So that's not, not bad. Alright. Are we in deep water? We are. Let's do this, guys. Quacken, here we come. Watch. We get in on the first item. That'd be crazy. We are in deep water, so anything we pick up has a chance to spawn Quacken. It could happen, or it could just give us no luck. There's another thing. Sometimes you can get some pretty cool things, too, from trawling, so... Trawling in general is actually not a bad use of your time in this game because you can get some pretty good stuff uh, whatever I wasn't trying to ride on that wave anyway Again, we could either get the Quacken today or be unlucky and not get the Quacken. I really hope we're lucky and get it. I should have came out with three nets. I think three nets is the sweet spot. But we could get really lucky and... Let's just grab this row. <laughs> you can game it too. Like, you can just throw a bunch of items down and run it over with your trawl net to you know, get the spawn rate over with. But I also, I want some of the stuff that we can get by trawling. Like, there's actually some really good things you can get by trawling, so. Kind of kill two birds with one stone here. But it looks like we're not getting the Quacken on our first net. Which is okay. That's to be expected. Honestly. There it is. All right, let's see. Yeah, we got the row. I actually do want to start saving that up. We got mussels, license plates, seaweed, fish, fire staff. Oh. Oh, it's, it's, uh, it is storming quite violently outside, guys. I did not even notice that. Well, that's going to lead to a fun stream if I get electrocuted to death because I am hooked up to every wire in my house right now. <laughs> if I suddenly go unresponsive, guys, just know I got electrocuted to death. Oh, wow. It just started violently downpouring outside. Ooh. Wow. Woo-wee. 
Look, if my power goes out, I didn't fail the challenge. That was just Mother Nature telling me not to stream for nine hours. My goal is to get a trident. Oh, wow. Dude, it sounds like bombs are going off outside. I haven't heard lightning in so long. It actually sounds like there's bombs going off. What's the what, what's the weather? Let's let's look at this together, guys. What's the weather looking like? Oh, there it is. There's quacking. There's quacking. Okay. Well, never mind. No looking at the weather. It is time to spring into action. All right, where's the head? Heads up north. Let's go. We're going to we're going to get hit by waves, but it's really not that bad. All right, where's the head? We need to speed run to the head. Come on. Over this way. No way! A swordfish? Not now, dude! Oh, crap. Okay, this swordfish is actually going to be a problem. Hold on. Dude, out of nowhere, swordfish? Okay. Cool, but also annoying. Alright, where are you going? Perfect. Our boat's unfortunately taking a lot of damage. A lot more than I would have liked, but... We still got this. Ooh, that sucks, actually. Let's just pay attention to the, the health. We should still get this. Yeah, we got it. We got it. And we got the beautiful booty bag. And there is our armor. Look at that. Wonderful. Wonderful. We got the armor. We got the beak. We don't really need the beak. We got some doubloons. I did take a lot more damage than I would have liked to. Oh, hey, what's up? Still trying to find who asked. Your name is very awkward to say. I'm sorry. But that's cool. Welcome back. We got the sail stick. Let's learn this. Volcano staff. That's kind of cool, but also kind of useless. Okay. We took a lot of damage to our boat. So now is a good time to do a repair. The only problem is to repair the boat, right? To repair. Oh, man, it is storming violently outside. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. The only problem is to make a boat repair kit, you need stingers. Stingers. We got in our trawl net. And we want the booty bag. What am I, what am I doing, dude? We need the booty bag. We need the booty bag. I can call you uh, Kubo or Kubo. Which one? Okay, wait. We'll need to throw our stuff in here. Real quick. Okay, switch over to the booty bag. Okay. Um Yeah, we 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 are hurting. Quite a bit. That was our old trawl net. I have no clue where our other trawl net went, dude. And I'm actually more concerned about my boat. I'm gonna be honest. Uh, do we just eat the cost and make another boat? I mean, really, the boats aren't that expensive. Like, it's just wood. And, dude, wow. You guys might actually start hearing thunder on stream real quick. <laughs> like it, it's getting bad. 
It's getting very bad. My goodness. That is violently. We got our crown, though. This crown is basically... Whoa. I did not realize the uh, time. Let's go ahead and turn this on. It's what it's for. Okay, We're heading back home now. Our boat is at 56 health. It's not doing well at all. We can't get hit by it any waves. But we should be fine. We should be totally fine as long as we don't take too many wave hits. I need to get to land. Yes, you do. Oh, God, that scared me. If that was a swordfish, we'd be dead. It'd be over. I'm getting ready to switch to the life, life vest any second now. Oh, there's the rain. The rain is pounding on my window right now. You know, funny enough, I think the last time I played Don't Starve Shipwrecked, when I did the 100 Days Challenge, it also stormed severely. So maybe there's just something about playing this game and severe storms happening. I don't know. Alright, give me, give me some... Dry up my stuff real quick. Okay. Let's just go ahead and drop these for now. We've got plenty of doubloons now. Let's go ahead and make another boat. I think that's a wise and smart decision. Let's dry off a little more here. As close as we can without catching on fire. That's probably a smart idea. There we go. We're reasonably dry now. Worst case scenario, we'll just go collect some seashells. We'll be fine. We'll be totally fine. We also can make one of the best weapons in the game with this dead swordfish. The Cutlass Supreme. And it is as supreme as you would think it would be. It is quite great. Did I leave my spear on the ground? What? I totally did. Why would I ever do that? That's stupid of me. Oh man, there's not a lot of trees on this island that are fully grown. Oh, that sucks. I don't like cutting down mid-grown trees. Oh, there's a fully grown tree. Okay, two fully grown trees, actually. That's good. We'll use this. Yeah, I left my spear over there, but it doesn't matter. We're going to get the Cutlass Supreme here in a second. Oop, there we go. We are full on logs. We're losing sanity. I know. I know. It certainly is an issue, but... Now we're not losing sanity, so haha. -ha. Alright, let's make this Cutlass Supreme. Should be just gold and... Yep, there it is. Cutlass Supreme. Best weapon in the game. Best weapon in the game. Alright. Let's start making some boards. Two, three, four, five. We need one more board. Uh, you know what? You know what? Let's make a regal shovel. And then, you know what I also want to make? I would like to make a palm leaf hut. That's the good stuff right there. Unfortunately, none of the critters are active when we need them to be. As is the way of life, I guess. Alright, the reason I made the shovel was so we could dig up the stumps. 
What we could also do is plant these coconuts. Though you can't plant them unless they're on sand. Which is not too fun, but... but... We can dig up these stumps for a little extra wood. Which is definitely a welcome thing. some of those bananas. Keep us nice and fed. None of these trees have turned into larger trees. But that's okay. They can become big on their own time. Let's also dig up this pile. Perfect. Treasure. Oh, all that gold just went into the ocean. Alright. Let's cook these eggs. And let's cook the seaweed. We're gonna have a beautiful dinner of seaweed and eggs. That's my favorite dinner. Aw, oh, whatever. Oh, hey, one of the gold landed over here, though. Alright. Let's have a little bit of a dinner. Dinner meal here. And then let's plant some more trees. Because we're kind to the environment. We are super kind to the environment. That that is a funny name there. <laughs> uh, that is quite a comedic name you've got there. All right, let's. Uh, we can make one more board. One, two, three. Let's make another boat. I know, I know. Making a boat repair kit would probably be a thousand... Oh, I left the light on. Oh, I'm so stupid. That doesn't matter. That stuff's cheap anyway. Right. Let's go ahead and make a torch. And then using that, we should be able to make another... Ooh, we're out of twigs. Ooh, we are out of twigs. And I don't think there's any on this island that haven't been plucked by me. Oh, wait, there might be. There might be. Dude, that snake just should have combusted into flames. All right, give me some twigs. I also made the shovel so that we can go... You know what? We could, we could real quick get some meat here. Why is that snake stalking me? What do you think you're doing, buddy? <laughs> Alright, let's steal this egg, and then let's just... Oh, the snakes are gonna eat it, though. Let's just eat it raw. We're crazy like that. We just murdered the mother of that... I'm still trying to find who asked. <laughs> Alright, let's keep collecting resources. Yep, I knew that guy was going to wake up. Oh, that's terrifying, just seeing that eyeball moving through the dark. Let's get a move on. Alright. We're back home. We can make a boat torch. Now, if you really, really wanted to be smart about it, you could technically make a boat torch as soon as you're... Oh! I forgot about that. <laughs> I forgot the lights go out. <laughs> Whoopsies. Let's see. Can we make a luxury machete? We'll need more bamboo. Let's go ahead and just... Let's go full luxury mode. We could convert some doubloons into gold nuggets, but... Eh, I don't really want to. I don't really want to, because doubloons are arguably way better than gold nuggets. And we are out of twigs yet again. We should go, like, dig up some twigs to bring back home. In fact, that's that's probably what I'm going to spend a day doing. 
Let's do that. We'll need to clear out our inventory a little bit. Although chests in this DLC are arguably more important than they've ever been. So let's let's make a chest because during hurricane season everything will be blown around. This monster meat's going to go bad. Mm. But you know what? That's fine. It'll give us some rot which we can use to There we go. We can use rot to fertilize grass that we bring over. So that's not terrible. All right, we have just enough to make one chest. So let's do that. One chest. Let's just throw it down over here. And then let's just, uh, oh. Let's keep the stuff that we want. Let's do this. Okay. That looks good. That looks good. And then we'll go ahead and head over to this island down south. It's got a bit of resources. Let's grab coral too. We're gonna need this. This is very important for hurricane season. It makes a very unpleasant noise when you mine it, but trust me, we want this stuff. Very handy. Very, very handy. Sometimes they drop more than what you would expect, but. Uh. Oh, the row. Give me the row. Oh, he ate it. Whatever. Okay, that should be enough. I think that's going to be enough. We can actually also move coral wherever we want to take it. Which is a cool addition to the game. I'm glad they added that. Because uh, before, you would have to just be at the mercy of wherever the coral decides to be in your world. But now, you can actually move it to where you want it to go. So let's just go ahead and grab some of this grass. Now, like I was saying, food gets easier to get the longer you survive in Shipwrecked. Which is cool, but early game food is actually pretty difficult to get. You're basically relying on seaweed and whatnot until later on when you have like fish farms, muscle sticks, all kinds of stuff. Now, much like summer, dry season. Uh, shrivels up all of the crops. However, dry season doesn't cause things to spontaneously combust. Instead, there's volcano eruptions, but there is a way to deal with those. There is a way to deal with volcano eruptions. However, I'm gonna play through like I don't know how to do that. So, yeah. That should be a fun experience for everybody. Dodging volcanoes. Oh yeah, I can do this. It's gonna be more than eight hours, I think. It's it's gonna be long. Cause, okay, a day in this game is eight minutes. A year is 72 days. So doing the math, that's about nine hours, or it should be, if I did the math correctly. Cause it'd be eight times 72 divided by 60. 
It's gonna be a long one. It's gonna be a long- I mean, we're only on day 13 and we're already almost at two hours on the stream. Yeah. I got this, though. I love this game. I could play this game for forever. It's a fun game. And I've already prepared the whole day to be dedicated to this challenge, so... It's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. So we've already devoided this entire island of saplings and grass and whatnot. Not only that, but I'm actually extending the time I have to be streaming every time I go into like my inventory or take a bathroom break. So it's it's ugh. we might we might creep up on ten hours with this one. All right, that sounds good. I'll see you back on your other account. Ooh, doubloons. The balloons. Me the balloons. All right. That's pretty good. Let's take this stuff home. Ah. Almost, uh, almost messed up royally there. That would have sucked. I really should build a campfire, but I'm just so lazy. I'm just so lazy. Alright, let's start planting some of this grass and twigs and whatnot. Now, for a long-term world, I would suggest, like, planting this in a much more, un like, I don't know how to describe it. A much more neat design. However, I'm just going to make a pile like this because I'm crazy. And I'm evil. So we just plant this like this. There we go. This torch is done with its uses. There is a storm coming. That's what this wind is about. Yeah, look at all this. So we'll plant these saplings here as well so we can get some more twigs in the future. All right. Well, luckily we have the snakeskin hat, which we can use to... In two hours. Alright, I'll see you there. We'll see how far we can get in two hours by the time you're back, man. <laughs> Alright. Let's... Let's do this. I need some more gold, so I'm gonna go ahead and dig up... Wait, I think I left gold in the chest, actually. I think I left gold in the chest. I did. I also left the balloons in here. Yeah, so it's going to storm, but that's not too bad. Yep, here comes the rain. It shouldn't be terrible. It shouldn't be terrible. It's going to be a, a slight downpour, but there won't be any lightning or anything crazy like that. You always get one storm during mild season. You always get one. Yeah, see, this storm is nothing. This storm is nothing.
Oh, look at all these butterfly wings it brought up to the shoreline. We can eat these, get some quick, get a nice quick snack. I'm happy with that. Come here, butterfly. Ugh, gotcha. Loser. More butterfly wings. Got some vines. Vines aren't that useful. I actually don't think I know of any. All right, let's throw the snakeskin hat on now so we don't get too wet. And then let's also chop some trees down. We need more wood. Today is going to be based on resources. You better not get mad at me, you dumb bird. Yeah, if we can get some more bamboo and miscellaneous resources, that'd be great. That would be great. Let's dry off a little bit under this tree. And you're mad at me, aren't you? Yeah, you are. Let's handle you. Perfect. Yeah, I do think killing Quacken that early on was was a good move. Despite it costing us a lot of resources to actually fix our armored boat, I think it was a good move. And that is because we now have the Thulsite Crown, which is an upgraded version of the football helmet. So I'm happy with our decision. Hopefully you guys are too. Hopefully. All right, we got plenty of rocks. Let's go ahead and plant these. Now you'll notice these grass are like really gross looking. That's because they need to be fertilized. And we can actually do that if our monster meat has spoiled, which I'm guessing it has. Let's see. Yep, it has. So this rot right here, rot is actually useful. So go ahead and take your rot and just come up here and fertilize it. Look at that, brand new. Brand new perfect pieces of grass. Isn't that great? All right, I think we should make a fire pit now, just for cooking purposes, because we have a lot of things that we need to cook, but the critters don't stay active enough for us to cook things in a perfect way. So our biggest bottleneck right now is actually wood. We're actually running low on wood more than we are anything else. So we could go on a, on a wood expedition, but what I want to make here is, oh, I shouldn't have made this fire pit, that was a dumb move by me. Watch me making all the dumb moves. I should have made a chiminea. But it's okay, because we need sand for that anyway. But we can make a limestone like this. Now we've got two limestone. That's what we need for it. We'll go dig up some sand here in a second. In fact, uh, we'll just act like this never happened. We'll just... Where's my hammer? Alright, guys. I never made this... I don't know what I don't know what you saw, but I never made this. <laughs> never did I make a fire pit. That'd be stupid. Of course I'm only going to make a chiminea. Why would I ever make a fire pit? That'd be just stupid of me. All right, let's head ooh, down south. We've got down south. We can also get some spider kills on our belt. Oh, doubloons. If you guys didn't know, that's the benefit of having this lucky backpack or whatever it's called. What is it? Booty bag? The booty bag. That's the benefit of having the booty bag. Oh, what's up, dude? Another swordfish? I'll take it. All right, let's... Can we... Here, attack us real quick so I can turn this on. I don't know what that, like, outline was. Did we get hit? I didn't think we got hit. Anyways, we can make another Cutlass Supreme now. 
which is amazing, actually. Also, that's Doi Doi Island. We need to be careful around Doi Doi Island. We don't want the last Doi Doi to die. As you'll notice, nights are getting longer. Very unfortunate, but it's happening. It's nothing we can do. Can't do nothing about it. Let's throw our crown back on. Nothing we can do about it. Let's go to make a torch. So that we can get to work on the island. Let's turn this off. Equip this. Get on the island. And we are in business. Look at all these beautiful full-grown trees we can chop down. Nope. Alright, I hear the doi doi. Haha, <laughs> get scammed. Oh, hey, doi doi. How's it going? I could pick him up right now, but he's honestly pretty safe on this island. The only danger is spiders. But, uh, I mean, I guess I am being too lenient. He is a doi doi. Those guys tend to get themselves killed in every imaginable way. Look at him wandering. They also eat everything. Like, I'm not even joking. Everything. I'm pretty sure anything on the ground they will try to eat, which is crazy, but... Uh, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? It's a doi doi. Alright, let's get some wood. I'm also gonna try to kill some spiders, get some more monster meat. Hey, what's up, snake? Goodbye, snake. Now, I don't know why I didn't think of streaming in the first place. Especially when I did things like my 100 days challenge. Because if you guys notice, I uploaded the unedited version. And it was basically like a live stream, just without chat. So, it's... I, I should have just live streamed. I should have just live streamed this whole time. It's so much fun. And then everybody gets to see everything live, so. It's basically just unedited, but also live? Question mark? Emoji? Alright, let's make one trap. One trap should be good enough. Hello, spiders. I need monster meat, so unfortunately you're going to have to come out here. Go in the trap, dummies. Oh, crap. Come here. Come on, one of you gets in the trap. There we go. Come on. Another one. There we go. <laughs> Any more? We got one more. You'll give me monster meat, right? No, you'll give me spider glands. Stupid. Useless spider. Are there any more of you in there? No. Alright, we need silk anyway, so that's okay. Let's see. We can eat a raw egg. That's healthy for us, I think. And all this roasted seaweed. Perfect. Grab this trap again. Do we have any more spiders on this island? Or is this really it? We have to go to this island to get more spiders, it looks like. Okay, we can do that. Our inventory is a little bit of a mess right now, though. Little bit of a mess. What do we need to make a Cutlass Supreme? We can make another one real quick. That way it's not spoiling in our inventory. We could... Oh man, that doi is just running around. He's definitely going to get in trouble. We could drop this hammer. Hammers are pretty cheap. They're pretty cheap. Let's hop in our boat and head off. I want to keep the snake skin. 
because you can make a pretty good sale with that. Gooder. I did not say gooder. I just stuttered. <laughs> uh, it happens when you try to talk a lot. I like to narrate every single thing I'm doing. No. Okay. I thought I saw a, a pig house on this island and I was going to be like, what? What? How did that get there? Nope. No pig house. No pig house, unfortunately. Though there are saplings and I kind of want more twigs. So we'll stop by and grab some. Grab some saplings. I should bring these saplings home, but I really don't need to. We are about to hit hurricane season. Let's also dig up some sand. Oh, there's... Yeah, there's so much we need to get... Okay, we'll drop a trap. Traps are also pretty cheap. <laughs> Let's dig up some sand. We need some sand to make our chiminea. So that's why we're digging up sand. go. That should be enough sand. Although I'd like to dig up more sand because sometimes you can find like gears or stuff in these sand piles. And if I could find a gear, that'd be great. I think I hear crocodiles. Or perhaps not. Water beefalo are also pretty good at fighting crocodogs. If you ever need like a quick... I do hear crocodogs, right? Those are crocodogs, right? What am I hearing? Are you guys hearing any of that? Yeah, that's crocodogs. Why am I not... Why is my character not saying anything? That's terrifying. My character's just not caring that there's crocodogs about to descend upon me. We could take him to the swamp. We could take him to the swamp. Handle him there. With a torch in hand. Ooh, we do not have... Okay, let's eat these bananas. What is this small little island? Or is this connected? That sounds so scary. Alright, let's make another torch real quick. We'll need it. Yes, I did hear that. Surprisingly, I heard it before you heard it. Of course, the crocodogs will attack us at night, which is the best time for them to ever attack us. Lots of snakes on this island. Holy snake. Wow. This is fine. We're fine. We're so totally fine. We gotta be careful of the poison holes. Yep, we've got a, a small militia following us, I believe. Oh no, the fighter, this the fighters. The spiders are fighting the snakes. We need you guys to work together. You're gonna be fighting croco-dogs. There he is. Alright. Let's see if this method works. I know I could definitely handle the croco-dog on my own. Like, they're not that serious, but, like, I also want to see if this works. Alright, do I still have both of them on me? Do I still have both of them on me? I think this is just this one on me. Yeah, I could definitely handle just one. Hop off my line, dude. You're very annoying, buddy. <laughs> you should be ashamed of yourself. Look at you, you can't even hit me. You should be ashamed. Stupid croco dog. Yeah, yeah, I get it. Where? What? Okay. So they just give up on you if you keep doing that. That's good to know. <laughs> okay. 
Well, we're all good then. Didn't even have to fight them. Ooh, those spiders are poison. They walked in the poison hole. Right, come on. We need more... We need more silk. I think silk is wonderful. Oh, we don't have any more trap. Okay. Let's go ahead and run away real quick to make a trap. We could break down one of these nests. Though, they're only tier 2, and I don't like breaking tier 2 nests. Because that feels very wasteful. Oh, uh, I... That was my bad. Absolutely my fault. Don't worry, guys. This is not a hitless run. So... I'm, uh... I'm gonna be fine. Yep, I took another hit there. That was stupid. Don't worry, though. This crown has a lot of durability. You know what? Let's just break the spider nest. How much silk could it give us? It should give us a decent amount. Yeah, I mean... Yeah, that's okay. That's an okay amount, I guess. Not great, though. I'll be honest. Any snake skin? Ooh, we've got some... Whoa, look at this. We've got eye shot. I forgot Flup's dropped that. It's like a blow dart, but weaker. What? <laughs> okay. Guys, look away from the screen whenever I do combat, because I suck. Come on. Bye-bye. Alright. We got plenty of monster meat now, but... <laughs> We're kind of, uh... We don't have any pigs to feed it to, so it's not very useful in this state. Unfortunately. We could definitely use a bit more wood. I think. Okay, I picked up everything but the wood. Oh, here comes the monkeys to steal everything. <laughs> no! He's gonna follow me now too, isn't he? Imagine if they could just like hop on your boat. That'd be terrifying. Okay. Let's head home and get this chiminea built up. That's what I would like to do. If we could find a pig hut, that'd be great, but I'm not holding my breath. I really, really think we should have found the pig hut by now, but, you know, I guess it's not that serious. I guess it's not that serious. We also need to make a crock pot. And then, if I'm correct, if I'm correct, hold on, this is going to be a test. Let's just drop this torch in the water. I know it's wasteful, but... Well, actually, let's not do that quite yet. Row, question mark? No row. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. Oh, I'm out of coffee! Oh, no, guys. The stream has to end now. I'm sorry. Why am I wearing this snakeskin hat? Okay, we're going north. We're going north. Oh, yeah. Sorry, guys. We're on normal latency. That's why I'm not able to see your chats that fast. I apologize. Uh, next time, I'll set it to low latency. I didn't notice any difference in video quality. Unless this video quality looks really good. If so, then I'll keep it on normal quality, but... I like low latency because I like to interact with you guys. I forgot to set it to that. But hey, if the video quality is good, then maybe this is the way to go. Alright, so what do we need to make a fish farm? Oh, beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. We got coconuts for days. 
The problem is we don't have grass for days. Let's just throw this cutlass on the ground here. I don't think the cutlass will move during the wind. All right, fish farm time. This is my favorite item in all of Shipwrecked, by the way. And look at that. No, 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 give me those, give me those. Yeah, that's what you need to actually make the fish farm. Let's just throw these spider glands down. All right, fish farm here. Fish farm here. Fish farm here. And that looks like all we can make so far. But look at this, you throw a row in here and now we have infinite food, quite literally. It's great. All right, we'll need to get more grass. Hmm, how do we get more grass? How do we get more grass? There's gotta be a way. Where there's a will, there's a way. All right, I'm gonna, hold on. Ugh. It's time for another short bathroom break. That coffee's really going right through me. I'll be right back, guys. All right, I'm back. Let's get a let's get a drink going on here. We are on our number. What are we on? A two right now, but two and a half, two and a half hours so far, and we are not even halfway done. <laughs> oh, dude, I'm gonna be I'm gonna have a terrible day. All right, let's let's make this palm leaf. Palm leaf hut. We need more grass. We need to go get more grass. That's what we need. Ooh, row maybe? No row. Fine. Whatever. Whatever. No row then, I guess. Keeps me afloat without my boat. Ah, that's funny. Um, what do we do here? Oh, chiminea, chiminea. Chiminea, we need limestone. Crap. Oh, wait, we have a torch. All right, Chiminea. Chiminea, right there. Look at this. This is basically hurricane-proof fire, which is great. Which is very great. Let's go ahead and cook some meat and eat it. So, on the list of things we need to get in four days, a crock pot, a palm leaf hut, and more row for our fish farms. Wow, that meat really fills you up. That's great. Though, really, we're actually going to be kind of fine on food, if you think about it, because we're... What are, what are we, we, we... We've got... What are they called? I'm blanking out, guys. I'm having a issue with my speaking right now. Tall birds. That's what they are. God, why, how did I forget that? Tall birds. Tall birds. That's what they're called. 
And I know I'm idling around a fire. It's absolutely terrible to do that. Don't do this if you have the choice. In fact, why am I idling around a fire? What am I doing? I'm throwing the entire game. I'm sorry, guys. All right, let's go. Let's go. That was stupid of me to idle around a fire like a dummy. We need grass. We need charcoal. I just threw my torch in the water. I just threw my torch in the water. I threw my torch in the water. Uh, not even three hours in and I'm already... Yeah, and I need grass for that. Oh, guys, I'm a mess. Okay. <laughs> let's let's move on. <laughs> uh, and we brought all the sand. Oh, you know, we're fine. We're fine. We're going to be okay. <laughs> we're going to be fine. Our beard is fully grown, but the beard doesn't provide any usefulness in shipwrecked. It actually makes Wilson a little weaker in shipwrecked because during dry season it'll actually become a nuisance. Luckily, the beard is very easy to shave off. And the beard hair actually makes a good fuel source, believe it or not. So, oh, I just hit my desk really hard with my elbow. That hurt. Yeah, I'm thinking about, like, broadening my, hello, lone grass on this island. I might as well take it. We'll take these limpets as well. I'm thinking about broadening my streaming horizon. I want to do, like a, uh, uh, like, a competitive game next or something. I don't know. The Overwatch videos do pretty well on this channel. Maybe that'll be next. I don't know, though. Would that be cringe? I don't know. I don't want to be an Overwatch streamer. That, that's just not my vibe. But they do well on the channel, so like, maybe. Maybe we have to stoop down to the eSports streams. <laughs> that sounds... Dirty. So what we're doing right now is just gathering as many resources as we can. I could dig them up and bring them home. But we have very limited inventory space. So I'm not sure if we want to do that. Oh my goodness, dude. This is going to be such a long stream. We're already at half the length of the Soma stream. Well, almost half the length of the Soma stream. And we're not even halfway done with this challenge. Like, this is going to be very long. That crab's sick. Don't get snappy with me, mister. Yeah. God. You guys think I'm going to be able to do it? Play Don't Starve for 9 slash 10 hours straight? I've done it in real life before. Well, real life. What? This is real life. What am I talking about? I've done it non-streaming before. Back when I was way younger, though. This is a cool little island. This is a cool little island. Oh, thank you. Thank you, Drew, for the... the kind words. Again, I keep- I keep trying to check on my... on my chat as often as I can, but it is- it is a little hard. It is a little hard. Unfortunately, 
the latency it makes it very difficult to see what you guys are saying in chat. Alright, we're getting a few more coconuts here. Let's head back out into the ocean. We don't need these palm leaves. Yeah, let's head back out into the ocean. We're ready to go. I think I should just become a a musician, a vocalist, I should say. That's what I should become, guys. Don't you agree? Smash that like button if you agree. Oh, I just ran over my foot. Ow. Just ran over my foot. Let me actually go ahead and pull up the stream health here. There we go. Good. I lost chat for a second. Good thing none of you guys talked to me. Because I wouldn't have seen it for the last, like, 15 minutes. That's over-exaggerated, but... Ooh, yes! Thank you! Thank you! Oh. Stop, pick the seaweed, dude. Don't just AFK in the middle of the water. God. Why would you ever do that? We got some more row, though, which means more fish farm potential. Which is great. It's so great. It is so great. Um, should we continue our grass collection? Potentially. We also have a treasure down here. We might as well go for it. There's no harm in going for it. We've got our boat torch. We'll be fine, guys. However, our boat torch will not last the whole night. Let's just eat raw limpets. I'm not afraid of a little bit of insanity. There is a new shadow creature in this DLC. But... It's one that I don't really fight that often because fighting them on land is a lot easier. It's it's like an ocean shadow creature. It's very weird, very gross and unsettling. Of course, why wouldn't the waves go in the way that we want them to go? Oh, the music just cut off. That's creepy. Well, we've already killed one boss. We've got what? Two more to go. There's not actually that many bosses in this version. There's palm tree guards, but I don't count them as bosses because they're they're pretty weird. And you can kill them pretty easily with like a hound attack or something. Crap. Alright. Alright, what we got here? Sea trap. Ooh, boat lantern. Speak of timing, dude. That's great. However, we are... You know what? This this shovel's about to go. Ah, uh, but, like, it, it's also a shovel. You know what? Seashells. We don't need all that. I will take these doubloons. We will gamble eventually. Mark my words, guys. Oh, I thought I just lit it on fire. That would have been stupid. The button to interact with it is the same button to set it on fire. So, like, <laughs> that would have sucked. That would have sucked. Oh, that was a freaky little monster. That was a freaky little monster. All right, let's head north this way. We've got three days until hurricane season hits. Or I think it starts on day 21, actually. So we, we're we pretty good. We're pretty good. Let's throw this torch back in our inventory. What is that? Oh, it's just a wave. We're going a little insane. But that's not terrible. A little bit of insanity never hurts no one. Was that a cormorant? No. We need more cormorants so we can get more row. 
I am noticing a lot more people are watching the stream than uh, the Soma stream. So hello everybody who's new to the channel or returners from that stream. I'm glad to have you guys around. Even if you don't want to chat, that's cool. That's cool. But uh, it would be cool if you did, man. I'll respond to you, I promise. Alright, let's gather some grass. Lots of sweet potatoes here. That's what those guys are in the ground there. Lots of flowers, too. We could actually refill our sanity really quickly if we decided to. Alright, we're getting lots of grass. This is great. Let's go ahead and actually set down a temporary campfire here. I want to eat these seaweeds we have here. Yummy! Coconut! Alright, it probably is better to actually start making rope, like now, because that'll take up less space than the grass. So let's start making some rope. This is the whole purpose of getting all this grass too, so we can make more fish farms. Because fish farms are OP. You make fish farms in this game, you're set. For life. Like, you have infinite food. And if you can get purple groupers, you're essentially safe from every boss in this game. Except for Tiger Shark. But Tiger Shark's just a normal boss. Just fight her like a normal boss. And you'll be fine. Literally, the bosses in Shipwrecked are probably the easiest bosses in the entire game. Now, what I'm not excited for is Hamlet. However, that stream will actually be pretty short. Because the Hamlet year is 33 days. Which means we'd be halfway there by now. Well, still, I guess that's not that short. Man. <laughs> that's that's still like six hours. <laughs> oh my goodness. Dude, this game is long. What would a short stream be to you guys? Like I'm curious. It'd be like an hour. What's considered short and what's considered long? You know what I mean? Because most streams I see are about two hours, three hours in length. So, like, if this was a normal stream, or at least one of the streams, like, I see normally on YouTube, we'd be nearing the end right now. But that's unfortunately not the case right now, so. Let's go ahead and wander, wander back. We can make some more rope, but we don't necessarily need to right now. Oh, we need charcoal. Charcoal. Is there any place that's not, that we can set fire to the forest where it's not going to be too detrimental? I don't see any. I don't, unfortunately, see any. So let's just head back home. We don't need a crock pot to survive hurricane season. It's a it's definitely helpful, but we don't need one. Like it's on the lower tier of things that we need. But that's only thanks to our unique location. Like the fact that we live right next to tall birds, that's what makes things easy. Yes! More row! Oh, that makes me very happy. That makes me very happy.
though. For more fish farms, we're going to need more silk. That's what I'm realizing the bottleneck may be. No row from you guys. That's annoying. Okay, we actually have to start going this way. Can we hit the waves like this? Yes, we can. You know it. Row? No row. Fine. Whatever. I didn't want it anyway. There is another food source that you may, like, not think about at first. But it's actually a very powerful food source. And that is jellyfish. Cooked jellyfish can actually carry you through this entire game. This entire DLC. Like, it, it is quite the treat. Hello. Might as well stop on this island. We'll do a little bit of a little bit of trolling on this island here. Let's go ahead and make more rope. That was a very loud thunder crack outside. I don't think that's thunder, actually. I think my house is just tearing apart from the seams, dude. From the seams, it is tearing apart. We also need to make a palm leaf hut. I haven't forgotten about that. I have not forgotten about that. That is certainly something that we need to do. Seashells aren't too important. A tar extractor would be great as well if we can get tar. Crap, we're going to take a hit. No, we're not. Oh, beautiful. <laughs> Charlie, more like... You can't hit me, dude. XD or something like that. Of course, there's no pig huts on this island either. Why would there be? Why would there be anything that I needed to find? How rare are pig huts? I didn't think they were that rare. But, like, man, am I not finding any? Wow. Day 19. No pig huts. Gotcha. Whatever. That just feels surreal to me. Like, no pig huts at all. In this entire planet, dude. None of them. Absolutely no pig huts. How are we doing on our sale, by the way? I need to keep that protected a little bit. We are at 7%. We're going to want to go ahead and repair that a little bit with our sewing kit. Look at that. One sewing kit and it's 100%. That's great. We also should start killing jellyfish now. And there's a good reason for that. The reason being, we want to summon floaty boaty knights. Alright, so I think if I wear this, I can kill jellyfish. Yeah, I can kill them without getting electrocuted. So let's drop these limpets, and let's just start collecting jellyfish. Because we'll actually start spawning in floaty boaty knights. So we want to do this. I know, it's very sad. Poor jellyfish. Wah, wah, wah. But look, we need gears. We need gears and we need lots of them. So we're just going to go ahead and kill as many innocent creatures as we can. Though I'm surprised we didn't get the walking cane from killing the quacken. I'm kind of upset about that, actually. I'm actually really upset about that. But, uh, eh, what are you going to do? All right, let's get a... There's tar kind of close to our house. Actually, no, not there. Our house is that way. Whoops. 
Okay, there's no tar that close to our house. We'll have to make a quacken drill. Though, I forget, what does the tar extractor need? I know it needs coconuts. As with most floating items in this game. Oh, bro. Give me that. Wonderful. Okay. Let's head up north. We are going to be in hurricane season very shortly, but luckily... Oh, look at that. Those, that fish farm is already full. That's what that means, seeing that big fish up there. Alright. Let's see. Can we make... We can make another fish farm. Perfect. And we have one more row to put it in. Let's try to line this up. However, I'm sorry for anybody who... Yeah, that's not lined up. But look, it's not my fault. It's me playing on a console. Alright, so now let's see what type of fish we got here. Neon Quattro. Not a bad fish. Not a bad fish at all. I think that one causes us to be... I, I think that one causes us to not get as wet, if I'm correct. I actually don't know, guys. I'm sorry. I'm not the best, the best tutorial guy, unfortunately. Alright, let's leave some of this stuff at home. Ooh, those coconuts are going bad. But luckily, we can just throw these on. And now we've just extended the time it will last. Let's throw the silk in here. Let's throw the rope in here. Let's throw the bamboo in here. And then everything else. Oh, we might want to throw here. Let's, let's take these three things because this is how we make the palm leaf hut. Yeah, here we go. We throw this near our fire. Actually, we can throw it in between these two. Like here somewhere. Okay, get the spear out of the way. Yeah, if we throw it like right here. Come on. This protects us from wetness. So that's great. We need that. But now palm leaves are kind of useless, so we'll just throw those on the ground there. Bamboo's still useful. We'll throw sand in there. That gives us a decent amount of inventory room to play with. And then we'll go ahead and just throw one piece of grass here so we can cook up this jellyfish. And jellyfish is actually a great food source. So. There we go. Look at that. Beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. Okay, get these palm leaves out of my way. This has been a successful fish experiment. Yes, it has, indeed. Our goal is to get a purple grouper. That's that's the name of the fish that's perfect. And the reason that fish is awesome is it makes you your boat not take any damage from waves. Which means you're completely immune to Seal Nato during his suck attack. And Quacken is easy. So, like, it's great. Hmm. There is a tar slick right next to our... Okay. Okay. Before we do anything, let's spend today making some stuff. We need to make a oil extractor. How can we do that, though? Where is that tar extractor? Oh, that's not that bad. We could totally make that. All right, the question is, do we have enough limestone? One, two... No! We're one short! We have enough bamboo and we have enough coconuts, though. We could totally make that. Easy peasy lemon squeezy. Let's grab another Neon Quattro and eat it raw, because we're cool like that. I don't know what the Neon Quattro does. I think it dries you off. I actually am not sure. If any of you guys know, feel free to leave it down in the either the comments or the live chat. I'm not sure if comments help uh, engagement, but I like reading your comments, so feel free to leave comments. They're fun. I like them. 
Everybody likes them. It's all around a good time when people leave comments. As long as they're not mean. Don't be mean to me. God. Don't bully me. Spooky bullies. Alright, let's turn on this boat lantern. It should last the whole night. I think the boat lantern's pretty strong. I don't like making them, though, because they use a non-renewable resource, which is fireflies. Although, fireflies are technically renewable in this version of the game because of the gambling. But if you have to rely on gambling to get something, it, it's not that great. It's the same as tumbleweeds in Reign of Giants. Like, theoretically, all of the gems are renewable thanks to tumbleweeds. But you should still treat them like they're non-renewable. Because, yeah, they're practically non-renewable. Okay, so today, for day 20, which I believe is our final day before hurricane season, one, we need to make a lightning rod. That is essential. That is 1,000% essential, essential. But two, we need to, we need to head over to a spider nest and take it out. So we can get more silk to make more fish farms. The more fish farms, the easier dealing with Seal Nato is going to be. And we are 100% going to fight Seal Nato this this uh, hurricane season. Because in my last, in my Reign of Giants one, I fought no bosses. And it made me so upset. Because like, you know, I was making a tutorial. So I wanted to fight bosses because that's like the whole point. But no, uh, none of the bosses decided to come and fight me. So that was stupid. Anyways, we have a tar extractor. Let's go put this on. I left the light on. That was kind of stupid, but oh well. Oh yeah, this light lasts a long time, though. Maybe it is worth it. All right, let's go throw this tar extractor down. And the waves are on our side. We have sprung a leak, unfortunately. To make a repair kit, I think we just need... In fact, I think we can get a quick boat repair kit if I take a hammer and go back to our spawn island. We might go do that. But let's actually go ahead and put the... What? I, I passed by that thing, so... What? I'm flabbergasted. How did I pass by it? I didn't even see it. There it is. And tar extractor. This is great. Alright, this should be our final day before, her, before hurricane season. Let's turn this off. Now, to those of you who would be thinking, why aren't you farming Quacken anymore? Well, unfortunately, you can't farm Quacken that often. Quacken will actually not respond to any of your attempts to spawn her. If you have already spawned her within like two days, so. Alright, lightning rod. I need four gold for that. Yuck. But there is gold rocks, so we just need to go mine those up. Might need to deal with some tall birds, but that's fine. That's free food. Now, what are you doing going this way? You know you're going to engage in combat with me. Yeah. Now you just got yourself and your kid eaten to death. My goodness. Look at this. Yummy. Alright, let's dig this up. Oh, is that gonna... Oh, no. That sucks. That's a sapling, too. Oh, well. I mean, okay, dude. If you want to fight, we can fight. We can fight, man. I don't mind. I need more food anyway. Let's get it. Okay. We need to focus on our mission, though, which is mainly silk. So, let's go do that. 
we got what we need for the lightning rod. That's that's arguably the most important thing for hurricane season. There we go. Lightning rod has been obtained. That's going to be pretty much permanently powered on during during hurricane season, so. All right, what do we need for a boat repair station, a sea yard? We just need tar and more coral. That can be done. And that's basically, that will keep our boat forever repaired. It's great. All right, let's head to the spiders. It's time we paid them a visit. And hopefully we can get a tier 3 nest. I think 20 days is enough for them to all turn to tier 3. Really? Stupid stink rays. This snakeskin hat is also pretty useful. So I would suggest if you guys... Wow, that was stupid. If you guys don't have... Well, what am I saying? If you don't have a snakeskin hat, make one. They're very useful. Very useful. Stop! Why am I so stupid? Why am I just the most stupid person ever? I'm taking it out on these jellyfish. Come here. That's right. That's what you get for being existent in the same plane as me. You know what I just realized? I made a hammer, and I left a hammer on this island. Look, I'm... I've made a lot of mistakes during this playthrough. Really? It's not tier 3 yet? Well, that's upsetting. We still need silk anyway, so... And we'll make this doi doi safe here. So let's just take him out anyway. Come on. Bye bye. Bye bye. That was it. Okay. Goodbye, spider nest. It might be tomorrow when they actually. Okay, hurricane season is almost among us. Hello, Doi Doi. You're very cute, buddy. Hurricane season is almost among us. We've got stones here that we can move. We can eat the last of these jellyfish here. Let's go like this. We should be safe during hurricane season thanks to our little snakeskin hat. That technically protects us from the lightning. And the lightning is what's dangerous during hurricane season. The lightning is the dangerous thing. And I know I haven't made a crock pot, but like, I really don't think I need one. I'm going to be totally honest with you guys. Crock pots aren't the most useful thing in Shipwrecked. I know. I'm going to get ostracized by the Don't Starve community for saying that, but I really don't think crock pots are ne necessary in Shipwrecked. Just because there's there's just so much food lying around. Like, it's actually ridiculous. Like, look at this. This jellyfish right here, it just... Mmm. Just... It, the, the ocean's just teeming with food. All you have to do is put on your snakeskin hat, run around, sorting things to death, man. It's easy. It's just that easy. Another question is, I guess, how how long does YouTube let me stream? Because <laughs> I just realized, I know there's a 10-hour limit on videos. Is there a 10-hour limit on streaming? How long can I stream? Uh, 
Ah, so 12 hours. So as long as we don't go over 12 hours. Okay. I think we should be fine. We shouldn't go over 12 hours. I don't think, at least. I hope not. Why am I wearing this? I, oh, it's because I was killing jellyfish. Alright. Let's... We got two traps. That'll work fine for our needs here. Although I should be a little careful. I should have left some wood back at home. And this pickaxe is almost gone too. Let's just drop this pickaxe. Can we make this torch last the rest of the night? It did. Alright, it's hurricane season, guys. We made it to the next season. Whoa, what is this spider army happening over here? I think we'll be safe as long as we keep our rain skin or our snake skin hat ready to go. That should keep us safe from the lightning. The lightning is the dangerous thing, not the rain necessarily. Not even the hail. The hail isn't even that dangerous. But the lightning. Ooh, man, the lightning. The music's a banger, though. Alright, sorry about this, but we need the silk. Alright, let's take out our anger on this one now. Alright, we're out of traps. I'm just gonna call that the end right there. And let's go ahead and head back home. Let's do it. You know what? Could we just... How dangerous is that? Not dangerous at all, it seems. And we got two more silk, so I'd say that's worth it. Alright. Mm. Let's head out. If we start getting too close to 12 hours, I'll go ahead and make another stream. So don't worry. It, I'll still consider it one stream, but like, you know, I guess technically I wouldn't be able to. We could also sleep to try to skip through days quicker so we don't get too close to that limit. So we don't get too close to the limit. Let's continue killing jellyfish so we can try to spawn in floaty boaty knights. Those would be great. I really would like some floaty boaty knights to spawn. You may be wondering, why am I wearing my snakeskin hat to kill jellyfish? Well, if I hit them without the snakeskin hat, here's what happens. Yeah. We don't want that. That's because the snakeskin hat actually protects me from... electrocution, somehow. I don't know how, but... Alright, we don't actually have enough gold to get this, but we should have enough coral back at home. Famous last words, however. Luckily, we have a lot of coral near our house, so. Yeah, look at all this jellyfish. So I think we're safe from hurricanes for the first day, but after this, we will start to face the wrath of hurricane season. Where we will get our first hurricane. And I, I hate to say it, guys, but hurricane season is boring. It's one of the boring ones. It is very boring. We are not going to have any fun 
and I'm very sorry for that, but I'll try to make it fun. Maybe we'll try to sleep through it or something, I don't know. But it is going to be boring. Look at that, our tar extractor is hard at work getting us some tar. Beautiful. Let's go ahead and fuel this bad boy back up. And it'll keep producing tar for us. I think we need one more to make our boat repair yard. Which is great. That's all we need. And then our boat's going to be fully repaired whenever we need it to be. Eventually a floaty boaty night will show up. Eventually. But we need one to show up as soon as possible. That is one durable boat. Yeah, sure it is. Alright. Not only is tar, like, good for, like, resources and whatnot, it's also really good as fuel. Alright, let's, let's go ahead and see if we have enough limestone. I think we need, what, like, six? Six limestone? One, two, three, four, five. We literally have just enough. I am... Yeah. All right, we just need one more tar, and then we're good. We have our sea yard, and then we can... That's just free repairs. I'm not even joking. Like, it's quite literally free repairs. So, once we get one more tar on that... That's great, man. Yeah, I've got to try not to take that many breaks. Let's just chill around the... Ooh, that's terrifying. You guys see that hand? That was gross. Alright. Let's chill around the fire. Yeah, I definitely think I'll try to sleep through some nights. Just... Just because, you know... This game can get pretty boring during things like hurricane season. Although we can be pretty active during hurricane season. So it's not that ser serious. Though I am kind of on a time limit. Because I've got I've got 12 hours to do this, so no breaks, no nothing. I can I can do it. I can do it. I think it should be at worst a 10 hour live stream. At worst. Which is definitely doable. I really would like a floaty boaty night to come down though, so we can get an ice box. Oh, I thought that was like a hound or something. I was about to freak out, man. Another awesome thing about the... About the hounds... Is... Well, they're not hounds. I guess they're croco dogs. Another awesome thing about the croco dogs is there's no fire croco dogs. So I don't have to worry about them catching on fire spontaneously and whatnot. Alright, we should have our first hurricane tomorrow. We also can check out our fish farm to see what fish we've gotten. But I also want to head up and there's so much we gotta do, guys. There's so much we gotta do. If we can get purple groupers, then that's great. If we don't, then it's not the end of the world, but it will make things significantly harder. All right, let's go ahead and make some more fish farms. Real quick. We can make another tar extractor. That's cool. More fish farms because we're cool like that, and these things are the best thing in the game. By far the best thing in the game. The only thing that they are weak about 
is you need to be careful about crocodogs. They will eat your fish. And I'm not even kidding. Like, they will eat your fish. And it's not a great time when they do. All right, let's head up to the tar yard and grab some more tar. And while we're doing that, let's kill more jellyfish to increase the chances of a floaty boaty night attack. Really just waiting on those guys at this point. All right, yep, that's enough tar. And we even got a little extra. Let's just fuel that guy up just a little bit more. We are going a little bit insane. That could be... Ah! Whoa! Whoa, 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 whoa! Shark attack! <laughs> I forgot this happens if you kill too many things. It's either these guys or floaty boaty knights, and we just got unlucky, I guess. Shark attack! Oh, the audio is glitching out, too. Oh, they might eat my fish, actually. Whoa, we gotta be careful, actually. This boat's gonna go down. Come with me, come with me. Don't you dare eat my fish. Don't you dare eat my fish. This is a predicament. They might eat my fish. Um, I don't know if they do. I know croco dogs do. Oh, great. Here comes our first storm. We are not prepared. Get out of the boat. All right, this works. Okay. Now we just got to survive the trip home on 34 health. We could do it. Oh, and of course the waves are against us. Why wouldn't the waves be against us? Oh, no. Don't tell me he aggroed. Of course he aggroed. Why wouldn't he aggro? Okay, you know what? We're fine. We're fine. They're not eating my fish. We're fine. Let's get the sea yard made up. The storm is here. The storm is among us. Where is he? I can hear him. You know what? Let's just make it on this raft so that we're not... Alright, sea yard. Booyah! Now we've got that made up. Let's, let's just start repairing our thing, shall we? Alright, look at that. And we are now repairing our boat. And our fish are still there, so they did not eat our fish. Very happy about that. We are very wet, though. So we're going to keep going insane. Um, I'd prefer not to be insane throughout the entirety of hurricane season, but... We could make a buoy. We could potentially make a buoy.
You gotta be kidding me. Okay. Well, our boat's... Our boat's able to handle him now. There we go. Perfect. <laughs> Stupid shark. Look at how fast our boat's repairing, too. Just, like, sitting around this for a little bit, our boat's almost fully repaired. And to refuel this thing, you just throw tar in it. Look at that. This is the best addition they have ever added to this version of the game. I'm so happy they did. Because before, you had to actually, like, stock up on boat repair kits, and it was so annoying. But now, it's just... It's just hitting the thing. Alright, look at that. You can throw tar in there, and it... It's a full repair. Alright, let's dry off a little bit so we don't go too insane. We don't actually have a lot of sanity management items. And we don't have an ice box either. Yep, here comes the rain. So this is the hurricane part of hurricane season. And it can get rather bad. The audio especially seems to be getting glitchy. But as you guys can see, it is hailing. This isn't terrible. Hail is not that bad. Whoa! Did you see that piece of hail? What? what the hell was that? That was crazy. Yeah, we're gonna have to figure out something for sanity. I think we could go eat that brain coral to get a little bit of sanity. And it's not like the brain coral is that useful, and it will regrow. So I think that's what we do. And our boat is mildly repaired. Let's check what we got here. More neon quattro. Carry a... Uh... Ah, okay, this one's useless. I think the Periot fish is the one that makes us faster. Let's check. Yeah, that makes us faster. So I think Neon Quattro dries us off. No purple grouper yet, though. I don't know if we have the ability to get more row. I'm not 100% sure if... More of the... More of the row fish or the row bird will spawn during hurricane season. Let's continue killing jellyfish. We really want. Hello? Hello? What was that? Hello? You guys see that? No way. Tiger shark? Question mark? Is it tiger shark? But where? I would not mind a tiger shark kill right now. And I totally could. Nope, Croco Dog.
Where? There she is. Um, I mean, we could. She's not that useful to kill, though. Like, it's... I'm definitely going to fight her at some point, although she might get my fish farm if I'm not careful. Uh, you know what? Let's grab our other cutlass. We may have to deal with this. Alright, the lightning has begun. Why am I eating that on such a full stomach? I don't know, man. I'm crazy like that. We've got more rot. That's cool. Yep, the lightning has begun. Let's head up north and see if we can eat that brain coral. I believe that gives you sanity. Whoa! That seagull just combusted into flames in front of me. That was crazy. No floaty boaty nights yet, though. We've killed a lot of jellyfish. Like, we've We've decimated the population. Yep. Yep. I get it. Is it a full moon tonight? Day 23? Is it? I actually have no clue. Yeah, that lightning would be killing me if I wasn't wearing a snakeskin hat. It would be absolutely murdering me. But we're smart, and we're wearing a safe a snakeskin hat. I guess you could say it's a safe skin hat, but... This allows us to actually be useful during hurricane season. And run around and kill jellyfish in an attempt to... Alright, I think this repairs sanity. Yes! Oh, that's beautiful. And then I believe that will respawn at some point. I think it takes a long time, but it will happen. I think it's a full moon tonight. That's great. That means we will have visibility. We could grab some of this bioluminescence. Make a buoy. That's basically free light. But we also don't need to. That's the thing. Like, it's an option, but it's an option we don't need necessarily. Like, it's not that serious. Yeah, look at all the lightning hitting me. Somehow this hat keeps me grounded. I don't know how, but it does. So that's great. Okay, these stink rays might be a problem. Yeah. I just want to go get my... I just want to go get my tar. Yay, my tar. Are you serious? Hop off my line, stink rays. My goodness. Alright, let's refuel this bad boy. Perfect. It will keep producing beautiful amounts of tar for us. It's not a full moon? What? Oh, it's... Hur it's hurricane season. Duh. It's hurricane season. Of course. Of course there's not a full moon. It's just hurricane season. Let's go ahead and repair our boat just a little bit. The lightning... No, that's going to make us go insane so quickly. Just, it's worth it to use the boat lantern. We're, we're repairing our boat, so... 
I wish, the one thing I do wish is I wish the boat would repair. While you're not on it. That would be, oh, I just left that on. Oh, I'm so glad I saw that. Turn that off, please. All right. We'll chill here for a little bit. We'll chill here. Eh, you know what? Let's just set the fire. Now, we will have to deal with, uh... Mr. Nato. But... I'm not sure when. Now, for those of you who are wondering how you can get some easy food during hurricane season, too, you can go ahead and pick up this hail. If you get four of the hail, you can turn it into ice, which you then can use in a crock pot to make meatballs or anything you really want, or you can just eat it straight like that. All right, it is daytime. Do we be useful? I think we should be useful. repair our boat a little bit because seal nato is not going to come now but it will be coming at some point i'm upset though because i think i think we have no chance of getting a purple grouper now because i don't think cormorants spawn during hurricane season if i'm wrong that's great but if i'm right then i expect it it's to be expected Not only that, but if we get a purple grouper, we can make tropical boulebais. However you want to say that. I don't know how to pronounce it perfectly, but I think my pronunciation is pretty good. Let's see. What can we leave here? We've got bamboo. We can leave the ropes. Those coconuts are going to spoil, unfortunately. But it's nothing too bad. We can also go ahead and cook some of this jellyfish before we head out. Let's cook some jellyfish before we head out. Alright. That's looking good. We'll cook this meat too. Why not? Whee! Alright, we're almost... Fully, fully healed up on our boat. We're actually doing pretty good. So now, now what do we do? Let's check for floaty boaty nights. Maybe they have shown up by now. And I mean, if not, we can make them show up by killing more jellyfish. We'll just be the scourges of the ocean. Oh, there's a shark. Looks like he's a little preoccupied, though. So, let's just leave it at that. No floaty boaty nights yet? At all? I've been murdering jellyfish left and right. What do I gotta do to get these guys to spawn? I've been an absolute menace to jellyfish all around. All right, I think we're good to go back to the crown now. This hurricane has ended. Oh, 
Oh, look at all these jellyfish. I just have to. We're definitely going to spawn like a crocodog or something, but... Is that Krampus? Am I spawning Krampus? That's an interesting thing. Let's go see if we spawn Krampus. If I get the Krampus sack... If I get the Krampus sack... In Shipwrecked... When I tried so hard to get it... In Reign of Giants... I'm gonna be very mad. No, I guess no Krampus. Okay. Okay then. No Krampus. That's fine too. That's fine, too. Yeah, I'm not seeing any cormorants, so. I think we're just screwed when it comes to cormorants. Oh, there's a cormorant. They do spawn. Yes! That is wonderful. Unfortunately, they seem rare. I want to get some of that bioluminescence. It might be worth it to just make a trawl net to get that. You know what I mean? I think you guys know what I mean. may be worth it to make a trawl net to get some of that bioluminescence. Let's do it. Just so we don't have to rely on the chiminea anymore. So let's take this and this and make us up a trawl net. Yeah, these coconuts are going bad. It's unfortunate, but it is the way of life, guys. Let's eat these steaks. I just ate that steak for no reward. I'm just swimming in food right now. Alright, we can use the trawl net to actually go and... Let's see, is the chiminea providing enough light for us to just chill here? Yeah, it is. Nice. Let's spend the time repairing our boat. It's a full moon tomorrow, so we get as much... We can utilize that to our advantage. I am thinking we actually should sleep through some of these nights. And here's the thought process behind that. We could sleep through, uh, sleep through some of the nights to not only save on stream time, but, but, sanity. Ah, ah, you see what I'm talking about? Yeah, sanity. Okay. Yep. I get it. We're done. But we could. I mean, let's see. What do we need for straw rolls? Oh, yeah, just tons of grass. Or we could even make a tent. But that takes precious silk. A siesta lean-to would be great for the dry season. And that doesn't even take much silk. It's mostly boards. Though, for now, we gotta make a tent. Let's just do it. We can get plenty of silk later on. Alright, guys. We're gonna sleep through some of these hurricane season nights. Where'd you come from? Okay. Anyways, guys, I'll be right back. Gotta use the bathroom. Having coffee was a terrible idea.
I have returned. I am back among us. Alright. Let's get a move on. Let's get a move on. So, what is it we wanted to do today? Floaty Bodie Nights, if possible. And we'll sleep through tonight. Oh, man. Dude. That poor shark is just getting brutalized. Oh, what did I hit? Yeah, these big waves are going to get worse and worse. Still no floaty Bodie Nights? Man, am I upset. None at all? Dude. Really? None at all. Man. Okay, well then let's use this time to like explore a little bit then. If we can find the gambling machine, that'd be great. I do like me that gambling machine. We do have a full moon tonight, so we can utilize that for adventure if we would like. Even if there's a hurricane, we have our snakeskin hat, which basically nullifies the entirety of the season. Like, really, hurricane season is not bad. If you had to pick hurricane... Wow, I'm sorry. I think I just blow... I blew my mic out of... Let me, let me turn the gain down a little bit. If you had to pick hurricane season or winter... Definitely pick Hurricane, because all it takes is an umbrella, and the season's nothing. It is nothing. Well, it has to be a snakeskin hat, or a eyebrella, or dumbbrella. But either one of those two, and you are set for the entire season. You are fine. You are 100% fine. Alright, we got an island up here. Let's check it out. Seashells. These are great for sanity. Oh yeah, the crabs are growing beards because we're going insane. Yeah, that, that does happen, doesn't it? Another thing that's awesome about gambling in this game is it's it's a great way to get a walking cane if you can't get it from Quacken. Which, for some reason, I have bad luck with getting the walking cane from Quacken. Don't know why, but I just do. I just do. <laughs> Silly little crab. Silly crab. <laughs> Ooh, I just spit all over my hand. I apologize sincerely for that one. That was disgusting. Let's start heading back, because we want to grab the Bioluminescence. If we can see any more, then we can... Chromarant? No row. Yeah, I think they're just more rare during hurricane season. Rainbow Jelly. That's cool. But... Honestly, I'm going to try to avoid the Volcano. I really suggest, if you're playing this game, don't avoid the Volcano. You want coffee as soon as possible. But I'm going to avoid the volcano because I'm making like a how to survive a full year without doing anything except like just the base part of the game. I'm going to add the volcano on after. So yeah. If you guys don't know, by the way, if you're just tuning in or, you know, you weren't listening and just using this as background noise. This is going to be part of a larger series that I'm making that you may already have seen on the channel. It's the how to survive. Ooh, our sail is almost gone. I didn't even realize that. Alright, let's collect this bioluminescence. You can actually just collect it with a trawl net like this. It's really useful. And just like that, 
Look at all that bioluminescence. I wish I could just stack them all into one thing, but nope. That's not how this game works. Now we got all the bioluminescence we could ever need. Let's go ahead and row our way back home. Luckily, we're not too far. I think I actually want to sleep tonight. I think I'm actually going to sleep tonight. But yeah, we'll, we'll utilize uh, Siesta Lean Twos during summer as much as possible. Alright, how many buoys can we make? And how do we make them? Those are the two questions of the day. Buoy. There we go. We need bottles, which take sand, which we have. We also have an extra bottle. Let's go ahead and make some bottles. I think that should be enough. Buoy. Just like that. <laughs> Alright, and then these buoys are pretty much infinite light, which is kind of crazy if you think about it. Like, that's kind of busted. Alright, we're out of bamboo. But that's no problem. Yeah, look at that. Now we've got infinite light around our fish farms. And now we don't need to... Hi, how's it going? Yeah, we're gonna just take the hits from this guy. Yeah. Don't know why that guy popped out of nowhere, but... He just seemed to pop out of nowhere. We also want to go ahead and repair a cloth sail. Let's do that. It's at 1%. I wasn't even looking at it. There we go. That's nice and repaired now. Let's chuck the rest of this stuff back in the chest. We can actually leave the bottles on the ground. I don't think they get dragged around by the wind. As much as normal things do. Did you hear that? Oh. It's time for a crocodile attack? Question mark? Nope, I don't want to go on this raft. Whoa, where did you come from? Where are they coming from? Luckily, with the Cutlass Supreme, I can pretty much just easy, easy wipe them out. But let's go ahead and take these guys to the beefalo. The beefalo should be more than capable of handling the croco dogs. I believe. I believe. But now, believe it or not, it's actually better to fight things on our boat. Just because we have a way to heal our boat easily. We can't heal ourselves that easily, but we can heal our boat pretty easily. Hello, guys. I'm sorry, but I'm going to cause a scene. Look at that. I didn't even need the beefalo. I just handled that. Like it was nothing. Any Krampus? Question mark? No? Alright. Still no floaty Bodie nights, and I'm very upset about that. I really thought we'd at least get one by now, but no. I guess not. I mean, I've been murdering jellyfish left and right, dude. Like, I'm... I'm an absolute menace to jellyfish all around the world.
on the bright side, we're almost halfway there. We just got to get through uh, hurricane season. Monsoon season is a little harder. I'm not going to lie. It's not on the list of seasons that I enjoy. Dry season is probably one of the worst seasons. Although, personally, I prefer it over summer. Surprisingly. I actually prefer it over summer. I know, it, it sounds weird, but, like, I'm being serious. Like, it's, it's just not as bad to me. It's just not. Alright, let's use this full moon. We won't go into hibernation mode yet. We'll do that during the middle of the season. And as you guys notice, like, there hasn't been a hurricane in a while. Hurricane season just has times where there's, like, nothing. It's just, like, a normal mild season. And it's great. I want to find another swordfish. I'd like more cutlasses. I would like more cutlasses, if possible. Took a hit, unfortunately. Where am I getting sanity from? Does this give me sanity? No. I feel like I had less sanity. Where did I get all this sanity from? That's weird. I think a storm is coming. Because notice how dark it is. Yeah, a storm is coming. But that's okay. We have our rain skin hat. We're fine. We are totally fine. Do we have any swordfish? Nope, this is the edge of the map. No swordfish? There's one! Nice. There we go. We now have another cutlass, which is great. I like to always have two. I think that's like a personal preference of mine. I like having two. You know what we could also grab? We could grab this, this quacking beak here. The obsidian armor and volcano staff aren't that important. I don't actually like those. But the quacking beak we can use to make the drill, which can be used to make a tar slick closer to our house. See, here's some former... Oh, yuck. Okay, let's wear this from now on. I hear you, Krampus, but, like... <laughs> you're, you're not spawning. I don't think Krampus spawns in the console edition. I think there's, like, some glitch going on or something. Where he just doesn't spawn in the console edition. Because, like, no matter what I do, he never spawns. I'll be out killing... I think he only spawns if you're on land, which is weird. It is very weird. Just gonna gather a bit more grass. No harm in that. The water beefalo have entered land. Ooh, let's... Let's grab some seashells. I don't know if the water beefalo are mad. They kind of look mad. I don't know. I want to stay away from them. Much like the regular beefalo, they'll also go in heat. But I can, I can never tell what time they decide to go into heat. Sometimes it's during monsoon season. Sometimes it's in the middle of mild season. I can't understand them at all. If you have better luck understanding them, then more power to you. But I cannot for the life of me understand them. Let's eat some cooked jelly. Yummy, 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 yum, 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 yum. The wind is against us and the waves are against us. That's going to lead to some fun exploration. For sure.
think we have a island down here somewhere. Oh, doubloons. Give me those. We will be gambling at some point. Ooh, I like how the music just stopped when I landed. It's freaky. Ooh, we got seashells here. We can regen some of our sanity. That's great. Okay, we've got a little bit of time before the storm starts. Here it comes. Here it comes. But that's okay. We've got our snakeskin help, uh, hat. I want to say helmet, but it's not a helmet. It's a hat. A helmet would cover, like, your face and stuff, right? Or I guess a helmet would just be, like, something that protects your head. And a hat would be something that's more of, like, a, a vanity item, almost. Oh! Ah! Oh, two of you guys? I can't deal with two of you guys, I don't think. That actually is kind of difficult. Yeah. I don't know. I don't need them as much as I did before. Like, they're not... Ow. Oh, don't tell me they can hit me if the wind's going... Oh, oh the, the crown activated. Okay, that's dangerous. They can hit me when the wind's going against me. That's actually very dangerous. Oh, that guy transformed. Okay, we're fine. <laughs> well, as you guys saw, that's the crown's special ability. Is sometimes when I'm hit, it will actually create a force field. Which will keep me protected. We are still capable of getting wet. That's a problem, but... Eh, it's not too crazy bad. Just need to find a tree, plop down a fire, and we'll be fine. Alright, the wind's on our side now. The waves are also technically on our side. They don't look like they're on our side, but they are. Although we don't want to go that way. We've already been that way. There's this huge chunk down here we haven't explored. But that does mean we'll be going against the waves. Let's do it. Why not? Alright, we are wet now. That's mighty unfortunate, but what are you going to do? Yeah, if you could just craft a snakeskin hat, and this thing is not expensive. You can literally just explore throughout the entirety of hurricane season. I mean, look at that. It protects me from lightning. Because that's the real danger of hurricane season, is the lightning. If you can find something that makes you immune to lightning, you're fine. Welcome back. Still trying to find who asked. Glad to see you back. We are now on hour, almost hour four of the live stream, and we are not even halfway done with this game, so. This is going to be very fun. Right, we need to get some gold. So it looks like the gold actually... Oop. I want to catch myself on fire now. Ooh, tar lamp. That's cool. Alright, let's gather more gold. There's another gold rock. Suggest some songs to vibe. Uh, I don't know, really. I don't know. I mean, each each song is, like, different, you know? You, like, you have a different song for each feeling. So I guess it's really up to whatever you're feeling. Sorry, I'm not the best song recommender. <laughs> I'm also trying to survive this hurricane right now. So far, we're doing fine. Here, let's let's actually go ahead and I know the the let's wait till this wind's over. 
Once this wind ends, let's throw fire down here. Then we can sit on this tree and dry off. We can also cook a few things. So let's do that. Sorry if the audio sounds weird. It's... Shipwrecked has always been very weird with the audio. Like, regular Don't Starve seems to be fine most of the time, but Shipwrecked is, like, a mess when it comes to audio. And I'm not sure why. All right, we are now fully dry, so we should dry off now. Yes, good. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. I have one... You know, I'm gonna eat it raw. I don't care. I don't care, man. Have I heard that new one that goes bing, bang, bang, born? Is this Spongebob reference? I don't know. Beep, boop, bop, beep, boop, bop. Something like that. If it is a serious question, though, then no, I have not. <laughs> Unfortunately. Alright, let's keep moving. We don't have to worry about the tornado until the end of hurricane season, luckily. So we're just going to keep moving. Keep exploring. If I can find the jackpot machine, uh, this could be it. Probably is not it, though. Yeah, I think it, it spawns on a tiny island, not a big island. So good chance that this is not it. However, this is a cool island. Comes with a mangrove, a very long beach. Oh, the audio's fine. Okay, that's good. I was a little worried about that. It is a little glitchy on my end, so I'm not too sure if it's glitching out on stream. Looks like the hurricane has ended. Uh, let's make a tar lamp. What does that do? How good is this? Oh, it's just a cute little torch. It's like a reskin of the torch, I guess. It's also going down very fast. So, like, <laughs> can I refuel it? No. What's the point of this thing? I've never made one of these. And... Now I don't think I'm ever going to want to make one of these again. I'm going to be totally honest. All right, I'm hungry. Let's go ahead and eat. There we go. Let's explore this island a little bit. Yeah, this tar lamp sucks, dude. What is the point of this thing? Oh, doubloons, though. Yeah. Yes, please. I guess it's it's just a torch for people who have a lot of tar. I don't know. I guess it goes down a little slower than a torch would. But, like, still, it feels very fast. I don't know. Spooky monster, you won't get me. You think you're going to pull an all-nighter? I'm going to pull an all-dayer with this stream that I'm doing. I just need to make sure it's not over 12 hours, because then YouTube will get very mad at me and not allow me to post of it. What is with all these rainbow jellyfish? Oh, you guys want to give me some... Oh, that's cool. Look at this. That is cool. I am the king of jellyfish. All right, we don't got time to sit here and do nothing, though. We gotta go do work. Yeah, I guess, I mean, the tar lamp definitely is pretty cheap. Judging by the fact that it's just a seashell and some tar. Oh, that part's, the tide is up here. Oh, the tide is creeping up. Can we make this torch last the rest of the night? Let's try. 
Haha, <laughs> can't get me, loser. Oh. Haha. <laughs> can't get me. Oh. Haha, uh -huh. oh, I'm in the water. Yuck. Ah, we made it last all night. Let's go. Cost us sanity, but really, that's not too bad. We can just pick some flowers if we're that worried about our sanity. I would also like to grab some bamboo. Let's do that. Let's grab some bamboo. All right, we're officially entering the four-hour mark. We're almost halfway there. Almost. So that means this should be true to the timer that I added in my head. It should be a nine-hour stream. Although, I'm going to try to shorten it by taking sleep. Like, sleeping in-game. Just so YouTube doesn't get mad at me. And say, no, you can't upload this as a video as well. Technically, I can stream for over 12 hours, but... One, uh, that's a long time. <laughs> and two, YouTube does not like when you do that, so. They will yell at me and tell me to not publish the video. Alright, enjoy vibing to the song. I'll be here, don't worry. I'm not going nowhere. Unless my power goes out or something. I guess that's a possibility, but... It is storming pretty bad here. IRL. Alright. I think we have a decent amount of supplies now. This is actually a really cool island. There's a mangrove in the center of this island. I, I really like the aesthetic of this island. See, back in the days, if you guys remember, if you've played this game before, if you remember the old days of Shipwrecked, where when you were in the water, uh, sharks would spawn, and if you were on land, hounds would spawn, if you found a puddle like this in the middle of land, you could just start farming up tons and tons of sharks in there and then just, like, bomb them. And... It would be it would be a great time. It'd be an absolutely wonderful time. Now, unfortunately, croco dogs exist, and you can't do that anymore. It's very sad, very upsetting. But oh well, what are you gonna do? What are you gonna do? Nothing. That's what you're gonna do. All right, should we let's let's cut down the middle here. Oh, perfect. The waves are on our side, too. There are big waves that we have to avoid. Still on the lookout for floaty boaty nights, but I haven't seen any, a single one. Hello. Big grass island. Jungle. Okay. Oh, message in a bottle. Yes, please. Oh, it's in front of an empty bottle. That's so weird. All right, where's this treasure? The same island. Oh, that's actually pretty close. We can go grab that. We'll need to make another shovel, though. Let's make another regal shovel doesn't hurt. Let's eat some of these and then combine the stack here. We have so much dead jellyfish. <laughs> so much dead jellyfish. Because I have to get the video footage, so why not stream it? But 
I would be down to play some other games as well. I can't replay Soma because, you know, it's not like... I mean, I could replay Soma, but... <laughs> let's be real, who's going to want to watch me replay something the same way? That'd be kind of goofy. Wow, for real? Okay. Watch this. Yeah. Yeah, I'm the king of this jungle. Yeah. Alright, let's make a, uh... Let's make another tar lamp, because we're fancy. And we'll turn this off. Throw on our tar lamp. Oh, wow. That's bad. That's okay, though. We could get boards, actually, if we use a hammer and hammer those down. That should be a very easy way to get boards. All right. Any floaty boaty nights? That'd be great. That is a big wave. Whoa, big wave. Yeah, I'm not sure what the appeal of this tar lamp is. If any of you guys know what it is, feel free to let me know cuz I don't get I don't get it. Is it just a, another way to make a torch? Like is that really it? Can we refill this boat lantern too? I feel like we should be able to. But the question is with what? I'm assuming it's going to be like bioluminescence or something crazy. Something non-renewable, unfortunately. Holy moly, what did we just walk into there? I did not like that. Oh, I tried not to hit it, but oh well. Science works in mysterious, blobby ways. Yes, yes it does. Oh, where'd you come from? Where are they coming from? Where are they coming from? He better not have eaten my fish. Okay, he didn't. Good. Alright, let's turn this off. Good. Let's go ahead and go grab... Oh, man. It's dark. Uh... Whoa, for real? Oh, my goodness. I, how was it? I, I don't know how I was about to be attacked. Alright, whatever. Apparently the Krizzer doesn't want to go anymore, so let's just sit here and repair a boat. My clothes appear to be water permeable. Oh, whatever. My friend suggested the most depressing song at 12 a.m., and I just helped a friend through his heartbreak. Bro, what are the odds? You know, sometimes life just is like that. There's so many coincidences that just happen. Good on you for helping him, though. I am very proud of you. Me, a random internet stranger. Alright, let's see if we can... Can we use bioluminescence? Yes, we can. That is a terrible conversion, but I'm feeling very lazy. So I don't want to make more biolumin... Er, make more boat lanterns, so. Uh, oh, man. Okay. Well, we can eat some soggy cooked jellyfish. Let's also go ahead and dry off. Because we are wet. Let's actually dry off a little bit here. I'll take this time to grab myself a drink. Ugh. Without pausing stream, though, because... Alright. 
Let's get to work. Let's get to business. We are now dry. Perfect. Okay. Now that we are dry and ready to go, let's do one more check to see if any floaty buddy knights are here. What is that? Whoa. Why is there a cooked morsel? And why is it so spoiled? Sitting out in the middle of the ocean. That's weird. I don't know where that... Whoa, dude. These waves are getting violent. These waves are getting violent. There's something that I want to do tonight. And it's going to involve a lot of AFKing. Unfortunately. And that is going to be to repair both of my armored boats. There you go. Let's keep getting more tar. No floaty boaty knights at all, man. Did that... What is the key to make these guys spawn? I know it's just to kill, like, ocean animals. I mean, we'll... we'll... We'll go crazy on the jellyfish again, but... Wow, wow, wow. Yeah, see, like, where... Whoa! Whoa! <laughs> Whoa! I just got jumped. All right, we'll lose them. We'll lose them. We already lost one of them. I could tank them, but, like, I also don't want to... Yeah, we're losing them. One by one, we're losing them. One by one, we're losing them. That was not great. Yeah, I think we just got this guy on us now. We could take him out easily. Wow, these guys are actually kind of hardy. Okay, let's head back home. We're not getting any floaty boaty nights. Ew, what is that? Spoiled fish? Gross. I'm not terribly curious about the smell. Yeah, yeah. Spoiled fish doesn't smell the best. Doesn't smell the best at all. To be quite honest. We've got this fish farm here, too, that's, like, full, and it's great. All right. To do this project of mine, I'm going to have to go grab my armored boat from up here that's almost dead. And bring it down here to get some repairs on it. Yeah, dude, this thing's at 41 health. Man, my goodness. Alright, let's bring this guy down. And let's just sit here and repair this boat. This is where the fun begins, guys. <laughs> but look, it's something we gotta do. Let's also hide behind our sea yard so we don't get hit by any waves. The waves are violent. They're making it all the way to land. I want to have both of these boats repaired and ready to go, just in case a certain tornado creature decides to show up. Because we don't have any purple groupers. So... We'll just chill here. Repair the boat. We are at 4 hours and 11 minutes on the stream. Almost halfway there. Almost. We're getting there. I think once we hit the 40 day mark, we're pretty much over halfway. So, we're, we're getting there. We're doing work. Alright, we'll have to re refill this. There we go. Dude, look at those waves. They're just crashing up onto my shore. Let's turn to Google, actually. Floaty Bodie Nights. Because they're not spawning. I, I swear it's just you kill ocean animals.
Yeah, it's just whenever you kill sea life. Hmm. I don't know, guys. I really thought I'd be able to spawn one in, but I guess not. We need gears. I would really love gears because, as you guys see, our jellyfish storage is getting a little depleted. Alright, this boat's almost fully repaired, too, which is great. Alright, I want to take this raft and actually take it away. It's not very useful. All right, now it's time for our main boat to get repaired. Let's do it. And then I want to get a sail on the secondary boat. Woo. Oh, ma'am. This is some fun content right here, right guys? <laughs> oh, I love hurricane season. All right, welcome to day 30. Welcome to day 30. I think tonight we're gonna sleep so we can get some sanity and save some stream, stream time. If possible. We're also gonna have a storm tonight, so sleeping through the night is probably a good idea. Skip through the boring parts of the storm. Okay, you know what? Let's go make a sale. Let's go make a sale. I can't just sit there for that long. It's really bothering me. Let's also repair our snakeskin hat. Beautiful. Okay, can't do anything with that. My jellyfish are going stale. No! Oh, man. All right. Oh, dude. Jellyfish are going stale. I hate that. Quack and beak. Can we make a... What is it? The drill. It's a drill of some sort. Alright, we need cloth. And rope. There we go. We got another cloth sail. We can throw this on our secondary boat right here. This is going to be our backup boat in case Seal NATO almost breaks our regular boat. We can stop by and grab this backup boat, and it should work perfectly fine for taking down Seal NATO. Anyways, how do we make the quackering, or the, the thing that we can use to force quacken to, or not force quacken, uh, force a tar pit to be near our home? It's like a drill or something. Come on. Where? There it is. Quack and drill. We need gears. Of course we do. All right, then this beak will stay here. Unfortunately. Unfortunately. Let's go ahead and eat some more jellyfish. Throw the bamboo in the chest. Yep. I, I see you getting very feisty. Hurricane. Don't worry, Wilson. I know you're getting a little insane. We're gonna sleep tonight. We're actually gonna sleep tonight. And boom. Look at that. No storm. And it's nice and calm. Alright, let's. Let's do a little bit more boat repairing. And then I'm going to check one more time to see if any floaty boaty knights have spawned. I also want to make a buoyant chiminea and a floating uh, science station. 
for monsoon season. Because the best way to survive monsoon season in this game is to simply just move out onto the ocean. Because the land becomes very flooded and annoying. So you might as well just live on the ocean. Now, back before they added that into this DLC, you couldn't do that. I think it was the Home Sea Home update. They actually added that. Alright, we're almost repaired. Let's just go now. Let's just go now. Alright. Come on, give me a floaty boaty night. You have to. Or does it just not work with jellyfish or something? Like. Oh, shark fin. Ha. Ah, that's cool. Water beefalo. Not gonna kill those guys. Dude, those waves are terrifying. Woo! I think they have some, like, strange investigation meter or something. There's a croco dog. There we go. That was particularly easy. Oh, Cormorant. No row. Very sad. Dude, wow. These, these waves are getting intense, man. Holy moly. You guys seeing this? These waves are insane. Alright. I'm not seeing any, unfortunately. It was a good run. It was a good run. Let's do a little bit of repairing. Actually, let's go to bed. Let's get some sanity back. Wilson deserves a nap. Let's take a nap. There it is. That is what we were... Okay. We are fighting... Wow, that, that's actually terrible. Okay. Come on. Eat, 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 eat. Alright, combine the two real quick. Just so we save on a little bit. Alright, we're fighting Seal Nato and Croco Dogs. Um Okay, I think we head north. Yep, that's Seal Nato. We'll be fine. We'll be totally fine. Now, unfortunately, these water beefalo may not be fine. But I'm mostly using these water beefalo for the for the croco dogs. Okay. See, the crocodogs are annoying. Come on, get mad at the beefalo. I hear a seal nato. I, I hear seal nato. At least I think I did. Oh, look at the water beefalo. Going crazy. I hear you. Where are you? Oh, there, there's... Oh! No, the water beefalo are going to steal my kill. <laughs> you guys see that? All right. All right. Dude, we might not even have to do anything. We might not even have to do anything. I'm just realizing now. I I was going to show how to fight Seal Nato. But, like, these water beefalo might have it handled. I don't think a single one has died yet. I don't want to hit the water beefalo, though. I, I think Seal Nato's broken, also. Eh, there you go. That is a dead Seal Nato. And this, this right here, this turbine blade... Hello, hello, seal. You're very cute. Now, we have a very hard choice to make. We could either kill Seal Nato and be evil, or let Seal Nato live. And 
I don't need meat that much, so let's be real. I'm gonna let Seal Nato live. I mean, look look at how cute look at how cute he is. He's just a misunderstood seal. He gets to live. Now, unfortunately, we need gears to actually utilize these turbine blades. But that's Seal Nato. I guess Water Beefalo can handle Seal Nato easily. But you can also kite Seal Nato pretty easily. If I get another Seal Nato spawn, that would be. Wow. Um, this is annoying. Uh, come with me. Come with me. Come on. Yeah, see, look, the seal's gone, but it also drops the magic seal. So you don't miss out on any drops by letting Seal Nato live. So there's no reason to either kill or let Seal Nato live. Like, it doesn't hurt too much. Because if you do kill Seal Nato, you get meat for it, but you also get a Krampus spawn, and, you know, you have to live with yourself because you killed that cute seal. So I don't know. But we got the magic seal, and we got the turbine blades. And we didn't even need to use our second boat. What about that? Isn't that crazy? Let's take a nap. Ooh. Our jellyfish is spoiled. We gotta cook up some more jellyfish. Oops, I didn't mean to eat it raw, but whatever. All right, this stuff's gonna spoil. Let's just throw it in the chest with the other rot. It'll it'll turn to rot eventually, and we'll be fine. All right. Four hours and 30 minutes on the clock. For me, at least. Not you guys. I think yours is four hours and 20 minutes. But we are doing good. We are doing good. We can use the shark fin, actually, to make a special helmet, which I might want to make. The sleek hat. Let's go. Let's. Let's. We're, we're going on a side quest today. Let's go make the sleek hat. And then let's go ahead and. Uh, oh. Let's leave these here. They're not that important for our journey. All right, let's go make a sleek hat. All we need to do is go get some vines and a coconut, which we've got some palm trees down here. Oh, dude, the waves. They're so crazy. I do actually want to grab some coral, too. We need a lot of limestone for the floating buildings. So it doesn't hurt. I should have killed Tiger Shark while I could. I really would rather have the Dumbrella than the snakeskin hat. The Dumbrella is just a perfect upgrade because it makes you immune to wetness. The snakeskin hat does not make you immune to wetness. Just a lightning. Oh, here comes the lightning. Want as much coral as possible. Because we're moving out into the ocean for monsoon season. Yes, that is what we are doing. Still can't believe we haven't gotten a single floaty boaty night at all. Welcome back, friend. I have not gone anywhere. Still in hurricane season as well.
Okay. We should almost have enough coral. Yeah, we should be good on coral now. Uh, let's go ahead and get one more just to be safe. Oh, never mind. Guess not. Cool beans. Cool beans. You were on a call with your friend? Awesome. Awesome, awesome. Oh, great. Are none of these palm trees? There we go. Okay, this palm tree is good. Okay, we just need the coconut. Good. We got the coconut. That's all we need. Let's retreat back home. The waves are against us, but the wind is with us. Ooh. Ooh. Oh my, this is terrifying. Ooh. Come on, give me more wind. Give me more wind. More wind. Yes. Oh, we passed our house. Now the wind is against us. Oh. Okay. Just gotta go down. Just gotta go down. Down to the house. Hello, house. Alright. Oh, it's nighttime. It's gonna be hard to get a vine in the middle of night. Oh, well. We can make the sleek hat tomorrow. Let's focus on making the buoyant stuff now. So, for a buoyant chiminea... We need tar, limestone, and sand. Good. We can do that. How about a buoyant science station? There we go. A sea lab. Perfect. That. This this can be done. All right. We need 10 in total. One, two, three, four, five. I'm not joking, bro. The amount of effort you put in this channel has has potential of blowing up. Thank you. It's comments like that that keep me going as well. All right, we have perfectly enough for 10. And then we have sand in here. Yeah, I, I try to make everything as high effort as possible. That's why I started streaming lately. All right, we have the sand. Buoyant chiminea. There we go. That's what we needed. And then C Lab. We need electrical doodads. So one, two. Unfortunately, we don't have enough gold. And I'm not willing to use my doubloons to make gold. So we're going to unfortunately have to wait. We're going to have to wait. Oh, we're going to have to wait. I hate sitting and waiting. I need to do something. Uh... Let's see. Well, I think there's gold rocks there that we can dig up. There's also the volcano island over here that we can dig up for more gold. Alright, alright. I want to do something. Please, daytime, get here. Please. What is... I, I don't want to, though. I don't want to turn this into gold. I want to keep the doubloons because I want to gamble. Alright, yes. It's time to go. Alright. Well, number one, we need vines to make the sleek hat. Which is actually a pretty cool item. Look, more doubloons. Oh, yes. Alright, let's get this vine. There we go. Let's head back and make the sleek hat. Alright. Boom. 
Now, this is actually a pretty cool item. It makes us faster. Isn't that cool? Yeah, it's cool. It's cool. Alright. Might have to deal with tall birds. That's okay. We can do that. The sleek hat will help us. Goodbye, tall bird. I'm gonna leave the eggs alone. I'm not feeling like being a meanie today. Come on. Come on. Crap. I don't want to fight two at once. That's where things get confusing. Come on. Okay. Alright. Your mom is still cooking at 1 a.m. <laughs> That's pretty interesting. What could you possibly make at 1 a.m.? It's an interesting time to be cooking. For sure. Why did I... Oh, I have the bubble. I have the bubble. I have the bubble. I'm just going to use it. Oh, why did I... Mm. I took some unnecessary hits there. That's my bad. Alright, but we got gold here. Let's get it. Look at all that. Right off the bat, we got gold for days. That's enough gold. Yeah, these... These tall birds are interesting. Woo! Made fire. I could take the eggs and they'd be a great, like, emergency food source. But I also don't want to deal with them because they don't stack. They don't stack. Oh, here we go. More gold. Yes, please. Give it to me. Ooh. Oh, no gold from that? Scammed. I've been scammed. I have been scammed. Do we sleep through the night? Yeah, let's make the sea lab and then let's sleep through the night. Bye bye. Alright. Welcome to day 35. We're almost at monsoon season. Almost. Almost. We're getting there. But here's the problem we have not gotten any gears. Because. Alright, let's take this rot. Hold on, let's go. Let's go fertilize the grass up north. Because we just have not had any floaty boaty nights spawn. And that really grinds my gears, dude. That really grinds my gears. The fact that we're not getting any gears grinds my gears. Okay. Let's throw the sleek hat on so we get the extra speed because we're cool. And we like speed. And it's basically like a bootleg um, walking cane. Although, you know what? I probably could. I probably could make fight Quacken again. And I think that might be a great idea. How long ago did we fight Quacken? Let's do day 40 just to be safe. That should be perfect timing to fight Quacken. Alright. Let's head on out. Maybe we'll find some floaty boaty nights. Maybe not. I'm hoping we do. But I'm also anticipating not finding any. I mean, there was devastation that happened over here. Still no floaty boaty nights. And this place was absolutely devastated. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. That was stupid. Let's get some more tar. We're going to need more tar. Here we go. Oh, my goodness. 
Oh, protect me, extractor. All right. Maybe killing dogfish? Like, I, I genuinely don't know what I'm supposed to do to get these guys to spawn in. But I know we need them. For gears. This has become not only a surviving a full year in one stream challenge. This also became surviving without gears. The most useful item in the game. Ooh, row? No row. The most useful item in the game is nowhere to be found. Okay, what's happening here? I don't like that. Look at all these waves, dude. This is crazy. This is insane. Ah! Aw. Like, there's no floaty boaty nights at all, man. And I've gone on a rampage of epic proportions. But no, no floaty boaty nights at all, man. You gotta be kidding me. These make a soothing glow. I agree, they're pretty. Something. Something's chilling. Something is chilling. Venom glands. Oh, we're wet? I didn't even notice that. That sucks. Okay, let's go dry off. Actually, let's go ahead and make our ocean base real quick. So, if we just throw buoyant chiminea down here. And then a sea lab right here. Look at that! We now have a rudimentary ocean base. Which is what we're going to rely on during monsoon season. Isn't that great? Isn't that great? And then I could just go ahead and slightly come over here and there we go now the boat is repairing let's actually sit and repair our boat for a little bit we can also use this to cook up some food let's do that oh i can't cook up food while i'm being repaired because i made this a little too far whoopsie oh bad my bad my bad You can hear if you if you listen closely, you can actually hear the bell on the buoy. That's freaky. That's freaky. I bet I can actually turn it up and you guys can probably hear it better. Hold on. That's cool. I like that. I think that's very cool. Oh, all right. What's the plan for tomorrow? Really, the only thing I can think of is floaty boaty night. Like, that's what I need. We also need to prepare our volcano survival island, which I think is going to be this one right here. What does that mean, you may wonder? You'll find out. Stay tuned for the next, like, three hours to find out. <laughs> Alright. That's that done. Ooh. Too dark. I want to repair my sail real quick. I wouldn't need a sail if somebody would just drop their gears and bring me gears. Let's repair this sail. Perfect. Alright. Let's not sit near that guy or else he'll keep getting mad at us. 
So yeah, this is basically just an alchemy engine at sea, which is really nice. Really nice. Um, buoyant chimenea. Yeah, there's all types of cool stuff. We also really need to find... Dude, I... There's so much. Okay. Once morning hits, I'm going to try my best to find... I think today we're going to focus on... Floaty Bodie Nights. And... Let's see. Floaty Bodie Nights. And if we can find... The slot machine that'd be great all right let's get moving we got plenty of stakes we're good if i have to kill a million jellyfish so be it dude <gasps> yes that's them oh yes okay plans have changed we finally got the gears whoa all right Oh, yes, and it's three of them? All right. They won't hit me. Watch. I'll do this without taking a single cannonball. Can't get me. Can't get me. Can't get me. Ha <laughs> ha. Nice. There we go. That's six gears. And you know what? Let's get some more jellyfish. Now it's just the slot machine that we need. That's all. That is it. The only thing that... Oh, you know what? We should probably get a few sand bags, too. Wait a minute. Hold on. Is it... Monsoon season or hurricane season right now? I want to say it's hurricane season. But... I don't know. All right, ice box. We need cut stone. That's all we need. Now I am going to do something. I am going to do something interesting here. I'm actually going to put our ice box near the edge like this. Now you may be wondering, why would I do something like that? That sounds crazy. Well, my friend. My friend, my friend. This is going to be so we can make it immune to flooding when the floods come. Speaking of flooding, let's go get some sand. Because we're going to need some of that for when the floods come. Yes, I am dominating the sea. Oh, it's still hurricane season, yeah. There's the big waves are everywhere. If it was monsoon season, the big waves would be gone. Alright, let's head let's head south. Oh no, what am I? I need to make the iron win. Yes, I need to make the iron win. All right. Are you guys ready for this? This is going to be the best thing ever. Let's go ahead and take the sail off. We actually won't need it anymore. Drop it on the... Hello? You guys hear that? Okay. Let's take the turbine blades. I need more gold. <laughs> of course. Why wouldn't I need more gold? All right. Scratch that about the sail. We're going to need the sail, but we won't. Oh, my goodness. No. Stop. Don't turn the light on. Just give me the boat lantern. All right. Let's head out. Let's head out. We need to go get gold. We might as well go get gold sand, all of the ne necessary things that we need. Whoa, we are riding alongside the waves right now. This is freaky. Who knew gold was going to be our bottleneck? That's like one of the easiest things to get in this. Actually, no. 
No, I, I stand corrected. Gold is pretty hard to get in this version of the game. Compared to Reign of Giants, Reign of Giants, it's easy, but Shipwrecked, it's pretty hard to get gears. Or, not gears, gold. Gold. Gold, gears, gold, gears. Same thing. Totally same thing. Oh! Ooh, that was beautiful. Okay, stink ray, get out of my face. Hmm. Could stop at this island to get some bamboo, but really we don't need to. Because there's this island over here. Plus, we want to grab the gold from over here. I know there's gold on that island. I know for a fact there's gold on that island. Plus, there's critters. Alright. I am floating. Floating. Oh, you do not want to know what happens if I hit these waves. It it ruins my my day. These waves do a ton of damage to your boat. I can't even use them to speed up like normal waves. Oh no, the doubloon. Give it to me. Yes. These waves do a lot of damage to your ship if you hit them. Even if you hit them from behind. Oh, a storm's coming. Interesting. The wind is helping us out a lot, though. Look at that. Alright, we're almost there. Hello, cormorants. Almost there. We're so close. Alright, we're here. Alright, let's try to get more crizzers. No gold? Question mark? Oh, we're gonna need to make a torch. No, let's be fancy. Tar lamp. Because we're cool like that. Alright, here's some gold. There we go. There's light. Let there be light. And let there be gold. My goodness. Alright, is that all for the gold rocks? Is this a gold rock over here? It is. Yeah, look at that. That's fun. Mm, that should be enough gold, I think. I think that's enough. Gold. This cutlass is actually almost dead, unfortunately. All of these rocks are slowly making their way to the edge to be lost forever. Are these crizzers, like, permanently active? They haven't turned off at all. I'm going to say that, and they're going to turn off. And I'm going to look stupid. See, that one turned off. But these two have not turned off at all. They're forever crizzers. Okay, let's just get a move on. We don't want to sit around and do nothing all day. All right, we need bamboo and sand. Bamboo and sand. Both of which we could probably get from this island over here. Oh, dodging these waves in the middle of night is hard. But we got it. We got it. We got it. Oh, I landed. All right. Can I, can this, wow, that, the wind absolutely ruins the durability on that thing. I just realized that. Wow, that felt really fast. That is monsoon season, everybody. Oh, you can turn it on and off. That, okay, that's what's fun about 
a tar lamp. You can actually, like, turn it off. But why would I care, ever? I don't know. Just seems silly. You guys want to hear this banger of a soundtrack, though? Welcome to monsoon season. Things are about to get a lot more wet and sad and depressing. YouTube has become unholy, even live stream. Is YouTube becoming Twitch? I think YouTube's just trying to become everything. Because if you notice, they added short form content too. It's like they want to have a piece of everything in one spot. I'm not sure how well that's going to go for them, but I think it's going pretty okay. I mean, I'm streaming here instead of Twitch, so. But the reason I'm doing that is because I have no Twitch followers, so. <laughs> I have a Twitch account, but I have no Twitch followers, and I don't know. I need more bamboo. Now it's time for sand. So what we're doing right now is we're trying to get the materials to make sandbags. Sandbags are going to be very useful when the floods start to come. And the floods will come. And they're going to be bad. Hey, I just realized I'm starving to death. Oh, we got we got butterflies over here. We can Where there's butterflies, there's food. Where there's butterflies, there is food. Truer words have never been spoken. Um, let's get a little bit more sand even though I know we have some at home. I know we have some at home. Let's eat these seeds. We're getting a little... Yeah, we're, we're getting hungry, but like... It's not too bad. We got limpets. We can eat limpets. I also want to fight Quacken again at some point. Uh, Twitch is uh, Twitch is in its downfall. Interesting. I don't know. I don't. I don't stay up to. I don't stay up on news when it comes to things like that. So you are probably right. I would be none the wiser, even if you were lying to me. You would have successfully lied to me because <laughs> I have no clue. I, I guess I could see that though. I don't see a lot of like twitch streamers anymore like it's all like on other platforms now including youtube so i guess i could see it okay, let's yeah you'll notice all the waves are back to normal so that's pretty cool unfortunately for these jellyfish we are hungry Oh, Croco Dog. What's up, dog? Bye bye. <laughs> nope. We're gonna need to go hunting for uh, another swordfish soon. Alright, let's throw in our sleek hat so we can get home faster. Oh, this doubloon's gonna put us over the 40 threshold. We need to find that. 
Uh. Twitch is making loss, not profit. And Kick is also getting famous. I've heard about Kick. I... Seems interesting. I don't know. I fear change, though, so I probably won't make an account there. I think I, I, I like YouTube because it really allows you to consolidate everything. Because I can stream on here. I can post shorts on here. I can post regular videos on here. There's, like, everything. I can even use community chats and everything. So it's, like, it's really the ultimate website, I guess you could say. Because you could just do everything. Oh, I wasn't wearing my rain hat. Yeah, that's what happens. Can we make it home before we starve is the question. And it is a good question. I like the tar lamp now. I was roasting it for a while before, but now I'm actually I'm growing fond of it. It's kind of cool. Feels very satisfying, I guess. Oh, H2O. Oh, oh, that's Tiger Shark. That's Tiger Shark. That's Tiger Shark. Where are you, Tiger Shark? Why is there a Croco Dog? Where'd you come from? My clothes up here. Oh, I'm getting very wet. Stink Ray. Hold on. Stop, everybody. Give me, give me a breathing room for a second. We'll be back in two hours. All right, I will see you then. We will most likely still be here. All right, Croco Dog. Look, I don't want to lead you back home, so I'm just going to take you out now. All right, let's fix up our hat. Beautiful. We are now wet. starving. I did not make it home in time. I have failed the game. The game is called Don't Starve and I starved. No, he ate my fish! Okay, it's okay. That was the yellow one. Oh, that sucks. That was the speed fish. Of course he ate that fish. Whatever. Whatever. Alright, let's eat some steaks. We deserve it. Welcome to day 38. Having a great time. We've got an overflow of doubloons. We can also go ahead and make our electrical doodads. So that we can make the iron win. The best sale in the game. You guys ready for this? Look at this. <laughs> yes. We are speedy. All right. That's not what we need to do today, though. Let's get our sandbags ready. So we've got bamboo. We've got sand. Let's make some cloth. All right. We're making cloth. Now, it should be in structures. Sandbags, yep. This should actually be enough. I'm actually... That should be enough. Alright. Now, what we're gonna do is we're actually just gonna separate this ice box from the rest of our base. Just like that. There we go. Now, it is going to be a little inconvenient because we're not going to be able to actually, like, access the icebox unless we use our boat. But trust me, when the flooding comes, this is going to be very useful. Very useful. Alright, we'll just throw the sandbags down on the ground now. Palm fronds down. 
And then let's go ahead and ooh, let's make the quacker the quacken drill too. I wanna make that. What do we need? It's in science, I think. Yeah. Electrical doodads. Uh, unfortunately, we you know what? I'm just going to use the doubloons to make gold. It's an awful, awful thing, but look. We need gold. Alright. Where is it at? Oh, we need to make the actual electrical doodads first. There we go. Quack and drill. Alright. You guys ready to see this thing in action? We just got to go to some deep water, which is perfect because there's some right out over here. Oh, it doesn't even need to be deep water. How close can we make it? Can it be in shallow water? No, it has to just be in medium water. All right. There it goes. And look at that tar slick. All right. We could do another quack and fight. I need to dry off, too. There's so many things I needed to do. <laughs> All right, let's dry off a little bit. I don't know why I did two tar. Right, let's dry off. There we go. Let's repair the boat a little bit. By now, we definitely should be able to fight Quacken. Oh, I'm getting hot. It's because of my beard. Alright. Let's find some bamboo. I know we've got some on our home island. Yep. We could also sleep through the night to get our sanity back up a little bit. Collect the bamboo. Very good. I can't tell if those are uh, venomous snakes or regular snakes. I think those are regular snakes. That's all good. We're just collecting bamboo. Doubloons in the water. Ooh. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Doubloons in the water. I like that. Oh, more doubloons. Yay. Yippee. All right. We are at five hours now. Hmm. Isn't that just amazing? Five whole hours of streaming. We are just two hours away from reaching the same level of the Soma stream. And I have a I'm almost guaranteeing that we're gonna beat that in this stream. Cause we are just now over halfway done. Think about that. Yeah. We are just now over halfway done. Oh, nighttime. Let's get a move on. Where? Oh, I that was almost very bad. <laughs> Ew, look at that hand in the water. Weird. Okay, give me the bamboo. Let's make some rope. Three. Let's go ahead and make three trawl nets. Just so we can actually do some regular trawling. As funny as that sounds. 
All right. You know what? Let's sleep through the night. Get that sanity back. Hmm. I didn't think about that. We're going to be hungry. And we have no food sitting here. So we're going to take some health damage. Because we have to go over to our ice box. Let's do that. All right. That guy dropped a row. Oh no! The ice box is in our way. Oh, he's eating the row. The ice box is actually in our way. That's devious. We have to actually break down. Wow. All right, we have to break down the sandbag. That's so annoying. Welcome to the console edition, everybody. There we go. Okay. And then we have to take our raft and... Yeah, that that sucks. But you know what? It's whatever. It's whatever. No row there. Yeah. Of course. Of course. Alright. Let's go ahead and... Do some organization here real quick. The coral can lay on the ground. Yeah. All right. Let's go. Let's go do a quack and battle. Let's go do a quack and battle. We could actually do a quack and battle there. Although there are a lot of uh, stink rays here, and that would get annoying very quickly. But it is deep water. Although let's let's just let's just go to the place where we know Quacken spawns. Row? No row. Fine. Fine, I guess. We're almost, we're almost there. All right, row? No row. Let's do this. Let's begin trawling. Perhaps we'll find some cool things too. Nice, we got some row. Awesome. Hopefully we can get a purple grouper. Not that it's that useful now. It's really only useful against Seal Nato. I should also go fight Tiger Shark. Just so I can call this a true tutorial. At some point. We are trawling. We are trawling. Could grab this bioluminescence. That technically would count. And it is useful. Let's do it. There we go. Alright, what did we get? Ooh, a pan flute. And more row. Woohoo! Ooh, that pan flute is useful. I actually kind of want to keep that. I want to keep that. Let's eat this fish just raw because we're cool like that. We're so metal. Alright, let's throw on this trawl net again. And then let's just grab more bioluminescence. There it is. That's that's the one we want. Alright, let's grab this. Let's grab this before we actually dedicate to the boss battle. There we go. Alright, let's do this. Should be easy. I just gotta put my iron wind back on. 
There we go. All right, where's the head? There's the head. Let's go. I'm going to get wet. It's just something that I'm going to have to deal with. Okay. There's the head. Let's get it. All right. Where's your head? Where's your head going? Come on. There it is. Let's go. All right. There's the head. Let's get it. Ooh, that tentacle almost hit me. Boom, another quack and dead. Give us walking cane? No walking cane, but another crown. And Balfin free tuna. Interesting. Okay. Okay. Well, I'm happy with that. I'd say that was a success. Success. And we got some row. Ooh, I'm happy about that. Ooh, I like that. So let's head home. No walking cane, but you know what? It is what it is. We're all good. We're all good. We are going to need some more coral to actually make these tar extractors. And we're going to need more gold, too. So you know what? I am going to convert the gold into... Oh, perfect timing, by the way. Absolutely perfect timing. Let's throw some wood in here. Dry off a little bit and repair our boat. Oh, any new chats? Nope. Looks like I'm still on top of it. That is good. Let's convert some of these doubloons into gold, even though it's a terrible thing to do, and I really suggest you never do this ever. Because it's much better to spend doubloons at the slot machine, because, my goodness, can you get some good stuff from that? All right, let's throw this row in our fish farms. See what fish we get from it. And we are fully dry now. Let's go ahead and repair our boat. Just a little bit. Just a little bit. I'm going a little insane. Has our tent gone away yet? No, it hasn't. We get one more sleep in that. We can use that tomorrow. We can sleep tomorrow. Might be a good idea. Ooh! I didn't know the hands would happen in the ocean. That's freaky. I don't care about the fire, though, so goodbye, fire. Sorry. That's so freaky. But we have these buoys, so... We're, we're, we're all good. Nice. We're repaired. Alright, welcome to tomorrow. Here, I actually want to move this boat, because it is in the way. Let's move this guy down here. There we go. Now, if I do this, can I get back in the boat? Yes, I can. Good. Good. Let's throw this bioluminescence in. Now we need to make more tar extractors. We need more bamboo, we need more coconuts, and we need more limestone. Our tar empire will be flourishing. I don't know why I did that. We need cut stone.
One, two. Then give me these back. Actually, well, yeah, let's keep gears on us for from now on. Just because we use them to repair our iron wind. Alright, quack and drill. Add this to our tar empire that we got going on here. This pan flute is also going to be a fun thing to just keep with us for emergencies. All right, let's let's plant this close by, but not too close. Like right here sounds good. And that should make us another tar slick. Wonderful. Pan flute, we can just leave on the ground, to be honest. Row? No row. Fine. Let's go ahead and cook up some food. That's all that cooked up. Now we're cooking up some seaweed. That's all that cooked up. And then we'll just, just go ahead and munch down on this a little bit. Doesn't hurt. Doesn't hurt at all. This trawl net we can leave on the shoreline here. Ugh. Looks like this day is going to be based on just inventory management and whatnot. Your friend sent you the most disturbing and disgusting thing on the internet. Like, are you depressed or zesty? <laughs> That's interesting. That's an interesting way to see it. Oh, man. These critters are going crazy. We, we need more bamboo. So let's go ahead and get more bamboo. I did say we were going to sleep tonight, though. So after I t cut down these two bamboos, I'm probably going to go to bed. Let's go to bed. Let's go to bed. We deserve a good nap. Oh, really? Of course these guys ruin our good night's sleep. All right, let's go a little bit away from our fish farms. Let's actually just go up. Yeah, yeah, I hear them. I hear them. With the amount of sleeping we're doing, hopefully this stream isn't too long. <laughs> I was going to sleep, but now these guys decided to pop into existence. Come on. Yeah, you can just face tank these guys. They are not that hard. Just one, two, three... One, two, three. One, two, three. Boom. And we got some monster meat for our troubles, even though this monster meat's not the most useful thing ever. Neither are these hound's tooths. Don't really need them. Don't really need them, guys. Let's go to bed. It's time for Night Night Land. We need our sanity back. This should be the last night. Yeah, our tent's gone. That's what I figured. That's what I figured. All right. Day 41. We still got a while to go before this stream can end. But we are doing it. And we're doing it live. All right. There's a fish. We don't want to harvest it yet, then. Let's see. What did we need again? We need... Okay, yeah. I know what we need. Oh, uh, but we're going to need more gold. Damn. 
Uh, I hate wasting doubloons like this, but necessary sacrifices, am I right? Let's go get some coral. Let's go get some coral so we can make these tar extractors. Let's head to the one down south, because I think there's more coral that we haven't disturbed down south. That was stupid. Oh, full moon? Full moon. That has to mean full moon. Unless Tiger Shark is nearby, but I doubt it. I mean, she could be. And I would. Ooh, give me, give me, give me, give me. Yeah, that was worth taking a big hit. That was worth it. And we got it a balloon. I'm gonna be very sad if I can't find this gambling machine before the end of this little challenge run because I wanted to go over it in my how to survive video, but I won't be able to if we don't actually get to see it. I mean, I'll still go over it in the video, but I won't be able to go like show people how it works. I don't know. I guess it's not that hard. You just put the, the balloons in and then... <laughs> it's not that hard to gamble. You put money in and sometimes you get good things, sometimes you get bad things. I guess we should make a crock pot at this point. Because surf and turf is a pretty powerful item. Alright, we'll keep that pickaxe ready to go. Let's start heading back home. Surf and Turf also fixes your sanity, which is a big, big thing that you can't fix in this mode. All right, so let's replace these fish, because these are useless. So let's get rid of all of them and put new fish in. There's still just a fish, unfortunately. All right, heal me up. Heal me up. While we go ahead and make some limestone. I think that's all we need. Now it's just coconuts. Which shouldn't be too bad. Is that Ro? Oh, I think he just ate Ro. Whatever. But that shouldn't be too bad. It is a full moon, so let's utilize it to the best extent we can. And go collect some coconuts. Or at least try. We can certainly at least try. There we go. There's some coconuts. Give me the coconuts. It is awkwardly silent.
very awkwardly silent. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to get any coconuts from this island. Let's head to the one... Mm, let's go to this one over here. Let's go to this one over here. Yeah, let's go to this one. Oh, message in a bottle. Yes, please. Hold on. Side quest. Why did that wave go a separate way? That's why. All right, guys. You ready to fight Tiger Shark? Yeah, you guys are ready to fight Tiger Shark. All right. Now, fighting Tiger Shark in the ocean is not a bright idea. Look at that. Oh, my goodness. Come on. Yes, you're very mad. Come on. Ooh, that's freaky. Come on. Let's take her to land. Come on. Gotta make sure she keeps aggroed. That might hurt. Okay, that... What is she... Ah! Wow! Let's just, uh... <laughs> There we go. Alright, now it's a normal boss fight. Alright, let's... Hold on. There we go. Let's do this. I think you can get away with three. Yeah, three is the best. Look at the water slowly approaching us. Three. Three. Whoa, oh, here comes the special attack. What? Tiger Shark, what are you doing? Are you good, dog? Oh. <laughs> that was stupid. Hi, Croco Dog, how are you doing? Yeah, yeah. That was so silly. Alright, let's go grab this food and whatnot. Now this eye of the tiger shark, we can actually just eat. You can use it to make a super spyglass, but like, I don't care that much. So I'm just going to eat it because it also fills your hunger all the way. <laughs> I'm just evil, aren't I? All right. Well, that was a fun little side quest. Let's actually go do our main mission now, however, and go get some coconuts. Oh yeah. And this message in a bottle. There it is. Give this to me. Being chased by stink rays. Let's get out of these guys. And read the message in a bottle. Oh, down south. Maybe we'll stop there. Yeah, let's we'll stop there after we get the coconuts we need. After we get the coconuts we need. More doubloons. All right, coconut tree. There's a coconut tree. Give me the coconuts. Yeah, there's nothing on this island as well. Okay, let's go down south. 
definitely doesn't hurt. Although we are going against the waves. And that I am not a fan of. Oh, I just... I was looking at chat. My bad. <laughs> just trying to see if I missed anybody. But I did not. Alright, let's go dig up this treasure. Anything good? A boat cannon? As much as that is cool, it's actually not that useful. I'll come back for it eventually, just for funnies, but it really isn't that useful on its own, unfortunately, so. I hate to say it, guys. We're gonna leave it behind. Let's dry off a little bit. We got a little wet, unfortunately. We can make one tar extractor. We'll need to get two more coconuts to make another one, though. Alright, come on. We gotta dry off here any second. There we go. Perfect. Oh, you know what? Let's go ahead and cook this fish, too. Why not? Have a little bit of variety in our diet. Fish and seaweed. Not a bad combo. Not a bad combo at all. There we go. There's a nice fully grown palm tree. Can I get two coconuts from you, please? That would be all we need. I can see two coconuts on your model. Oh, yes. That's what we needed. Alright. That's enough to make another tar extractor, and we are done. We don't need to be here anymore. So let's just, let's throw in our sleek hat and let's get out of here. We are at five hours and 30 minutes and we are over halfway done. I'm feeling good about this. I'm feeling good. Feeling very good about this. Dry season is going to be the pain for sure. That's where the pain's gonna come in to play. Is this a full moon again tonight? Huh. Bro! Fish babies. No! Uh, t why? Well, it's a good thing we got... I, I hate that. Like, I don't even get enough time to react. It's a good thing we got another row, then. That's annoying. I don't even know what that one was. That could have been the good one for all of it matters. Alright, what's this one? Oh, that's the good one. Purple grouper. That's the good one. That's a bad one. And this one... Is another purple grouper. Yes, we have two good ones. We just need the uh, yellow one now so we can make tropical bula base. Or however you say it. Alright, let's go ahead and... Oh wow, maybe the purple grouper is the one that makes you faster. There we go. We now have two more tar extractors, so now we're getting more tar. Let's actually go ahead and grab the tar from up north as well. We haven't been there in a while. Wee! Wee is right, man. This is fun. There it is. 
All right. Let's go ahead and throw this tar in here. Turn it on. There we go. All good to go. You know, let's actually go hunting for a swordfish. I think I enjoy the idea of that. So let's head up to the deep water area. Plus, we can explore a little bit. I mean, we got plenty of food. Why not just explore? Maybe find a swordfish while we're at it. That would be great. If we could find some gold, too, that would also be pretty good. They like to spawn around these, like, super deep areas. These shipwreck areas. They, they like to spawn there. There we go. This looks like prime swordfish. Air. There it is. That's who we were looking for. Nice. Alright. There's another cutlass. Really? What? Get away from me. Annoying croco dogs. Alright, do we do it, guys? Let's do it. So this is a way to fast travel. It does make you wet, though. Which sucks, but... Hey, at least it brings us to a new area. It fast tra basically how it works is it fast travels you to the other side of the map. So if you if you look at the map there, I went from that side to that side. So that's what happens. Oh, I just realized there's gold on this island. Yes, please. Can we also dry off before we get wet? I would like that. Let's try to do that. I'd rather not go insane quite yet. We can also... Oh, no, we can't. Because we haven't learned it. I was going to say we could shave our beard to get some sanity back, but... Maybe I'm digging the castaway look. Here we go. Here's the good spot for gold. Yes, please. Whoa! Oh, I thought those were two touchstones. I was gonna be like, how? No, it's a touchstone in the seaworthy. Ow, ow. Whoops, my bad. <laughs> I just wanted to touch the, the touchstone. So this, if you guys don't know, this actually will allow me to go to uh, Reign of Giants. I'm sorry, I'm trying to survive this onslaught of dubious characters. Uh, get away from me, dude. I'm trying to make another Cutlass Supreme. Stop. Go away. You know what? That's what you get. That is what you get. Now, unfortunately, I'm not going to use that because I, this is not a Reign of Giants run. This is a shipwreck run. But it's still cool nonetheless to find it because then now I can now I can explain it when I make my big video. That you guys should check out, by the way. Speaking of videos, I've got my spring one coming out tomorrow. How to Survive Spring. Make sure to check that out. That's going to be a fun time. I worked very hard on it. Ugh, not, not a lot of good things here. Okay, 
Okay, let's get off this island. Let's get out of here. We got plenty of gold. Here be monsters. Yikes. Let's just use this time to explore. No reason not to. We've got plenty of durability. We've already killed all of the bosses. <laughs> so like, now it's just a smooth sailing. Oh, Bermuda Triangle. These are fun. All right, guys. See you later. Where'd that take us? Oh, wow. That is a very far fast travel point. Unfortunately, this spot seems pretty boring. This spot seems pretty boring. Yeah, I'm not seeing any. Oh, there might be something over here. Oh, I hit that one wrong. I hate when the music just stops all of a sudden. Freaks me out. Freaks me out. Alright, you know what? Let's go home. We're already close by. Let's let's just head home. Is that a message in a bottle or a regular bottle? That's a regular bottle. Oh, H2O. Oh, H2O, how you're so mean to me. I almost just turned my light off. Why would I do that? That just screams stupidity. Welcome home. Oh, I can actually open my ice box from the coast, but I can't put anything in it. Well, no, I can because I could just do this. Cool, cool beans, cool beans. We also want to put a crock pot down there. Let's heal up for the night. Nope, oh, we're out of fuel. It's all good. I'll put some more in. Let's heal up our boat. Ooh. Ooh, stretching. All right. In fact, I'm going to use this time to grab a drink real quick. I am back and ready to, looks like my boat's almost repaired. I'm going a little insane. Let's get a crock pot. I've, I've been putting it off way too much. It's time to just make a crock pot. Let's use tar lamp because that's cool and unique. Okay. Because then I can make surf and turf and that's like a really useful item. For fixing sanity issues. Alright, let's collect some of our tar. Beautiful. Beautiful. And then we have to go burn down some trees. But the question is, what trees do we decide to burn down? Hmm. 
Mm -mm 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 -mm. We can burn down the mangrove trees. Those won't spread fire as easily, I don't believe. Though I'm only doing this because I'm lazy and I don't want to make any fire breaks, so. If you're playing along, don't do this. Just just make your uh make fire breaks. It's worth it. Alright, let's check this. Yeah, that's burning. Does it spread? I don't think it'll spread. Let's check. These are very close to each other. They do spread. Okay. I think they're mad. What's wrong with you guys? Yeah, they're in heat. I think. I think they're in heat. Oh well. We're just getting enough charcoal to actually make the crock pot. I think six is enough. So let's head back down. Let's use the rest of our sleek hat. It's gonna break, I know, but I don't really want to make a repair kit. Just not my, not my thing, man. Let's take this monster meat because. All right. Oh wait, you know what we could do? We could use our C lab. Nope, nope, nope. Not making limestone. There we go. And then, can we build it here? Is the question. And the answer is no. So unfortunately, this crock pot's going to get flooded when the floods come. But you know what? That really doesn't matter too much. I think I messed this whole base up, dude. Like, I. It looks ugly. Alright, so I think this will make surf and turf, if I'm correct. If I'm correct, that's going to make surf and turf. However, there is a very good chance I'm incorrect. Can I make the Dumbrella? I can. That's probably going to be a good idea, but I don't have pig skin. Ooh, yuck. There goes my sleek hat. Oh well. The snake skin. There, yep, that's surf and turf. Watch our sanity. Ooh, beautiful. That is definitely the one reason why you would want to make a crock pot in this game mode. Surf and turf is beautiful. Plus tropical bula bays. Unfortunately, we're going to have to go over here to actually get back into our boat because the way this game works is very annoying. All right. Perhaps it's the yellow one. It is. We can make tropical bula bays. Okay. One, two, three. One, two. We can take one more. And then we can take these guys for filler. Alright, so I should be able to make tropical blue bays. Eat some more surf and turf real quick. So I think if we do all three of these guys and then one regular fish. Let's see. Is that what it makes? Because if so, that's a very powerful item. And I'll show you guys why. No, it made gumbo. I made it the wrong way. I think there's there's got to be a certain way I've got to make it. I'll figure out it eventually. Throw the coral in here. The doubloons stay with us. The bamboo can go, though. Okay. Okay, we're doing good. We're doing good. Coral can go in here. The rains should be coming at any time now, so... 
We should definitely get prepared for that. We can also head over here and kill a tall bird to allow us to make some more surf and turf. So that we can stay sane. I got three hits there. Nice. Okay, so using their sleeping pattern, I can do this. I can just go one, two, three, one hit, one, two, three. That's nice. That is awesome. This guy's not sleeping, though, so unfortunately, I'm going to have to do this the regular way. Oh, you took damage from something. So you only took five hits. Hmm. Strange. All right, I think we got one more. We got two more. Actually, I don't feel like fighting two at the same time. So let's just wander away. Because we're cool like that and we know when to retreat. So let's go ahead and retreat. <laughs> let's retreat. So now we should be able to make tons of surf and turf. Let's see. We can even use some of these special fish. Oh, that guy almost fell in the water. Uh, that's... Yeah, that's a problem. Can I drop this on the floor? Oh, I could drop it on the floor and it still makes light. That's cool. I need the raw fish. Let's make some surf and turf. We are now almost at the six hour mark. More surf and turf, please. And let's go ahead and fill our sanity up. Look at that. We're no longer insane. Ah, ah, where did you come from? Where did you come from? Oh no. It's too dark here. Okay, we're fine. We're fine. Did he at least drop monster meat? He did. Okay, good. We can use that for more. More surf and turf. I don't know where that guy came from. Who he thinks he was. But that was silly of him for attacking me in my own private domicile. All right, let's make more surf and turf. Let's make more surf and turf because this is the most magical food. Look at that. Sanity back up. That was meatballs. I didn't want meatballs. Meatballs suck. Oh, is it because regular fish don't count as enough fish? Somehow? Hmm. Weird. Oh no, is this also meatballs? No, this is surf and turf. Okay, good. Well, I guess now we have meatballs. Unfortunate, but what are you going to do? All right, we'll just have to manually add these. Okay, so food is no longer an issue. We, we now have a very good source of food, which is these fish farms plus tall birds for surf and turf. So now... Now, my friends... It's time to go spider farming. Ah! Oh, I got like stuck there for a second. Let's head down south. 
to where we know the spiders live. I don't know how that wave didn't hit me. That one hit me. Now, when it comes to regular food, jellyfish are probably one of the best because it's super easy to just scoop them up, take them out. But... Yeah. We're almost to our destination. Wee. Alright. Oh nice, perfect. It's tier three too. And we need silk. So tier three is what I wanted to see. Come on, buddy. Goodbye. <laughs> the monster meat is a secondary nice objective. Ooh, a poisonous snake. Very intriguing. Don't bite me. Do not bite me. Evil snake. Right, I think we got one more. One more. Oh no, I don't want to capture the snake. I think that should be good. Almost. Alright, now we should be good. Yep. Alright, let's get to cutting. Oh, my stupid thing broke. We got some spider eggs out of that but I really don't care about the spider eggs. Ow. Fine. Now I have a force field. Now you now you all messed up. Now I'm going to take it out on everybody. Everybody's going down. That's what I thought. You know what? Even you're going down. All right, all right here we go. Oh, I almost got away from them. Haha! <laughs> Look at me go, man. I think I just drained that whole spider nest. I totally did. Let's go. Even more silk. I am the king of Don't Starve Combat. Except for that one situation I had on Reign of Giants. If you don't know what I'm talking about, you'll have to go watch the... The How to Survive Spring video that's coming out tomorrow. <laughs> Shamelessly plugging my other content while you're watching this content. Alright. We got plenty of silk now. Let's head out. Head back home. Oh, the waves are on our side, too. Beautiful. Splendid. We're almost home. Can we make it without using any light is the question. We might. 
We might. Oh, we're totally making it. Okay. Uh, well, that was unexpected. Did he eat our fish? We got floaty boaties. We got floaty boaties. This is actually great. All right. Whew. I don't think he ate any of our fish. So I'm, I'm happy with how that turned out. Whoa! Come fight me like a man. Where are you? Don't artillery fire me. Now, you'll notice our iron wind is actually losing durability. We can just fix that. That. My goodness, I gotta learn how to speak better. We can just fix that with gears. Isn't that great? Boom. All better. Let's go ahead and get our sanity up as well. We got a lot of silk. Now we need a lot of wood for boards. So I want to spend some time because we're going to be taking lots of siestas during dry season. Hello, floaty Bodie Knight. Goodbye, floaty Bodhi Knight. I don't even know where he was shooting at. He was just shooting at nothing. Alright. We've still got a while until dry season. We haven't even had any monsoons yet. Funny enough. And we've still got a while until dry season. I think the monsoons start today. They should start today. That's what I'm expecting, at least. I could be surprised. Who knows? Yeah, arguably, I like the Iron Wind solely because it's repaired by gears, which are actually easier to get than repair kits. <laughs> All right. Let's head up to this swordfish spawner and hope that we get another swordfish. I would like that. I would like a swordfish, please. There's one. Ow. Perfect. Thank you. Oh my goodness. Thank you. <laughs> let's let's go ahead and head back to that one spot. Let's do a little bit of exploring, guys. Let's before we do this, let's throw on our snakeskin hat so we don't take too much wetness. Welcome back, everybody. Ooh, ooh. Six hours and counting, guys. Six hours and counting. We are just one hour away from breaking the Soma live stream time and I'm almost certain we're going to break it almost certain that we're going to break it nothing fun over here
There it is. Welcome to Monsoon number one. It's only going to get worse from here on out. Whoa, hello. I will take this. That is nice. Welcome to monsoon number one. So by now, puddles will spawn on the shoreline. That will just keep spreading until monsoon season is over. Now, maybe we should follow these rainbow jellies. I think they lead you to the volcano. And I want to see the volcano. That's a stinkray. I would also like to find the gambling device thing. I think that would be great. This might be it. No. But yeah, see those puddles on the ground there? Yep. Welcome to monsoon. Welcome to monsoon season. Oh, what is this island? This is like a weird, weird big island. Well, we'll just spend some time exploring. We'll just spend some time exploring. We've got an island here. Could this be the one? Perhaps. Or it could just be a giant mangrove for some reason. Ah, dude, I keep getting stuck. Sometimes the slot machine likes to be near mangrove areas, so... There is still a chance. It's not out of the picture yet that it's here. This is a massive mangrove. I think this might be it. This could be it? No, it's too big of an island. It is far too big. That sucks, but... Oh, well. Again, what are you going to do? Hey, there's pigs here, though. We need pig skin. So you know what? Augustus. Sorry, Augustus, but we got to turn you into... Hello, darkness, my old friend. Look at Augustus. He's so scary. Right, look, for once I actually don't want this hand to take my fire. I don't want you to take my fire! Oh, good. Okay, I think it's gone. Let's just chill around the fire for a little bit. We got our pig skin, we can make our umbrella. Oh, it's not gone yet? Dude, here. Giant fire now. Now go. Be gone. Be gone, evil creature.
just relaxing under the tree. All right. Now the rain is getting worse. And as you see, the puddles are spreading. The monsoons are here. And things are only going to get worse from here on out. They're only going to get worse. But now we can make the Dumbrella. Which is pretty good. Actually, let's go ahead and grab some grass while we're here. Yeah, you'll notice the snakeskin hat, it does stop some wetness from coming through, but there's still a good bit of wetness coming through. And look at how much rain is falling. My goodness. It is pouring. Pouring down rain right now. We're going to need all this grass. Oh, okay. Well, that happens. go north. Man, the rain sounds are kind of calming, though. I kind of like it. Here's another island. Not the one we're looking for. Unfortunately. Trust me, I'll know when it's the, the gambling island. It is very, very noticeable. It's tiny. It's always a tiny little sand island. Sometimes it's connected to a mangrove. Oh yeah, we're getting wet now. Like, we're actually getting a little wet. This is also not the island. Unfortunate as well. But, again, what are you going to do? What are you going to do? biome here. If we could find the Yarktopus, that'd be cool, but I also don't care if we don't, because the Yarktopus is cool, but not essential. Not essential. Wow, that was <laughs> violent. I say so myself. We are now wet and gross. Yeah, let's make that umbrella when we get home. In fact, you know what? We're already wet. Although that won't take us that much closer to home. Let's just go this way. Let's just go this way. Oh? 
There's potential for Yarktopus to be here. How much damage do you think the rain has done to our base? My bets are a lot. I'm going to bet a lot. We gotta start going down the now. Rainbow jelly. Does that mean the volcano is down this way? I can't remember if they go towards it during a, a new moon or a full moon. Because they head out towards the edges during one of the cycles, and then they head towards it during another. But I'm not sure which cycle it is. Per. Yeah, by the way, it's going to be raining constantly from now on. This is an interesting little island. Oh, sink ray. daytime now drew toronto the stream is too long for me to watch the full thing now but i will re-watch it when i get the chance to bro thank you man that really helps out by the way with the watch time and whatnot youtube really likes when people watch things i know shocker am i right Wh where are they coming from Alright, I'm just gonna tank them. I don't know where they're coming from. Are they just spawning from my fish farm? I don't know. Is that a new thing? Because that... Oh, there's normal ones coming now. Should we go deal with that? We need a straw hat for that anyway. Okay, let's head north. I don't want them to eat my fish farms. We're already soaked and not having a good time, so. Hello, water beefalo. You ready to handle another attack for me? Oh, look. 
look at that. It's a blue croco dog. Now, they actually don't do anything too special. They literally just cause flooding wherever they walk. So they don't actually, like, increase the difficulty or anything. It's just flooding. Now, during dry season, there's a scary version of croco dogs called yellow croco dogs, and those ones are venomous. Yeah. It's as bad as it sounds. It is as bad as it sounds. Oh, yep. Look at all this flooded stuff. Gross. It's all flooded. Alright. That's why we made all this stuff out here. So, we're all good. I need a straw hat. We can make that real quick, I think. Yeah. Right, we're gonna have to drop something. I wish I could make a floating ice box. That's all I'm missing. All right, Dumbrella. We officially have an upgrade to our snakeskin hat. No longer do we need that. Let's go ahead and throw some tar in here and dry off real quick. So the Dumbrella is great. It's basically the Eyebrella, but easier to get because Tiger Shark is so easy to kill. And you can kind of summon Tiger Shark. Whereas Deer Clops, you have to wait for a winter. And then, if you have your settings on normal, there's a good chance you won't even see Deer Clops like I did. So, yeah. The Dumbrella is easily much better. Alright, we are nice and dry now. Let's go ahead and grab some of our fish. One, two, three. 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 And that one's tropical fish. You guys hear that? I hear venomous mosquitoes. Huh. These guys are terrifying. Ooh, God, that's so scary. Okay, anyways. Now that that's dealt with, let's make some surf and turf. Because we are going a little insane. And we're getting hungry. Uh oh, we're actually getting too hungry. Can the surf and turf get done faster? That'd be great. Yeah, I'm starving to death. You know what? I'm going to eat an egg. I'm going to eat a raw egg. That's a good chaser. Or, not chaser. The surf and turf would be the chaser. I know I could make tropical bula bays with these guys, but I need the sanity. The sanity is more important to me than the buffs. Let's see. Tropical blue bays. Tropical blue bays. Ah, uh, it just needs like a vegetable, so like a berry. Okay. That's what I was missing. Oh, that almost got me. Oh god, that's terrifying. Yeah, Surf and Turf's good for if you don't need hunger, you need more sanity. That's what it's good for. Alright, so we're just going to cook up some Surf, turf, surf and Turf.
Right, the Krizzer's going. That's good. Our base is a little bit of a mess, but what are you going to do, huh? All right, let's repair a boat for the night. Let's just sit back and repair the boat. Unfortunately, there's not many people in chat, or I'd be reading chat by now, but... I guess that's how it is. So for those of you watching this on regular YouTube time, just know I didn't want to be silent during this time, but... We need more boards, and I think I know how I want to get more boards. I want to go around and hammer the rest of those chests. I think that's a great idea. I think that is a marvelous idea. We're also going to need to make another ice box. That's important. In fact, let's go ahead and do that now. Another ice box. Okay. That should be all we need. Dude, what is... Oh my goodness, my base is being overtaken by mosquitoes. Come on. Okay. Okay. Whew. Terrifying, dude. Absolutely terrifying. Okay, we're gonna need... What are we gonna need? We're gonna need the silk. We're gonna need these two things, too. And then we're gonna want our hammer. So give me my hammer. And then let's head off. Let's go, let's go to the chests and break those down. Where are those guys at? Uh, there's two on this island over here. One on this island down here. The down one's closer though so let's go to the down one Whee! all right we just got to go to the other side of the island Of course, why wouldn't there be a mosquito right there? Ooh, so scary. I'm trying to go through this without getting poisoned at all, but. All right. Eh. The boards are more useful. No, I don't want the bone shards. All right, so need to go to that island now. This is probably the best way to get boards. Now, if I was playing as a certain character, uh, Cough Cough Woodlegs, or whatever his name is, he... He is pretty OP when it comes to shipwrecked. Although, he has some pretty severe downsides. Like, the fact that he just straight up loses... A gazillion sanity per second when he's not in a boat which makes him pretty much useless in other DLCs hello Zuhan 217 how's it going sorry if I didn't notice your chat sooner it's just the way the latency works unfortunately it takes me a while to respond all right let's grab these boards Probably should take this anti-venom too, now that we're getting into spooky, spooky times. Alright. Now let's just go chop some trees down. We can head over to this jungle down here to do that. With relative ease.
We also want to repair our iron wind a little bit. Don't want that to break on us. We're over halfway there, guys. We're almost there. It's still we still got a while of streaming though. I haven't eaten at all today. Starving myself to play Don't Starve. <laughs> that's kind of silly. Alright, that's a big tree right there. Let's eat this surf and turf. Don't you dare. Stupid. Oh, what? Whatever. Whoa, I angered every snake within the Tri-Sentinel area. Oh my god. How long have I been playing Don't Starve? Like, today or in my entire life? Because in my entire life, I've played this game since I was like 14. This game, I, I, can't, I, I played it as soon as it came out for the Xbox. Which was a long time ago. Today, uh, I've been playing it since... Ah! Woo okay. Oh, he almost got us. He almost got us. Yeah, today I've been playing it since... Uh, 9.30 in the morning, Eastern Standard Time. Which is overall great. It's okay, though, because I like this game, so. I don't mind. That is poison. Or venom. Th that, it says poison. I hate that. I've played on many of... All, all of the DLCs. I, d I haven't played Don't Starve Together that much, though. I don't like it as much as Solo Don't Starve. I don't know why. I just don't know. I guess it's just a quirky thing about me. What? Uh, uh, what? 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 Okay, I guess we weren't supposed to cut that tree down. You evil creature. Stay away from me. I'm not about to get envenomated. Ooh, yes, a soggy egg. <gasps> oh, he got me! No! <laughs> I have been envenomated. Alright, it's okay. That's what this anti-venom is for. So we're just gonna... Boom. All good. All good to go. It's like nothing happened. Mm. I think that'll be enough logs for now. I think. We are totally out of twigs now, though. Of course, traded one problem for another. One problem for another. Here, let's go ahead and... Make a tar lamp real quick. Uh, yes. Yes. Alright, turn this off. Take this out. And then let's get some resources. I'm listening out, though. Because we could get jumped by a poison mosquito. Although, realistically, it would be a venomous mosquito. Not a poisonous mosquito, like the game seems to want to call it. Don't know why. Just is. I'm gonna make another tar lamp real quick. Yeah, see, look at him. He's sneaky. He's sneaky. Oh, he's so sneaky. Sneaky little bug. Alright, 
It is now daytime. No. Oh. Stop. Stop going. What? Stop. T Stop. I don't know why it was not unequipping. That was weird. Okay, let's get some twigs. Let's get some twigs. I guess we could take our umbrella our umbrella off real quick. Although we have to walk through these ponds, so let's put it back on. Alright, once we get back in the boat. There we go. We're good to go now. Let's go ahead and head off. Ah, oh, stupid mosquito. Spooky. Still haven't found I feel like this all-nighter is gonna make me explode. <laughs> I've pulled plenty of all-nighters, and yeah, I, I agree with you. They they make you feel weird. They make you feel very weird. Hopefully you do not explode, though. That would be unfortunate. Day 50, though. We got 22 more days until this stream can end. 22 more days. We got this. We've got this. I think. <laughs> Ow! Woo! I didn't even. I wasn't even looking, dude. That wasn't fair. I was not even looking. All right, we're back home. Our house is flooded, and it's very sad looking. And look at that. There's a mosquito just waiting for us. You've got to be kidding me. I was trying to hit him. I was trying to hit him. No, come here. You're you're done. You're done. You're done. All right. So, if you don't have anti-venom, and you need to heal your venom, you can do this, but it will hurt you very badly. Watch. There you go. But then I could just heal with the sacks. So, overall, it's not a bad experience. One time I was reading a manga on my phone and I spent 21 hours in a single day. Wow! 21 hours doing the same thing? Should I do a 21 hour stream? I could, but YouTube would get mad at me. <laughs> no row. Let's get to work here. So, we need more boards. And we'll need more rope. Alright. There they are. Siesta lean twos. I think it's time to go work on our summer base. Well, I guess it would be called our dry base because it's not called summer in this DLC. Ah, oh, you stupid wave. No, it is it is called dry. Dry season because it's dry. Look at that stupid mosquito. Very annoying, I gotta say. Alright, well... We can live off of, uh... My inventory is an absolute... No, don't do it. I got sick and my head has not been functioning right. <laughs> oh, wow, man. Oh, 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 that just got swallowed by the ocean. Oh, I believe you, though. The... 21 hours doing the same thing has got to be crazy. I don't know if I'd survive. 
Let's let's go ahead and throw some of this in there. We'll eat some of these neon quattros. There we go. Beautiful. Yeah, unfortunately, we're going to be kept away from our crock pot due to the fact that that mosquito is just absolutely ruining our day. So we'll just have to wait. We'll just have to wait. Oh, man. Day 50, though. All in one stream. I'm getting hot now. Ooh, I'd like to make a razor. That's a great idea. Because we're going to need to start shaving. Just like that. Look at us now. We're nice and clean and shaved. Still getting hot, though. Hmm. Our boat's almost fully repaired. There we go. Boat's fully repaired. Let's stay away from this before it gives me a headache. Alright, we're just going to wait through the night. I know, terrible idea, but... Sometimes you just got to chill. Ah, uh, you hear those... Those mosquitoes, man. In seven hours just reading, you get stimulation deprived. So I also heard the same song for around ten hours. My goodness. My goodness. I mean, yeah, I, I'm, I'm going to be doing like 10 hours of this. Well, no, we should be we should be done around the 8-hour mark. I That's what I'm going for. Though we still have to get through dry season. And dry season is not fun. So, yeah. Luckily, though, this, this game has a lot of different things to stimulate you. Ugh. Oh, I just stepped on my headphones wire. Okay, I think. Uh oh. Okay, my headphones are back to working again. For a second, I couldn't hear the game. That would have sucked. But we're all good. Let's go work on our dry season base. So I want to make it over here. I think that's the way to go. We have plenty of room to move around during the volcanic eruption. Or down here. You know what? Down here seems pretty good. It, the fatter the island, the better. So. I think that'll work great. We haven't found the slot machine, and I'm very upset about that. But there's probably a good chance we're not going to find the slot machine at all. It's just one of those things that it's chance to find. Alright. So. Let's see here. We're going to want to drop our razor here. We're going to want to throw down a siesta lean to. Right here. And then I'm going to throw ice box right here. Perfect. So now this will be our... Dude. Ah! Oh, that's so scary. Okay. Okay. I'm just going to leave the venom gland there. And the mosquito sack. 
Because that's gross. Alright, now we gotta go make thermal stones. Shouldn't be too hard. We can also make another siesta lean to. There we go, perfect. That'll be where we save most of our time because we're going to be skipping the days a lot during dry season. Oh, another monsoon's here. This should be our last monsoon. I'm hoping. I could be very wrong, but I'm hoping. Alright, let's get a little bit of resources. If the mosquitoes will allow us to, that is. We gotta be on the lookout for those guys. Like that. Come on, come at me. Not like that. Oh, now I okay. I I I I, I pansied out, guys. I'm sorry. Okay, I got him. Woo. Woo All right, we are in business. Refilling our grass supply. And soon we'll be refilling our twig supply as well. I gotta say, we're doing pretty good. Twigs have been gotten. We can go ahead and chop down these trees as well. For a few extra logs. The rain's coming in hard now. The rain is coming in hard. But we're gonna be alright. We're gonna be A-OK. -okay. Alright. We need to make a thermal stone. So I'm gonna go ahead and grab a pickaxe. We'll need to make two. One, two. Good. That's what we needed. All right. And then when we get the chance, we'll go ahead and bring these thermal stones over. We could make another crock pot. That's not terrible. Not a terrible idea at all. Yeah, maybe we should make another crock pot. I don't know, though. Yeah, we're gonna make another crock pot. We're already here. Let's get some charcoal. Let's get that charcoal. Question is, are we gonna have to burn down more trees? I think we are. Let's get it over with. Alright. Now, funny enough, thanks to mangroves, grass won't be too hard to get during dry season because 
the grass won't dry out. So that's great. All right, that should be enough. Oh, I keep forgetting that just disappears into the water. I legit vibed to Japanese al alphabet song. Huh. I bet that went hard. Whoa! I didn't know it got dark. Almost back home. There we go. We are home. I need to make three cut stone. Ooh, I don't have any more stone. That's a first. All right. Well, I'll go grab some stone in the morning. That shouldn't be too hard. I don't have any more stone. That's that's weird. That's weird. It's the morning. Let's go to work. Avoiding that mosquito. Because that mosquito is annoying. And then there should be some stones over here. Yeah. Alright. I didn't know I'd have to go collect stones, but... I guess sometimes things happen. Calm down. I said calm down. I said calm down. Calm down. But you know what? Fine. We're fighting. We're fighting. Oh, we're not, I guess. Oh. Oh, mosquitoes freak me out. Okay. We're fine. We're fine. We don't need to fight. We don't need to fight. Overheating. Ooh. That's spicy. I shouldn't be overheating this early on, though. That's weird. I should definitely not be overheating this early. Is it dry season tomorrow or something? I thought it'd be like day 55 or 56 or something. I didn't think I'd be overheating this early. Oh, it's because I have two thermal stones. Yeah, and they're warm. That makes sense now. I now fully understand why I'm overheating. Oh, the ice box is going to be malfunctioning because it's, it's gotten wet. All right, let's just throw the crock pot down. Let's throw it over here near the edge. Good. So that'll be our dry season base. Ready to go. Ah, freaky. All right. Good to go. Now, dry season isn't that bad, but it can get bad. It can get bad in certain situations. All right, let's go ahead and eat some fish. Let's just tar it up. Oh no, I think the blue fish lowers your temperature. Yeah, that's what it does. 
Watch this. Ready? So I'm overheating right now. Ready? I, I cook and eat the bluefish. What the hell? My my house! My house! My house! How dare you? This is my home. Oh crap. <laughs> this is my house, bro. Ah! Oh. <laughs> he just assaulted my house. Okay. Well, two tiger shark kills, I guess. Oh, I've got the bubble now. Now you messed up. Oh, where are you going? Are you running away from me? You, you better not. You broke all of my sandbags and now you think you can run away from me? Excuse you? Madam? Where did you go? Oh, she got away, didn't she? Of course she did. Of course she did. Oh well, we didn't need to kill her again anyway, but still, that's kind of funny. Okay. Well, all of our sandbags just got just demolished. Oh man. That's funny. Okay. Well, that was silly. Oop, did not mean to get in this boat. Give me that. Um, we're gonna need to figure out food. Our food situation. Though, we could just live on jellyfish. I mean, let's be real. We really could just live on jellyfish. Live in very compact spaces, and my neighbor just literally went missing. Whoa. Huh. That is a mystery. Hmm. Well, hopefully they're okay. Just went missing. Man. Let's repair our boat for the last 10% that it needs. That's good. That's good. Still weird, though. Just going missing. Hmm. Must be going on some adventure or something. Must be going on some adventure. Day 53 is here. Awesome. So this bluefish will actually cool us down in the middle of dry season, which is nice. Ew. 
I didn't know that thing made noise. That was gross. Ew. <laughs> I've never heard that do that before. That's so gross. He is a drunk head, so not uncommon. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I can uh, I, I could see that being not uncommon for somebody who is. Could definitely see that being not uncommon. All right. So our dry base is coming along nicely. And this will be our last season until we've survived a year. Now the purpose of the dry base is not to like move us away from our base. It's to help us deal with the volcanic eruptions because I'm not going to be appeasing the volcano like I should be. No, I'm I'm go I'm going to be fighting this thing head on. We have a few more days left until things get bad. Let's hope we can survive this final this final season. We should. I don't see any reason why not. Then next up will be a Hamlet live stream. That'll be fun. That'll be much shorter though because a year in Hamlet is only 33 days. So it's not too bad. Let's go ahead and start taking some fish over. One, two, three. One, two, three. Yeah, take some fish over. Just get prepared, because this is going to be the most deadly season that we have been a part of. Oh, the water has taken our ice box. That's annoying, but whatever. Should we sleep through the last nights? Just because there's not... You know what? If we can kill enough jellyfish... And get enough food, we could just sleep through the last few nights of monsoon season and get right into dry season. Now, I know this challenge would be a little harder if I didn't allow myself to sleep because that would make it longer. But I also need to make sure YouTube doesn't get mad at me. So we got to get this stream over with before I hit the 11 hour mark. They'll get mad at me for that. The YouTube CEO themselves will knock on my door and tell me to stop streaming. Ooh, lots of tar. Alright, we're gonna run around and kill innocent little jellyfish. Because we need food. Boom. Aren't we just so evil? Alright. Now, let's go ahead and fire this bad boy up. Cook up our jellyfish. And then... We can make straw rolls. Or we can make a tent. But like, can we just sleep on our boat? I feel like that'd be weird. Hold on. 
Okay, we can't. No, 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 no! Oh. Come here. Where are you going? You have ruined my day. Alright, well, we gotta go eat a venom gland then. Really? Can I not get in my boat? Why can I not get in my boat? There we go. Right, get the sand out of here. Let's eat this. We'll be okay. We'll be okay. Where's those healing salves? There they are. Let's heal up a little bit. And then let's go to bed. Shall we? Yes, I am now very hungry. Hey, it's stop the monsoon though. That's cool. Alright. Let's eat these bad boys up. Alright. Now I could definitely use more grass. If we can oh beautiful. The grass has regrown. What a wonderful sight. Now, you may be wondering, how is an umbrella keeping me dry in a puddle? And I would wonder the same exact thing. <laughs> it's uh, an anomaly, I guess. It's just an anomaly. It's how this game works. Isn't it just interesting? Oh, Ro. Nice. We can go swap out that uh, that one fish farm that's producing the useless fish. Here we go. Alright, this one right here. Let's swap this guy out. Wonderful. And what we can do is actually cook up this fish. And then let's be smart about having our chimney lit. Let's go, let's go get some more jellyfish. And actually, let's go get not only more jellyfish, but let's get a swordfish. I would like to get another swordfish. Because we only have one cutlass, and I like having two. That's my preferred amount of cutlasses to have. At least personally. Alright, we just gotta go a little more north. That is where normally the whatchamacallit spawns, the Swordfish. Alright. Should be one up here. I'm hoping. Because I'm going to need one. Oh, hey. Cool. There he is. What's up, buddy? Come on. You're not gonna get mad? I mean, okay. <laughs> cool. We got our swordfish. We can make another cutlass when we get home. Let's go ahead and eat this last two cooked jellyfish. And we got more roe, but I'm going to leave. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna eat it. Yummy. Fish eggs. Absolutely yummy. All right. Oh, that's the wrong way to hit the waves. Okay, so I can't hit the waves. They're not on my side. All right. Have fun studying, man. <laughs> uh, 
Oh, man. Oh, H2O. Oh, H2O. Oh, dear. Oh, dear. Yeah, I'm just eating the waves like they're nothing. I really don't care. Once you get the boat repair thing, it makes this game so much easier. This this DLC just becomes easy mode. Quite literally. And it's kind of funny. Who said you could be here, man? More row. Alright, so let's cook up the rest of this jellyfish. Oh, all of it's gonna fall into the ocean. Did it all just sink? <laughs> I did not know cooked jellyfish sunk. Yep, it all sunk. You know what? You know what we could do? We're not gonna fight. We're not gonna fight Quacken again. So, like, this might actually be worth it. <laughs> so, if you guys lose anything, all you've gotta do is just trawl net over it. If you can get it, that is. Hello? It should collect. Come on. Really? Is it because it's in the chiminea? Okay. So I lost all of that jellyfish then. Absolutely splendid. I love that. Whatever. Oh, we got a dogfish, I guess. Cool. <laughs> Oh my goodness. Oh my goodness. We got a dogfish. We got a dogfish. Cool. Let's convert most of our... De you know what? Let's just convert them all. I'm not finding the gambling machine, and I've come to terms with that, so. All right, let's make our cutlass. Thank you. Let's do a little bit of repairing. And it is not dry season yet, but it is getting here. It is getting here. We should hopefully be part of dry season shortly. I hope. That is. I hope. Alright. Let's go ahead and make another straw roll. In fact, let's go to make two. Just for fun. We'll sleep through the night, guys. Don't worry. Let's go ahead and bring this. Let's do another fish run. Dude, our base is just covered in mosquitoes right now. Holy moly. Look at <laughs> Okay. That makes sense, I guess. More row. Now we're getting row all over the place now that we don't need it. It's kind of funny.
Yeah, we're just getting tons of row now that we don't need it. All right. I know this ice box is flooded, but still worth it to keep things in it just for whoa oh yeah it's warm because it's flooded so it's not working that is why that is why it's not working oh the waves are on our side Woohoo! We got more jellyfish here. We could we could go on a jellyfish murdering rampage real quick. Another monsoon. Intriguing. Very intriguing. Oh, we've passed the Soma stream, guys. This is the longest live stream on my channel. Let's go. Officially the longest live stream I've done. It is officially the longest live stream. Murdering innocent jellyfish, unfortunately. That's how we're spending it. All right. Let's go ahead and... Actually, let's use some of this beard hair. Go ahead and cook this up. Not let it drop to the bottom of the ocean this time. That was so stupid of me. And then now we're basically just going to repair a little bit and then take a nap. Let's also repair our iron wind. That's a very smart idea. There we go. There we go. We'll hop on land here. Get rid of this mosquito. It's too dangerous right now. Are you kidding me? Are okay, good. Good night. Welcome to morning. It is raining harder than it's ever been, apparently. All right. Wonderful. We are actually full on stats now. Water beef below. How are you guys doing? These creatures seem reasonable. <laughs> That's such a funny voice line. These creatures seem reasonable. They seem reasonable. I don't think they're in heat anymore. That's good. I would definitely like to fight more floaty boaty knights. If possible. Look at that, more row. We don't need it, so I'm going to eat it. Yummy. Very yummy. Oh my god, more? Stop giving me row when I don't need it. Now, if you were playing along and you wanted to have like a long-term world, definitely don't eat the row. Save it and use it for more fish farms. You can never have too many. 
the more fish farms you have, the more food you'll have. But again, this is not a permanent world. This is just going to be surviving a year, and then it's all done. Because this is going to be a tutorial world. 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 Wild. 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 This is going to be a tutorial wild. Okay. Let's go ahead and cook up this... These jellyfish. Basically doing the same thing we did yesterday. The monsoon is over. Wonderful. Splendid. Yes, this is very scary. I'm, ter I'm petrified right now. That mosquito is going to drive me up a wall. Oh, really? Croco dogs now? I mean, I guess it's better this time than like in the middle of the afternoon when I'm trying to go to bed. All right, let's go deal with these guys. And by deal with them, I mean, let's let the water beefalo deal with them. They sound like motorcycles. What's up with them? Hello, water beefalo. Would you like to protect me? Dude, those eyes are terrifying. You're a bit early, aren't you? Look at this guy. Thinks he's gonna flood the place. Dude, the noises they make is so cute. I don't even need your help, Water Beeflo. I've got this all figured out. Look at that. I don't even need their help. Didn't even need it. Let's go take a nap. I think we deserve it. And nap time. Good night. Do you guys see that? Welcome to dry season. Oh, yeah. Now, it doesn't seem very dry right now because I'm max wetness. What the hell happened to me while I was sleeping? Look at me. I'm max wetness. That's gross. All right, let's dry off real quick before that becomes a problem. I didn't know I just would get max wetness out of nowhere. I guess sleeping in a puddle would do that, wouldn't it? But, now that we are in dry season, things are going to get very interesting. The puddles will start drying up. We're going to start drying up. Things are going to get hot. And we're not going to have a good time. No, we are not. Luckily for us, we dried off before any bad things happened to us. So that's good. But now, we can actually start moving over to our summer base. Three. One, two, three. The beautiful thing about summer in this DLC, things don't actually just spontaneously combust like they do in Reign of Giants. So we don't have to worry about, you know, going near things. We do, however, have to worry about volcanic eruptions. And you guys will see what that... Oh, Tuna! Oh, look at this guy. Such a round, rubbery fellow. How cute is that guy? Alright. Now, unfortunately, the flooding has not stopped yet. I'm not sure why, but our icebox is still flooded. However, we can still go ahead and make some... Surf and Turf, which is my preferred way to use these fish. I know I can make Tropical Bula Bays. Actually, let's save the... Let's save the Neon Quattros for temperature control. All right. Let's make some Surf and Turf. So we'll just be relaxing here and making some Surf and Turf. It, it hasn't stopped raining, so... 
already a weird start to dry season. Very weird start. But we're almost there, guys. We are almost there. I think we just might make it before the 10 hour mark. We just might. I've been talking for... You've got to be joking me! You're kidding, right? Like, that was a joke. That... That... Haha, -ha, funny. Haha. -ha. Very funny. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. I'm going to bed. It's too bright out. No, it's not. Go to bed. Go to bed. Hello. I'm just trying to go to bed. Go to bed. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, God. That was spooky. Okay. Well, unfortunately, it looks like it wasn't a joke. And we actually did lose our crockpot. Which really does suck. But you know what? We'll build it back better. Let's also shave. I think that would be a great idea. I want to shave. There we go. Beautiful. We need to go get more charcoal. Let's go ahead and we can leave our Dumbrella here. Let's just take an ice thermal stone with us. Our ice box is working again. That's good. Let's just take a thermal stone with us, and we will head up north to grab more charcoal to remake our crock pot that somehow spontaneously got hit by lightning. How? I don't know, dude. I genuinely don't know. But... It, it just... it just how it is, I guess. Let me actually stand up for a second. I don't want to get deep vein thrombosis. Been sitting down too much today. Oh, yep. Yeah. Oh, I can feel... I can feel my legs falling apart. Hello, Beefalo. It's okay. I've just come here for some... Some charcoal. Okay. Okay. Ah, we can sit down again. I need to get one of those standing desks. We're going to need more stones, unfortunately. Just how it is. So let's get some more stones. go. could definitely use the niter too. But it's not as essential because cooling is not too bad in this version. You can literally just run out on your boat real quick and cool yourself down. There we go. That should be enough. Alright. 
Dude, look at look at our little posture while we're moving. <laughs> it's so stupid. <laughs> I am cool. Okay. I am so cool. I am so cool, dude. I don't even have to look where I'm going. Let's use our last gear on the Iron Wind here. There we go. We don't need any more gears, so. Oh, it looks like the puddles have all dried up. Almost. There's this puddle right here, but our thermal stone is also no longer too cool. Too cool for school. Alright, this crockpot better not just get struck by lightning, dude. Okay. Now, can we do what we originally wanted to do? Which was make surf and turf? You know? That's what I wanted to do. Was make surf and turf. <laughs> Alright, guys. Well, I'm going to be right back very quickly. Have to use the restroom. Unfortunately, this is not a no restroom challenge. Otherwise, I might explode violently. That probably wouldn't be a good stream to watch. So I'll be right back. Dude, I think the real loser of this challenge is my bladder. Oh my goodness. This poor... I'm gonna need to take like a massive restroom break after this stream is over. I'm gonna combust. Unfortunately. Alright. Anyways, welcome back, guys. Or welcome back me, I guess. You guys were just waiting for me. Thank you so much for waiting for me, by the way. Out of here, Toucan! Stop! Get out of my house! Oh, look, the limpet rock is all shriveled. Gross. Gross. Alright, guys. We got this. We got this. One season left. What is it, 12 days left? Oh, we're we're doing it! Well, it's 14 days actually, but I'm I'm rounding up because I'm excited. Because I'll finally go get to do real life things instead of playing. <laughs> I love this game to death, man. But playing it for an entire day does get pretty bad. Alright, we'll eat a few of those. But we'll save the rest of it. And then we'll just eat the cooked jellyfish. To fill up our hunger. And then, you know what? Let's go to make some gumbo. Let's make some gumbo. You know what I didn't think about? How are we going to light up this place without... Oh, I made wet gl- What is this? Ew! Blew. Wet goop. Yeah. That's about what I expected. I need to go make an endothermic fire pit. Or just an endothermic fire. So let's go do that. Or I guess I could just chill near this for now. That's how I could survive the night. 
Though, I really should go learn how to make an endothermic fire pit. It's like a very necessary item for summer. Oh, it's a full moon anyway. We're fine. Alright. Hey! 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 Who are you? Who do you think you are? Annoying. That's who you are. May I remind you? Alright. Let's learn how to make an endothermic fire. That's all we need. There we go. Do 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 do. Give me this crown. I would like to have my crown back. Alright. Just gonna repair the boat a little bit. Welcome to daytime. Uh, things are actually gonna get pretty hot now, so we should probably head back as soon as possible. Though it is only the first few days. So I'm not too concerned. Not too concerned about it. No volcano eruptions yet. Alright, let's take our first siesta of the season. Boom. Beautiful. Now, I think siestas are actually good for your hunger. I think they actually save your hunger during the long daytime. And it makes it cool, so we don't have to worry about overheating. So now we get the afternoon to do what we need to do. Like, eat this row. Mmm, yummy. Fish eggs. But it's row, not caviar. I'm pretty sure caviar comes from a specific fish. At least I think so. I think it comes from sturgeons? Correct me if I'm wrong, please. But, I'm oh, that's it right there. Did you guys see that? Haha, <laughs> this is gonna be fun. This is going to be so fun. No, it's not. But it's going to be fun. The first one's not that bad. The first one's actually pretty easy to survive. It's when we start getting deeper into the season, things are going to get bad. And you guys are going to be entertained finally. So, grab your snacks and strap in. Let's, let's do this. Strap in. What, are you going to watch this on a, in a car? I mean, maybe. If you want to watch this in a car. Some cars have screens. Just don't do it while you're driving, please. I don't want to be responsible for any... Fatal Polar Lotus-related collisions. That would suck. There we go. Alright, we're going for this thing. All right, come on, we're almost there. I want to get the obsidian armor because that will help me survive in case I get a direct hit by the meteors that are going to fall on my face. So yeah, yeah, that's pretty important. We're almost at eight hours, guys. Whew. This is an entire shift. I just did an entire work shift playing this game. My goodness. Bro! I just, I seriously did a 9 to 5 playing Don't Starve. That's kind of crazy to me. <laughs> Uh, that is kind of crazy to me. Oh, that's it right there. Oh, that was violent. That was a very violent shake right there. 
unbelievably violent. We're definitely getting hit very soon. So let's get ready. So we're gonna... What the? Why did I stop? That was weird. Alright, it's now daytime, but we're definitely about to get hit. So, are you guys ready? Today, if I can actually, there we go. Today, I will teach you how to survive a volcanic eruption. Your mileage may vary if you try to do this in real life, though, so I wouldn't suggest it. All right, so the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put my obsidian armor on. And then we're just gonna we're just gonna walk down here. Down away from our summer base. And then we're just gonna chill here for a second. I mean look at us. We're drippy. We can just We can just relax. I mean Just listen to that beautiful ambience. Hold on, here. Yes, a fun 9 to 5 indeed. Oh my goodness, dude. Listen to that ambience. I should just start a Don't Starve ASMR channel. Listen to that. What was that noise? For any of you guys just joining... Uh, we're listening to Don't Starve ASMR while we wait for the volcano to erupt. That's why the volume is so loud. There it is. There it is. Okay, hold on. Let me turn that down. Let me turn that down now before everybody goes deaf. <laughs> Here we go. Here we go. Oh, yeah. All right. Uh, yep. Here we go. Okay, so we just got to dodge these. The first one's very... The first one's very easy. Alright. Alright. Just gotta watch my feet. Just gotta watch my feet. Oh, oh, I thought that was a shadow on me. It's just the, the ash. Okay. So now you'll notice something here. Now you'll notice something. There is ash covering my screen. Right? Oh, we also need to break these before these guys hatch. Hold on. Let's also break these. I don't want these guys hatching. But yeah, this ash will cover my screen more and more throughout the season. So eventually I'll be surviving doing that while also not able to see myself. Which already just doesn't sound fun at all. So yeah. On the bright side, lots of rocks. If you need rocks, then dry season is your friend. If you need to live, however, dry season is not your friend. So that's the big danger of this season. Other than that, it's actually a pretty mild season. Overheating isn't even that bad compared to summer. It's not even that bad. So then we could just throw this back on. And our ice box is getting a little, a little warm there. All right, we are doing fine. We are doing fine. Now later on, I'm definitely going to put down a thermal campfire whenever that happens because right now it's not too hot in the season. But when we start getting the bad ones, it's gonna be hot. So we've got 12 days left, and we are at we are nearing the eight hour mark. We're almost there. We're almost there. I'm excited to get this over with. I'm sure everybody watching will be going to watch my How to Survive Spring video tomorrow, right? Right, everyone? That's right. That video is going to come out tomorrow, and it's going to be a blast, dude. It's going to hit like one... 1.7 million views. I'm betting that right now. Easily. Easily. 
We'll spend the rest of the day gathering our fish. I was not kidding. What is, what? No, I'm, I'm surviving a full year. Absolutely never lie. And I'm almost there. I'm almost there. All right, let's grab some fish. Two, three. One, two, three. Ooh, what type of fish did we get down there, too? That's a new type of fish. Let's see. Oh, of course, we got the stupid, ugly fish. Gross. Three. All right. All right. Guys, we're chilling. We are chilling. Actually, we're not chilling. Our thermal stone is now lukewarm. I could manipulate its temperature. Mm. Mm. Let's head back to the summer base. Now, that volcanic eruption that you guys saw, not only is it going to be more difficult because it'll last longer, but it's going to become more frequent. And I think around, like, day 69, haha, funny, around that time, it's actually going to happen, like, almost three times in one day. If I'm remembering correctly. I could be very wrong, and they could have changed it or nerfed it or something, but... Well, I guess buffed it would be the right term because technically a nerf would be something that's against the player, right? I don't know. I don't know. All I know is we can make some more surf and turf. Let's do that. Let's do that. Um, ooh, you know what, I don't want to, I don't want to waste any fuel, so let's just chill around this Balfin Palace. Luckily, nighttime is very short during this season, so we could pretty much just chill. And I won't feel like I'm wasting too much time. See, during hurricane season, I feel like I waste a lot of time, because nighttime lasts forever. But during dry season, there's no night really at all, so we're straight up fine. We can we can AFK here for a little bit, and I don't feel bad about it. About it. About about it. About it. Sorry guys, I'm going a little insane. I've been playing this game a little too long today. <laughs> but I've still got so much more to go. This is the last time you'll be here. You have two-ish. Uh... Oh, sorry. Well, uh, that's all good, man. I'll see you in the next stream, hopefully. It was fun having you around. Alright, let's take a siesta, guys. Oh, before we do that, though, let's, let's harvest this and put it in here. Time for a siesta. That doesn't sound good. So we've got another eruption on the way. Another eruption is on the way. Now you may be thinking, how do we deal with this? Oh my goodness, it's going to be terrifying. We'll be fine. We'll be totally fine. First, let's actually go ahead and... Do we have any jellyfish to ruthlessly murder by chance? Oh, oh that scared the- I'm do- what? Why did that scare me so much? I thought my boat was about to get snatched from me. That was scary. I don't even know why I was scared, because my boat's at full health. 
So it's not even like I would have been in danger if it was like a swordfish or something. Makes no sense that I was so scared. Oh well. Alright guys. We're not getting anything done here. We need to just get ready for the incoming volcanic eruption. Though I don't know if it's going to happen until tomorrow. Now that I think about it. We might not be able to take a siesta tomorrow. Just because we are so close to the eruption. I'll let you guys pick. If any of you wants to say it, do we take a siesta tomorrow or not? Do we risk it and take a siesta or do we be boring and safe and just wait throughout the day to see if the eruption happens. I'll leave it up to you guys. If none of you choose, then I will just... I don't know. I'll make up something in my head like a crazy person. Ugh. Right now, we're just going to wait around this palace because it's pretty light. That is so creepy. <laughs> that is so creepy. Everything just went red. Ooh, we're hot. Let's put that in the backpack. Maybe we'll survive the night. Maybe. All right, I see one comment for Siesta. If no one else can test, that's what we're doing tomorrow. Trevor might just want to see me fail, though. I don't know. I don't know. We'll take a Siesta. Come on, we'll be fine. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. All right, we made it. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Yeah, 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 yeah. I hear you. I hear you. Oh, no. I Okay, look. I'm sorry. I wanted to t uh, take a siesta. T8? Why did I say that? I wanted to take a siesta. But the hounds won't let me. So, technically not my fault. But now we have to deal with hounds before we take a siesta. All right, bring on the hounds. They should be pretty... Oh, wow. Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. There we go. Uh, I did not realize that they would swarm me like this this quickly. Whoa. Hello. Normally they come like one at a time. Hmm. Predicament. Predicament, for sure. Okay, we have a few options here. I don't need to worry too much about cool... Coolness, because I can just... Hit these waves here real quick. That'll cool me off. Yeah, sorry about that. I was going to take a siesta, but... These guys decided to pop up first. Okay. Here, let's try to lose a few of them. If we can lose a few of them, then I can handle the rest. I don't know if there's any yellow croco dogs in there, though. And I'd prefer not to deal with yellow croco dogs. There's only three of them, actually. Hold on. I'm just going to face tank them. I'm not that worried about that. We can repair the damage back at home. Yeah, there's only three of them. Okay. Okay. We only have one more warning, I think. I think it's three warnings and then a hit. If I'm correct. Oh, wow, you're scary. Nope, you know what? I'm not even going to deal with that. Not my problem, dude. Not my problem. 
Alright, my boat's a little damaged, but that's okay. I think we get one more warning. I think we get one more warning. Hold on. I want to be sure that we get one more warning first. Yeah, that's our final warning. Okay, now's the time when we should be ready to deal with that. Okay. Um, let's just do what we did before. Armor up. Head down here. We can grab our umbrella to slow... Nah, we don't need it. We're fine. We're fine. What's the worst that could happen? What's the worst that could happen? Alright, I think I mined up all of the dragoon eggs down here. So if you guys don't know, those eggs, when they land... They, uh, they actually will hatch into dragons. Though they're not really dragons, they're dragoons. Yeah. They're pretty annoying. They can be dealt with pretty easily, but they're also pretty annoying. So, I just mine them when I can. Because it makes it a lot easier. Alright, guys. Now we wait. And see if I get murdered by this eruption. I gotta say, I, I don't have a good track record with these things. I... They scare me so much. I hate the eruptions. Now, if you ever decide to play this game, you, you guys watching, you don't have to deal with eruptions. If you go to the volcano and feed it every now and then, you won't ever have to deal with this. I'm only dealing with this because this is going to be part of a bigger project I'm having. Use the boat cannon on the ground to blow up the eggs out. Oh, you're genius! Thank you! Yes, I will do that. Oh, well, hold on. I've got it. Um, awkward. Awkward. Let's just, uh, erm. There we go. That's genius. Thank you for that. I will do that. Here we go. It's time. Yep. Alright. Try to stay away from them so we can stay cool. I don't want to use my endothermic fire pit. That bird is burning to death. That was violent. Uh, the problem is my boat cannon won't reach that far, unfortunately. I think I can survive one direct hit. Alright, that's it? Yeah, that that's it. That's easy to do. Uh, I don't think any of them are near the coast, so it'd be hard to shoot it with my boat cannon. But that is good. That is a good tip. Especially because the boat cannon's not that useful, so. Like, normally it's not that useful. So I will keep that. Dude, this, this ash is so annoying. <laughs> it is so annoying. I like the noise it makes when I'm wearing this armor. Alright. Well, now... Now, let's just go ahead and eat some food. There we go. We got some surf and turf. Then let's go ahead and head back up to that... Actually, you know what? Let's head home to repair our boat. I think that's a good idea. I think that's a great idea. Oh, no. I can't see the waves. I can't see the waves. It's so difficult. Oh, okay. We're almost there. Who? Uh, why? Where did you come from? All right, you know what? We're, we're going to repair a boat anyway. Oh, let's go. I didn't take a single hit. I'm so cool. All right. Let's spend tonight at our house repairing our boat. Gonna need to put some more tar in. There we go. Oh man, we're almost done with this this challenge I've got going on for myself. I'm so excited to go eat. I haven't eaten all day. 
<laughs> Alright, let's let our boat repair a little bit. How's our iron wind doing? It is doing fine. The ash is gone. That's great. So I'm going to take a siesta tomorrow. Oh, our thermal stone is hot, actually. Ooh, no. Don't want that there. Put it in our backpack. I'm pretty sure if you put your thermal stone in the backpack, it doesn't affect you as much with the heat. I think so, at least. I'm, I, I don't know fully, but in my experience, it has worked like that. All right, we're getting hot. Let's try to head back home before we get too hot. Oh, no. Are we not going to make it? All right. Don't worry. We'll make it. I just need to wet myself. There we go. Why is that not working? Hello? Hello? I'm wet. Oh, no. Oh, no. We're going to need an emergency cooldown. Maybe I was wrong. Okay. Let's just cool down a little bit. There we go. We're fine. We're fine. That was an oopsie. Maybe it does affect you in the backpack. That's my bad. Oh, well. I just got wet for no reason. All right, we can make it now. We can make it. Let's actually, let's take some fish with us, too. These guys are full. Perfect. Perfect. All right. Back home we go. Oh, oh. Oh, warning number one already. That is no good. But it's okay, because we're about to go take a siesta. Because we're cool like that. All right. Time for a siesta. Good night, guys. All right. Not bad. We can eat some surf and turf. We can even make some more surf and turf. Let's see. I like using the yellow fish for surf and turf because they're only a speed boost. The blue fish cools you down, and the purple fish makes you immune to... Oh, that's warning number two. All right, let's remember that. Warning number two. That is warning number two. So tomorrow in the morning, we're definitely going to deal with another eruption. I'm assuming. So I guess I shouldn't say definitely. It's just most likely we will deal with another eruption. Alright, surf and turf in there. Now, I could do it on my boat, but... Dodging them on your boat is actually harder than dodging them on foot, in my opinion, because of the waves. So, eh. Oh, let's grab another thermal stone before we go. And you know what I want to bring? My Dumbrella, so we can use that to cool down if we need to. It's a good emergency cool down item. Alright. Hello, Ballfins. I'm going to chill near your house for tonight. So we're on warning number two. Ow. I just hit my elbow. Ow. Owie. Ow. That really hurt. Oh, it's getting worse. Wait, whoa, 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 whoa. Why? Why are you not lighting up? Okay. I mean, we'll use the bioluminescence. That's fine.
That's warning number three. goes the music. Alright, warning number three. We need to get ready. Yeah, why weren't you guys lighting up your house? That's rude of you. Alright. Oh, let's not take our booty bag with us. We should also probably grab some... I think I left some niter down here. But where? Okay. Good. We got an endothermic fire pit in case we need it. Oh, let's do this. Let's do this. Come on. Any second. There you go. Alright. Let's do this. Easy. Easy. Just stand still. You'll be fine. Just stand still. Wait, is this actually going to work? No way. No way. Oh, never mind. Okay. Oh, let's get away from the... <gasps> oh, wow. That was almost catastrophic. You guys see how bad this can go very quickly? Okay. 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 We did it. Let's just go mine up this little egg over here. That would have been so bad, dude. I walked right into that one almost. All right. Wow. Booty bag. Give me this, too. Alright, it's siesta time. Good night, everybody. And welcome to the night time. Let's eat some surf and turf. Wonderful. Still can't see anything. But, oh well. All right, these guys are home tonight. Why why were they not home yesterday? I genuinely don't understand that. Weird. Very weird. Very weird indeed. But that's okay. It's just waiting time.
Time to wade through the airy night. Let's turn up this ambience, see what it sounds like. Ew. Is that the noise of the dolphins? That is weird. Let's turn that back down. Don't need to hear dolphins snoring all night. Warning number one. Warning number one. Remember that, everybody. Let's grab a cold stone, and let's go to bed. All right. Um, let's go kill some jellyfish. Yeah. It's a good food source. All right, we're nice and organized. I'm gonna make it a full year in one stream. It's happening. It is happening. I've already killed every boss in Shipwrecked. It, it, it is happening, guys. Now it's just the time and surviving this final season. That was a banger soundtrack. My goodness. Dude, that Wobster went kind of crazy. Did you see that? Dumb. Dumb little thing. Uh, all right. Well, let's see. Can we make a... Let's just go ahead and make a permanent fire pit just for cooking purposes. And we'll throw it down, like, I don't know, over here, so it's far enough away. And then let's cook this jellyfish. We can put on our crown again. Put on our crown yet again. Perfect. And then, all right, looks like we won't be making it to the Ballfin Palace for tonight. We'll just stay at the edge of this fire, doing our eating dance. Look at us. Ew, that's gross. We are gross. What was that noise? That was freaky. Excuse me? Am I... Tripping out? Like, what What was that noise? The ambience in this game is crazy. Oh, no, 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 no. I am not streaming 365 days. I am just streaming a full year season-wise. That would be crazy. I'm not streaming for 48 hours. But I am going to stream until the final season, which is a technical year. Where did my razor go? Hello? Uh, oh, there's my razor. That would be insane. I would have to actually be insane to stream for 48 hours. Who knows? I might one day, but that day is not today. All right, let's sleep. Bye bye, CS to lean to. We had warning number two. Let's plop down our next CS to lean to. All right. Yeah, no, I'd have I'd have to actually be insane to stream for forty eight hours. No, just just a full like seasonal year. So, mild, hurricane, monsoon, and dry. 
And then once we hit mild again, that's when the stream is over. Okay, that was warning number three. Yikes, this is going to happen at night. Okay, ooh, let, let's not bring our booty bag with us, though. No booty bag. No booty bag. All right, we're good to go. Come on. Any day now. It's really going to happen at night, isn't it? All right, fine. I'll put down a fire. You win, game. I put down an endothermic fire. That was... Very comedically. If this happens in the morning, I'm going to be very mad. It's going to happen in the morning. Yeah. That's good, though. Because that means we should have a pretty uninterrupted siesta. I look so silly with the subsidian armor on. <laughs> I look goofy. But hey, it does the job. What was that noise? Yep, it happened in the morning. Alright, that's fine. Just watch our feet. Keep an eye on our feet. And we'll be okay. Oh, wow. That blew up our fire. Oh, we were just standing there. <laughs> ah! Woo! <laughs> yeah, notice how it's not stopping yet. It gets worse. It gets way worse. Ah! Ooh, ooh, ooh. Wow. Wow, wow, wow. That was violent. All right, let's get our booty bag. Don't have to deal with that no more. And let's take our well-earned siesta. Because, oh my goodness... Already? Warning number one? Oh, yikes. Already warning number one. That is mildly terrifying. One would say, I guess. We may have to go ahead and wait down near our spot from now on. Which is okay. It's okay. We'll be alright. I think. We'll be okay. Alright. 
Warning number two. This one might hit at night. Actually, this is probably going to hit in the morning as well. Let's put some tar on this. That'll keep us nice and cold. Oh, the dragoons have hatched. Oh, what am I doing? I need to leave my booty bag. Gotta get my booty bag out of here. There we go. No more booty bag. Alright, those dragoons shouldn't be too much of a problem. Oh, you know what might be a problem? The tide. That is creeping up. That may or may not put my fire out. That's gonna put my fire out. That is going to put my fire out. Um, just in case. Yep. Wait, no? Question mark? Wait a minute. Come on. I believe in you, fire. You can survive this. The fire survived the night, guys. Oh, yeah. Ew, look at that stupid dragon. <laughs> yeah, I should have mined up those eggs before they hatched, but oh well. They're not too annoying to deal with. They're annoying, but they're not too bad. That was warning number three, I believe. No, nope, don't you dare. You know what? Fine. Let's do it. Oh. There we go. Yeah. It's just a simple kiting pattern. They're just annoying. Like, I, I just don't like them. Should probably clear up all this clutter, too. Like, this is going to make it much harder to survive. But hey, part of the game is the challenge, right? Part of the game is the challenge. All right. Bring it on. Bring it on. Not you. Not you. I was talking to the volcano. Yeah, learn some manners. I was talking to the volcano. There it is. Oh, there's another dragon. There goes our fire. All right, I'm locking in. Ah. 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 
All right, all right. I'm so focused, guys. I'm so sorry if I'm not talking. I am so focused right now. I'm just staring at my little feet. All right. Are we clear? I think we're clear. Let's get rid of these eggs before they become a problem. No, you are not hatching today, my friend. Unfortunately for you, I have revoked your life privilege. All right, there's another dragoon up here that I should probably kill before he becomes an issue. Where'd he go? Well, here's another egg. Oh, man. All right. Ooh, I don't have enough twigs. That's a new one. Oh, what the? <laughs> Why is there an eye plant here? Where did you come from? You literally weren't there. Where are you? I don't know. Okay, can we go? The, the real question is, can we get twigs before the uh, before they hatch? Can we get twigs before they hatch? That's the new challenge of the day. Yeah, let's get rid of this guy too before he becomes a problem. Oof. I can't see him. We can use that monster meat to... Why are there so many ashes here? Oh, it's just my beard hair. Okay, good. Good. That scared me. I was like, why are there so many ashes here? It's just the beard hair. The dragoon must have gotten up to them. Oh, whoa. It got up to more. Look at this. This palm tree is messed up. Palm tree is just straight up messed up, man. All right, let's head down to that South Island. We'll wear our umbrella too, so we don't get too hot. Hey, it's a floaty boaty night. Ah, oh. you know what? You're annoying. All right, give me those gears. I need to fix my iron wind anyway. There we go. And that is a full iron wind fix. Beautiful. Just like new. There's warning number one. Like I said, guys, it gets bad. I think we're entering the worst part of the season. So, yeah. It's, it's about to get bad. I do need some twigs, though, if possible. Oh, yeah, they're withering. It would be okay if it was cooler. Yuck. Yuck. We are going to run out of twigs, guys. We could rely on, uh, for light, let's just rely on tar lamps. We could do that. All right, let's head out. Can I refuel this with tar? That'd be cool. No. Makes sense. That'd be a little OP. It's just bioluminescence. Strictly bioluminescence. And probably fireflies. If I had to guess. Why did I do that? Why did I do that? Why did I do that? <laughs> Why did I do that? That was incredibly stupid. Can these guys make gumbo? Ooh, Serpenter. Yes, gimme. Okay, the problem is I can't, I can't use a torch when I'm activating it. Otherwise I'll light it on fire. What is that noise? Hello?
Hello? Okay. Oh, hey. I'll take it. All right, let's take a siesta before it's too late. We've got gumbo waiting for us in the morning. Beautiful. Now, we're definitely getting an eruption tonight. Let's have our gumbo breakfast. Absolutely beautiful. We can live on gum. I, I messed up. 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 Ah! Ah! I'm wearing my booty bag. I'm wearing my booty bag. Ah! ah! I don't know what the damage is, but it did not look fun. Okay. Note to self, warnings do not matter. Warnings absolutely do not matter. In the event of it being late season. We're learning, guys. I should have known this. Oh, there goes my fire. Now I'm going to get hot. Oh, I don't even want to know what the damage is, dude. I know my icebox is gone. For sure. It's been obliterated. But what else are we looking at? Is it over? Okay. Oh, boy, it's dark, too. Hmm. Hmm. I'm guessing my Siesta Lean 2 is gone. Yep, it is gone. Wow. The Crock-Pot made it. The Crock-Pot made it, but the Siesta Lean 2 did not. Luckily for us, we're smart and brought enough to make more. However, losing the ice box does actually put... Actually, no, we could just make another one. Oh, yeah, make another one. Just like that, our problem has been solved. All right, we're fine. Ice box is back in business. Now we just need to make another siesta. Alright. I would love if I could see anything. Let's go ahead and break this guy down. Get some stuff back. Need more rope. That can be done. See, has to lean to. Wonderful. We're back in business. Let's take this gumbo. Let's put these quattros in. Let's take a siesta. Alright, we are getting low on grass. I'm a little worried about that. Ah! Hi! How's it going? Dude, why are you zooming? Who do you think you are? Who do you think you are? Um, the lack of grass definitely worries me. We can take a trip to, um, to the mangrove to get some grass. But otherwise, we need to just stop using grass. We are in the danger zone of grass. We only have two endothermic fires ready left. Alright, let's go wait this out down here. 
We have a torch. We'll just use the torch. If it decides to be bad, then it's bad. That's fine. Let's go ahead and throw on our obsidian armor. Yes, let's throw on our obsidian armor. And let's head down. Where, where are these guys coming from? Do they spawn during dry season? I swear, I thought they spawned during monsoon. All right, we can make it through the night on this torch. Watch. Watch this. Watch this. Easy peasy. Lemon squeezy. There it is. All right. Perfect. Perfect timing, actually. No, I want to get rid of this thing. Can you guys land on this lure plant? Because he's kind of... There you go. Beautiful. Oh, easy peasy. Not cool. Not cool. There are too many dragoons. This is not fun. Nor is it entertaining. Luckily their aggro radius is pretty small. Ah! Ah! <laughs> okay. We're clear. Uh, let me be clear. I'm not a fan of this season. <laughs> How did you survive, you plant? Alright. Whatever. We're fine. We lived. That's what's important. We lived. And we've only got... I think... One more day left? Croco dogs. Of course! Why would it not be croco dogs? Why not? Um... Yeah, we should be fine. Let's go ahead and take our sweet little boat lantern and us up north. I would love to be able to see, but we unfortunately cannot. I'm not gonna risk fighting these guys. That's a yellow one, yeah. That's deadly. Yellow ones are deadly. Alright. We're fine. We're fine. We're gonna be alright. Let's just go find the beefalo. What's up, guys? You wanna help me here? 
That would be totes my goats cool of you guys. I wish I could see anything. Yeah, I know. That doesn't sound good. Alright, good. I got the light. I got the light on. Of course, it's the yellow ones that are chasing me. AKA the most dangerous ones. The most dangerous ones right there. Those ones are venomous. Those ones are venomous. Just get bored of me already, dude. My goodness. You chase. You chase, man. Let's get this umbrella on so we don't get too hot. Quit your chasing, man. Get mad at something else. Can you get mad at something else, please? I don't want to deal with you. Alright, this stone is hot. We might have to deal with him soon. Yeah, it looks like we're going to have to deal with him. Let's try not to get envenomated. Really? How many times can you hit? Give me, give me, give me venom gland. 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 You're kidding. Uh oh, spaghettios. Uh oh, spaghettios is right. Yep, and we're on the ocean. I preferred not to do it this way. Now we did it. Now we royally messed up. Hold on. This can still be saved. Ash is coming though. Not a fan of that. Alright, alright. We are on land. We are on land. That's all that matters right now. I, I am sacrificing all of these resources, but we just have to survive. Like, that's all that matters right now. Okay. No way. my boat. It broke my boat. It broke my boat. It broke my boat. Wait, wait, wait. What do I do now? What do I do? Okay. Okay. Think, 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 think. Think. Think for a second. Think for a second. Raft. Yes. Raft. My iron wind is gone, though. That's so sad. It's a good thing this is not a long-term world, or that would suck. 
Raft. Okay. Okay. We're in business. Now we just have to make it back home. Where we have... Oh, man. Oh, man. Alright, we can keep... We can keep healing. This venom is dangerous, but it's not lethal. Well, it is lethal. It can kill you. But it's not going to kill us that fast. I can't believe it broke my boat. That is insane. Wait a minute. No, no. I can do this. I can do this. I can make it. We're going to be fine. We're going to be fine. There's my booty bag. I do believe I could have handled that. Oh, wow. No, not dealing with that right now. I could have certainly handled that hound attack much better. Like, that's all on me. But, like, I still survived. You got to give me credit for that. I survived. I did it. All right. Oh, man. Oh, man. Throw this stone back in there. Well, we can make surf and turf. We can make surf and turf. Hello. 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 I'm just going to face tank him, dude. We can survive on the Surf and Turf. It gives us a lot of health back. Oh no, not again. Not again. We're gonna be okay. I may be poisoned, but I believe in myself. Alright, here's what we're going to want to do. We're going to want to, yeah, look at us. We're all poisoned and icky. Let's put that fire on max and then run away from it. So we'll stay at the edge where there's no heat. Come on. We're going to make it, guys. We're going to make it. We're going to have one right in the morning. Or no, our third warning will be in the morning. Yes, yes, you're envenomated. It's very sad. I know. Come on. We're going to have our third warning. But we should be fine. That, oh, that's bad. That's very bad. Okay, we need to go this way then, because we're going to have... Oh, no, oh, no, oh, no. Okay, this is not what I anticipated. We just need to be ready to go. Just need to be ready to go. Never mind, because we survived a whole year. Oh, yeah. We may be poisoned. We may be...
I forgot day 73 was the end. All right, guys. Well, we did it. That's going to be the end of this stream. Whew. It's mild season again. And here, if you don't believe me, listen to the music. That's mild season, baby. Oh, yeah. That was terrifying. We should not be alive. We lost our boat. We lost a lot of stuff. We lost our iron wind. But we didn't lose our lives. Which means this challenge is complete. And that means this stream is over. If you guys enjoyed it. Uh, I hope you enjoyed it. <laughs> like this video. Comment down below if, you know, you didn't catch it live. And of course, subscribe if you aren't. I'll see you guys in the next one. Woo! Bye-bye. Nine hours!